Georgie. Hey, how are oh, you? Oh, I've got oh, lovely Mark. What a lovely day you had yesterday. What it an amazing was. show, wasn't it? It was really, oh, really enjoyable. It was gorgeous. It was so nice from start to finish. It was just a wonderful, it was a nice mix of everything. You yeah. Had, there was your presenting. We had a lovely Dave on. We had the three amazing next gems and it was just I know as you as you said many times I really don't want to be in the shoes of somebody who has to choose the winner I couldn't at all I could yeah. I genuinely yeah. couldn't and I think that all three of them are worthy of guest designer roles absolutely without a doubt, without a doubt. absolutely and I know that like yeah. when I first turned up yesterday they were very nervous they were waiting you in wouldn't the green think room so. um but then no. on yeah I know just straight in we and all said brilliant. it by the way if they yeah. were if they if you are watching um Charlie uh, Carol O'Reilly, if you are watching, every single yeah. member of the team said mm -hmm. how seamless you were. Yeah, incredible. They did great, incredible. didn't they? Yeah. They did great. Fantastic. It was a really enjoyable, enjoyable yeah. show. And today is going to be no different. We've got a real mix again today, haven't we? We have. And with the weather the way it is at the moment, everyone yeah. has to stay indoors. It's dreadful, isn't it, it out there? Yes. And I would just want to, just quickly, we were talking about um, the weather this morning, and Ellie lives in Suffolk, and they're being really battered this morning. So take care, Ellie, and stay in. and uh, Stay I indoors if you don't need to go anywhere. Yes, I think I, the they best. were saying that on the yeah. radio, check for schools, because some schools are open, aren't they 75 now? 75 schools are closed around the country this morning. Really? Yeah, really? We, had, we had that so. local here two weeks ago. It was oh, yes, two weeks Friday. Right. I know that yeah. because I didn't get my nails done. Your nails done. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fine. I dropped Willow off at school and it wasn't too bad. And I literally turned up at my nail appointment, right. come and pick Willow up yeah. straight away. Yeah. Um, and it was the f the whole the school toilets were flooded. Mm. So yes, be careful, yeah, so stay everyone. Safe, yeah. Stay safe, absolutely. Um, little yeah. T bar just getting nudged in there with our lovely Michael oh, Wolf. Lovely Hello, Michael. Michael. That's that's well. Have, Have that those one. Those as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh. thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, stay safe, everybody. Yes. Don't travel if you don't need to. Um, we'll keep you company, we will. It's definitely one of the, and actually, you know, when you don't have to go anywhere and it's, you know, rubbish weather outside, I think it's quite cozy, yeah, isn't it? No, I, it is. I really yeah. enjoy, you know, when you're like snuggled in your bed or something and you, there's not a sound in the house and you can just hear heavy rain. Mm. I think that's quite nice. I used to go out and sit in the car did you? I just love the hearing the rain. It takes me back to my youth staying in caravans and yeah, in the middle yeah, of our yeah, lovely yeah. summers and listening to the rain. And no, why was it whenever lovely. you went on a caravan oh, holiday oh. in the in the UK, it always rained? Always, always. yeah, every time we're the same. Go off. Where are we going? We're going to West Wales. It's going to be rainy, <laughs> <laughs> and you end up playing battleships and things like yes, that in the caravan. Yeah. Um, all those games. No. Anyway, so this Thursday, yes, we have got an absolutely the super gone? show. Yeah, it's gone. Already. I know. Can we get our Christmas trees yeah. out yet? Have we? Is that allowed? Mm. Not yet. No, I think it's the first weekend in December. I think it's the second or third, something like that. We're, we're Christmassy flying. It takes yeah. us three days. And it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not allowed to either until December. Right, no, That's our rule no. as well. But not long, <laughs> not long. Christmas is, you know, the planning stuff. Have you ordered your turkey yet? We have, yes. Huh? There we you have. go. That's yeah, one of my. That. That's yeah, one yeah. of my jobs. Probably tomorrow yeah. is pop to the local butcher. Get, get the turkey ready. all sorted, get the Christmas meats, mm. etc. Um, right then, anyway, <laughs> anyway, what's coming up on today's show? Mark, your kits. They're lovely. They're real old school kits today. Yes. So at nine o'clock, we've got a gemstone that I've not worked with. I've not seen Love for it. years. Yeah. And we've got beautiful chalcedony yeah. in rondelles and drops. They're, they're just amazing with fantastic ombre I cords. love that pink necklace. That's absolutely it's cool, gorgeous. Isn't it? yeah, yeah, lovely. So, um, so that's, that's coming up at nine o'clock. Well, Chalcedony is uh, very much in the limelight at the moment because, um, well, Gems have recently, I was watching it yesterday with Adina, actually. Oh, Adina right. um, had a lovely collection of Chalcedony. Oh, um, I love it. No, which I was really absolutely like gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Um, so, to actually be able to bring it to our jewelry maker viewers as well. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fantastic. And then at 12 o'clock, I think, I, think, I, think, I think the buying team are in the know because we've got, on the back of all of our current coated gemstones mm -hmm. and treated gemstones. We've got coated gemstones today, including amethyst. We've oh, got labradorite. Yes. They are just Not just your quartzes. You no, could also no. get, yeah, your coated. Yeah. And they're stunning, aren't yeah. they? And I'm going to do something on the show today that I've never demoed before. And I've practiced and practiced and practiced. Oh. I'm going to be doing odd count peyote. OK. Is instead that of even count. Right. Even count is so simple. I think, I think Alison was on the show recently. I don't know whether it was with you or Carol. Mm -hmm. And she said that that you never see odd count demoed anywhere because it's it's 
is, is quite difficult. There's an extra little step, but once you get that little extra step, it makes so much difference. So you can do odd wow. numbers and you can have a middle row and you can alternate colours and do all sorts of things. And because we've got six O's included in the kits at 12, oh, yeah. perfect size for demoing peyote with. So uh, okay. I'm I can't do remember that. the last time we had six O's. I know. Every single kit comes with a tube of six O's. How fantastic. So I can't wait. So that's at 12 yeah. o'clock today. Your yep. deal of the day is really, really oh, unusual. They are cute. They're adorable. I've them. <laughs> They're adorable, aren't they? they? Are so these amazing. are well, I don't want to just describe them as jump rings, which I know the specifications does say that. And mm. I dropped our Wayne a message around about eight o'clock last night saying, talk me through the deal of the day. Um, because We've never said, you know, they could also be connectors. There's so much more than just a jump ring, we aren't they? We thought they could be pinch bales. Pinch bales, they? absolutely. They, um, they could just open them slightly and put them straight onto the earlobe and have the most amazing little ear closures. Yeah. So they people wear, they call cuffs, ear cuffs, where they wear oh, them yes. up the ears. You could treat That's them like, a great an, idea. like an ear cuff and do all sorts of things with Almost them. Almost like clip-on. Yeah, yeah they're, they're oh, amazing. Oh, that's a great idea. Um, so basically you gently, and you did this this morning, Mark, didn't you? Yeah. You gently coax them together. There. And they fit and perfectly. they fit perfect. I yeah. Think one of them. Which which colour did I close? Um, Is it the gold? Hang on, let me Is grab my tweezy tweezers, and I can show you. Yeah. So you just gently squeeze oh, them together. Go. Tweezy tweezers is a new thing. Um, here we go. So there gently we go. squeeze them together, and then you'll get that perfect alignment with these They're as well. Perfect. Look They're at gorgeous, that. Aren't they? Aren't they amazing? So yes, they yes they're jump rings, but they could also be pinch bales. They yep. could also be connectors, whichever they uh, whichever I'll you think. I'll use them for endings before you then attach your clasps. Oh, so that's treat a nice them as a nice idea. little feature at the back of the bracelets. Yeah, and lovely. Um, and lovely. we've got them in the three colours. Um, we've also got um, a very very exciting opportunity of jade coming up. Spinach oh, green jade, this. uber rare. Um, and we're very 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 fortunate to be able to bring this. It was Dave that actually launched the original wow. parcel um, back in September. Um, it's totally and utterly natural totally and utterly natural when we talk about jade of course we, we discuss translucency and we talk about the color this is the original mm. imperial green um, and oh my goodness <laughs> me um, <laughs> at once upon a time it was referred to as spinach green um, there's no enhancement to this whatsoever so this is Funny, absolutely yeah. one for those who are looking for the finest quality jade um, it's an extremely oh. limited parcel one that we would be far too complacent to assume that we were going to get again um, so definitely make the most I know those rounds wow. are amazing aren't they um, they're coming up what time did we say we we're going to do those then Roscoe in the 10 o'clock hour so perfect i think to go alongside your deal of the day component so um very 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 exciting so that's uh, lake bacal um hope i'm pronouncing that right um natural jade also another th uh, item that is oh we've got that what's oh, that? that was for tomorrow what's oh, that? amazing Sharite. Sharite, beautiful sh yes oh, hang on mate. a second oh, i've seen a whole tray of it and i thought oh i wish we had that today and we have do we do we, do we? Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Oh, oh, I because How it was over I there miss? in the office, I thought that was for tomorrow. How did, I'm so sorry, Ross. How, oh, that's okay. <laughs> you can just tell by the way he said that then, he doesn't really mean it, but oh, oh my goodness me. Um, so now, Sharai is an, an amazing gemstone, and I, I, mm. I, I'll talk you through this. Um, that forms uh, formed under a frozen lake and that's how you get those beautiful it's chatoyant patterns story, across the it? surface we oh, haven't look. seen it in ages oh. what we have today is oh no all that we are we're not getting it again oh, is there, no. oh, any reason uh, other than the current situation, yeah. So this is old mine, isn't right. it? So what we mean by that, firstly, okay, uh, so obviously this comes from Russia. We know the current situation within Russia. We do not, same as Russian diamonds or any Russian gemstones, we don't buy them currently. However, if you do see that location on our, on our screens, um, it will be old mine, so sourced prior um to the conflict so um yeah this is old mine we absolutely right i see we absolutely wow. will not That's be getting amazing. any more sharite um there are only two round strands um two round strands available it's absolutely unbelievably beautiful roscoe i do have um something on this by the way just so you know 
Um, okay, uh, so that's coming up then um, wow. this uh, this morning as well, about eleven o'clock. Can I also mention your early bird this morning because these haven't been in stock in absolutely ages. Whether it's not just for silk knotting, this is perfect if you use your wildfires, your uh, Slons, whatever it is. Um, these are your wire guardians. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Hang on. There's one on an earring. Did you just whip these up this mm -hmm, morning? Mm -hmm. I tell you what. This is this is how I, I tell use you them. What. This is how I use them. They're amazing for your top tier earrings. Look. What do you see? It keeps them really strong, especially for using thread as well. And gives you that yeah. perfect professional finish, yeah. doesn't so it? So I've used point four wire, and I'll, I'll when we come to it, I'll show you how you do it. As if you've whipped them up this morning. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, so your wire guardians. Mm. Now you can shop ahead on the yellow and the rose gold but not the silver. The silver we're going uh, to put into the nine o'clock hour. I'm gonna keep that one there for a second. Seconds, they, if we, yeah, yeah, if we put them <laughs> ahead, uh, on order, on uh, they disappear basically. So um, they're coming your way at nine o'clock this morning. Mm. So it genuinely is going to be one of the most amazingly beautiful lineups. I love the fact that we've got a Charite showcase. I love the fact that we have got this really, yeah. really, really high, this is probably some of the finest jade that you could wish for in today's show. Um, Mark's kits are absolutely amazing. Your deal of the day is something a bit different. And we've got guest designer Mark. What more could we possibly it's be a very want? Posh show today. It is a bit posh, it's isn't a bit it? Posh today. Are it you feeling a bit yeah. posh today? And just to mention, the Wire Guardian, uh -huh. buy them in preparation for a week Saturday. Right. Right. They're uh, giving me silk and pearls. Ooh! I know. Who'd have thought it? Yeah, you could do it. And we can't replay them that day because they'll sell out before then. Mm, yeah. So um, the rose and the yellow gold, you can shop ahead. They're on our website, but the silver is nine o'clock. Um, like right. I said, we've only got 100. It's been a while since we've actually had them in stock. So um, yeah, they're at nine o'clock. Take a little look at the website, actually. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. And if you click watch live in the top right hand side of the screen, um, and then scroll down. Is it a multi mix? Hour this morning. Oh, it's, it's going to be a, a lovely smorgas. mix. Good, good, good. A smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Nice. Yeah. A smorgasbord of jewellery yeah. making. Click watch live and you'll see me looking half asleep. <laughs> uh, Mark looking very <laughs> stern. <laughs> <laughs> and then there you go. You can see one and two, your, oh, uh, two of your early birds. You've got some amazing pearls there. You've got some lovely sterling silver components. You've got the last of stock opportunities of those shepherd hooks. Oh, we love those. Didn't yeah, we? they were amazing. Yeah. You've got the rubies. Um, oh, nice. You've got some jewelry window displays. You've got the chiffon bags, which I'm going to start with. You've got some lovely, oh, look at that. Shell pendant. Shell letter pendants, oh. amazing. Items on here, that oh, items selling out already. Um. I'm not surprised. Oh, those malachites are amazing. They're so beautiful. Did you, you didn't, obviously didn't get them then. I didn't. No. I thought they sold out. Never mind. Um, there you go. Um, you've got, uh, oh. That's green chalcedony then on your tea bar. I wondered what it was. Ah, uh, yeah, gorgeous. Um, these are all coming up in the eight o'clock hour, but remember they will all disappear come the top of the hour or until stocks last. Let's do what we spotted. Black opal mm. under a tenner. Mm. It's how Ross rolls. He's like that. He's like that. He says he likes to get wow. you up nice and early in the morning, you see, bring you all of these early bird deals. Um, OK, let's start with oh. some lovely chiffon bags. Quite nostalgic a chiffon bag, isn't They're it? amazing. Yeah, we need them, especially when you're, yeah. um, if you're gifting, if you're making to gift or you're making to sell, a chiffon bag is a nice little finishing touch, I yep, think. Yeah, a little freebie. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And it's so much better than just, I don't know, giving it in a bit of paper or, yeah, yeah or I even worse, like I a money bag. I mine in, in, in uh, organza bags, yeah. always. Yeah, it does. I like this colour range as well. It's lovely, isn't yeah. it? You could almost complement the gemstones. Now you yeah. are getting uh, 20 of your chiffon bags, um, obviously divided across the different colours there that you could maybe complement your gemstones with if you wanted to. Um, you can contrast it. I have seen, um, you can put potpourri and things like that Little in sugared there. almonds for wedding favours and all almonds. sorts of things. Yeah. Sugared almonds. They're the, the, the bizarre sweet, don't I've you think? I've never had one. I've never Have you not? They're not, uh, no. they're not for me. Um, wow. Four ninety nine, everybody. That's for 20 chiffon bags. Amazing. And if you actually work it out, you can incur, uh, you know, if you are a business, obviously, then you factor in the cost of your chiffon bag um, to your price. Um, so you've got green, purple, like a fuchsia pink, blue and yellow. Um, we're not stopping there, though. Have you got many of these, Roscoe? 
Down to the oh, last nine. nine. Okay, so it's a like really nice size because you can get everything in these. Yeah, stretchies, really bangles, yeah. necklaces, necklaces, earrings. Every... <gasps> Two ninety nine. Wow, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's very good. Yeah. So what's that like? Fifteen p. Fifteen p. Fifteen p. Per chiffon bag. I used to buy these when I had my jewellery yeah. business, and they weren't fifteen p. They were a, mo wow. a lot more than that. Yes. Sold yeah. out. Well done. Amazing. 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 Um, let's do the letters. Here they are. Got it. Oh, I've got a little A here. Oh. A for Adam. Yes. <laughs> here it is. Oh, these are sweet. So we we'll do the whole alphabet, do we? Yes. Look. Oh. Uh, so you can. Oh, so you cl you select and then you drop. Right. You've got the drop down. The ones which are highlighted in red are, are more limited. Okay. Um. So. Hand cut. Isn't it mind blowing? And for some reason, our drop down isn't in alphabetical order. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, that's obviously how they were booked in, yes, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we just like to keep <laughs> you on your toes. That's what it is. Um, but, you know, you, you think that's carved out of a shell, mother of pearl shell, to that's create true. something as intricate as, as a, well, capital yeah. letter. Drill through the top. Drill hole through the top. Oh my god. Well, that's word. discreet. I hadn't even noticed that. So you could, like, feed oh, it through a featherweight head pin cord, or a yeah. cord. Brilliant idea. Five ninety nine. Nice little sort of personal shopping um, stocking filler. Nice. Know, personalized bracelet. Yeah, that would be lovely. Just a stretchy beaded bracelet with an initial on. Do you know? I was. Oh. Um, you know, these adverts pop up on Facebook and things. So I was last night thinking, uh, and an advert popped up, and I was like, oh, that's cute. And it was. Um, it, it was like a. For, uh, to my bestie um, and then it would have a funny quote after that you could oh, personalize yeah, yeah. Oh, the yes. characters to make yeah. them look like that person yeah. you know as i went through the process of the personalization i was like i'm not paying 20 quid for a key ring no, a plastic no. key ring so in the end i was like no, no. 20 pounds we're at 5.99 but going even lower um no. lots of sellouts yeah i'm not surprised on the web we can see snapping up the golden obsidian the labyrinth the matrix opal we've got sterling silver selling out as well um i will tell you if you want the letter d f a in particular you sound like rachel riley <laughs> Do I? <laughs> I wish I had her brain capacity. Um, then we've got ones or twos, um, but a lot of them are single figure quantities, folks. So I would definitely, if you, you know, make sure you don't miss out on your letter, because that's something you oh. can't really change, is it? Oh. Well, you can if you want to. But. Imagine wrapping, a, you know, the main, someone's main present, and on the tag, on this little string, popping a little letter charm. That's nice. Oh. That's a lovely idea. Oh. Four seconds though. We're going even lower. Hello, five. Hello to you, Jennifer. Hello to you, Maker, Maker, Maker. Um, uh, Sorry's there, Amanda, hello to you, Diane in Yorkshire. Uh, morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. Oh, £3.99. It's yeah. fascinating to carve something out of shell that I imagine, I've never had a go at carving shell, but I imagine it to be quite brittle. I would have thought that as well. So much, lots it's of... quite thick as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, it's you know, once that cutting process is yeah. actually um, achieved, then to actually... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Michael. Um, you know, then obviously you've got something that's yeah. really nice and secure. Lovely oh. a little addition. Maybe you could have that at the back of a necklace or on a bracelet, as you said. You could um, pop that onto a key ring, couldn't you? You could. Yeah. You definitely could. Three ninety nine. goodness me. Natural mother of pearl shell. Lots of you getting involved. P is sold out, folks. Um, and <laughs> it's a funny, it's a funny <laughs> sentence that. Um, hello, Alison. Um, the shell letters are oh. beautiful. I've used them um, for all my godchildren for Christmas. Simple as connectors and chain. They look oh, beautiful. Oh, lovely idea. That's I can see it actually on a fine little children's chain with their little initial. That's sweet. That isn't could it? be their first piece of piece of grown up jewelry. Grown up jewelry. Yeah. yeah to try and encourage them to look after Aww. jewelry. Amazing, well done, everyone. Um, okay, mm, yes, 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 I see it. Sorry, Michael. Um, oh, stand down, stand down, <laughs> I find it. Um, Bumblebee Jasper from the look shallow waters of Indonesia, this beautiful gemstone gives you a, a, a visual unlike any other. For me, Bumblebee Jasper is like um, the yellow malachite. Yes, yes, that's a nice actually, nice analogy, yeah. That's beautiful. Very distinctive. It? Once seen, never forgotten. Yeah. Um, from one location in the world. Rarely ever get the chance to bring it to you. Oh, seven ninety nine. Now, when we launched it, it wouldn't have been seven ninety nine. No. Oh. 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 There's a clock. Hmm. 
No, you're right. When we launched Bumblebee it's Jasper, pounds, absolutely. Point, when we launched it, it's yeah. from one location in the world. Shallow waters of Indonesia. This is a gemstone that we. It's not plentiful by any means. It's totally natural. These wonderful sunshine yellows. Name another gemstone that brings you that mm. bright yellow. Mm, I think the closest would be Mukite at a push. Maybe Mukite, yeah, yellow, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's get... still not as bright and vivid as this, yeah. is it? Yeah, sapphire is more, it isn't, quite, it isn't no. the same though, is it? It's no. yellow and citrine, it's got clarity. This is more mm. about the visual opaque patterns that you and see. And yellow and grey is a massive combination colour in, yeah. in interiors and uh, Yeah, yeah, we had it in our house. You've, it's you've changed, it. That's right. it's changed yes. ever so slightly yeah. now over the yeah. years. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's really complimentary. Yeah. Um, and it goes with everything as well, doesn't it? We're going even lower, jewellery makers. Get your messages in. Come say hi to Mark and I. We'd absolutely love to hear from you this morning. And the crew, the fabulous crew, they've got they've got very snazzy headsets now, by the way. Oh, Look like they're like sir, from some kind of uh, action film. Uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> brand new low, says Roscoe, with his headset. Um, oh, they've got, they got Madonna mics. Yeah, oh, basically. Right. They're going to uh, they're going to dance out Vogue yeah. or something like that. <laughs> we're already at a brand new low oh. price tag. And we're going again. I How see. Many do we have? How many do you have, Roscoe? Had 89, but look at the call screens, Mark. We're clearing wow. them out from the vault. Wow. We couldn't put, just to clarify, we couldn't do a Bumblebee Jasper showcase, could we? No, no. We don't have the quantity to even quantify a, a no. showcase. So um, loads of sellouts wow. on the website, jewellery makers. So I would, wouldn't this be nice alongside the Shah, right, that we've got coming yeah, up? Yeah, yellow and purple together. Stunning. Yeah, that's Stunning. a nice combo. You know, I loved yesterday, and it really put a spring in my step is where Ross opened the show with something for a pound. Yeah. I think we should do that quite often. I thought, I thought it was lovely. Yeah, it was really lovely. He said, I will try, but it's a bit difficult it's to do. It's all for a pound. I know. I mean, but ridiculous. I don't think we're meant to take anything to a pound, to be oh. truthful. Thing is, this price, I, I need, we oh, need no. to mention, on your screens right now, this is below cost. Yeah. We can't physically buy them. If we take it to a pound and there's 89 of them, then Ross is going to be in trouble, isn't he? Yeah. Um, and like we had this, yeah. You, I mean, you didn't, you didn't get, you didn't get fired last week, did you? You, you were predicting <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. That's true. They were. Our team were at the NEC yesterday. That's true. Um, they've forgotten about it now. Three ninety nine. We were already below cost at four ninety nine. Just the whole geography of it. This comes yeah. from Indonesia. That's beautiful. Just the geography of mm. it. On Tuesday next week, we've got turquoise. I'm telling you all my secrets. <gasps> this will be we've got, the um, we've got turquoise. Uh, again, turquoise with the yellow. Just yeah, gorgeous. Amazing. I'm working with a gemstone I've never worked with on Tuesday. What's that? <sighs> Go on, tell. I'm, well, I've been practicing this in the car coming in. Demortiorite. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Wow, very rare. Never had it before. Blue quartz. Two kits with it in. Amazing. Yes. Very, very rare to watch, right? Gorgeous. Yeah. It's lovely. It yeah. is. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. That's exciting. Mm, I yes. launched a mortuorite on Jewelry Maker. Oh. I said the apps then that we yeah, have. Perfect, yeah, perfect, yeah. perfect. I follow in talking about like Indonesia. Um, there's a guy, he's a Welsh guy actually, that um, has made huge amounts of money um, from being a YouTuber. Oh, okay. um, and he started, um, I recommend it by the way. We quite often, Tom and I will put it on in the evening, usually when Willow's before Willow goes to bed, and then it just stays on. Um, and he plays Monopoly, um, but it's World Monopoly. Right. And wherever it lands, he will go to that destination. Um, and if he gets to go to jail, he has to do 24 hours with no money. So he has to get like food, water, this is accommodation. A thing. This is he's a made thing. an absolute, he's a millionaire from it, an wow. absolute fortune. But basically, yeah, he throws the dice. Um, and he was, he was in Indonesia, he, went, he did South Africa, he's been to all these amazing wow. places. And he just throws the dice. And that's where he goes. That's where he goes. It's pretty incredible, pretty incredible. Wow. I recommend that, give it a watch, folks. Right. Um, but yeah, there you go, there you go. I yeah. mean, can you imagine if you had enough money just to go, right, I tell you what, we're gonna get a world monopoly board, throw the dice, that's where we're going. And oh. wherever it lands, he has to go. I had this weird thing pop on on Facebook the other day and it was two Scottish, I think they're Scottish men, doing yoga in kilts. <laughs> Random or what? I'm intrigued. Very bizarre. I'm, I'm really They've done a calendar and everything. Coming come off air, Al's like that. The world Scottish of social, men. I tell you, it's some. Um, it's, Yoga it's in kilts. Passed me by completely. 
Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay, let's do. Oh, this oh, is one of my favourite pieces. It's absolutely beautiful. You have. Can't be many of these left. No, I love this. It's oh. so. I, you would assume that I was going to say Van Cleef and Arpels, but actually, this is very Shopard. Mm. Shopard also incorporate um, your oh, malachite yeah. into this perfect heart. If I show you the reverse as well, the reverse is absolutely beautiful. You know, they're stunning, and you can see those wonderful peacock's eye separations that occur totally natural. Malachite, very shallow forming gemstone, copper rich, and they talk about paradise in shades of green. Um, and it certainly is that. Here we go. This is this is what I was actually thinking of. Oh, so yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Van Cleef and Harpels uh, do the Alhambra, of course. Shopard is all about happy hearts. That's what's their oh, greatest success. Word. Seven thousand three hundred and seventy pounds. And that little diamond that you can see, it's called a floating diamond. So it's happy because it dances around inside. Oh, um, so it's very very sweet. Right. Um, or you could go for a necklace like this for eighteen grand. Ouch. Wow. It's beautiful. It's malachite. Yes, they're in 18 karat gold or rose gold. It's the price of a car. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Um, ours isn't gold as such, but it is still sterling silver, and ours is also only £40 as opposed to 18. 18,000. Um, we're not even stopping there. You've got a beautiful bale, so just feed that directly onto one of your nice chains. Hello, Vera. Hello. Good morning, lovely. Um, this malachite pendant yeah. is amazing. It is. It's one of my favourites, Vera. I love this. You can just see the quality of it, can't you? And there's no way on earth anybody would ever imagine it to be £40. No, absolutely not. With all the big designer brands really, you know, throwing their heart and soul into Malik Malachite. Mm. This is one of their favourite gemstones. It's in every single luxury jewellers, pretty much. £14.99. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Or you can go to Shopard, and yes, it'll be in gold. You'll have a little bitty diamond. And it's seven thousand three hundred pounds. I know which I prefer. That's Good, it's I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you to Vera messaging wow. in. It's so pretty. What a lovely gift that would be. Well, even, even just for the stone on its own. Yeah. That's incredible price. Well, it's isn't a slice, it? isn't it? Yes. So you've got a really lovely yeah. slice, perfectly carved heart. You know, sometimes you see like a triangle and then the oh, silver yeah, works yeah. what makes the cleft. Yeah. It's not it's that, not, is it? It's no. a definite, definite heart. Um, we can't, uh, like, as you just said, Mark, we can't have many of these left. No. How many have we got, Roscoe? Ten. Okay, so you do need to check them out. Eight now. Virginia's got two. Hello, Irene. Hello to you. Ooh. Hello to you, Anne. Nice to see you. Sorry. Um, hello to you, Maker and Janet in Merseyside. Morning, everybody. Oh, wrong way round. Sorry. <laughs> It doesn't matter, it looks lovely both yeah. ways, doesn't it? Oh, I'm, it's nice, it's going to be a lovely Thursday, I feel, today. I do it's well. been a really nice week, actually, yeah. here at Jewelry Maker, isn't it? It's been lovely this week. Really nice week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 14 99 oh my goodness me, the phone lines have lit up. This is going to be an on-screen sellout. Um, so make sure you are checking this one out. Keep an eye on the website, folks. Remember, you've got just over half an hour to make your confirmations. Don't leave them loitering in your baskets. Um, because they're not guaranteed uh, to you unless you make that confirmation safe right. in the knowledge that every checkout um, you still only pay that one post and packaging all day oh. all day um, regardless of whether you check out once or whether you check out a hundred times um, Caroline you've got yours Virginia Maker Janet I've got Susan Liz Pauline Hampshire Tina Doreen Irene Anne and Maker so you can tell that's more than 10 people um, overall well done put it on one of your lovely gold plated sterling silver chains or maybe you might want to mix it up put it on a cord mm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, would it go with that chalcedony there yes I love that strand that strand this yeah. one yes the yeah, big one yeah well, that's, that's the one we're doing next month. That so is it's one of like the most beautiful stones I think I've ever seen. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. Look this is totally that. natural. Oh, that would be beautiful. Totally natural, Carl Sedney. Now, oh, we have, all have also, jewelry makers got quantity of this. I love this. Um, Cal Sedney, like, as we said just a few moments mm. ago, is very much in the limelight at the moment because, uh, and Dave came on air, didn't he, and spoke to us about Cal Sedney, um, uh, the fact that they're, it's actually now being purchased prior to it actually being extracted from the mine. It's that sought after. People are paying for it in advance. But they know um, it's there, waiting. They, well, 
Or do they? No. They won't know the quality, will they? They won't know, um, no. And, and also, oh. they're willing to wait, basically, within the right. business. Um, the translucency, you can get, you can get pristine trust translucency, mm. but chalcedony also forms in these works of art where you actually have layers. A little That's bit like, stunning. you know, you think about the, 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 you know, the patterns that you see in malachite, for example, yeah. or that you see with opal. Um, you know, that's the appeal, isn't it? The actual that's story. That's why, why it, I honed in on it. Was the, my mum used to, um, whenever they used to go to Weymouth or Blackpool or somewhere like that, yeah. she used to buy these little bottles with coloured sands. Yes. And it just and, and the sands were from beaches oh, sorry, around right? that area. And yes. that, that one in there in particular, it just took me right back to us. To, my the childhood, layers. the layers of the coloured sands. This one yeah. down here looks a little bit stormy, doesn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. Like you've got a horizon just yeah. there, and then you've got the moody clouds in the background. Yeah. For me, there would, there would be single pendants, just yeah, pendants yeah. on a cord or a chain. Gallery wire, yeah. you could gents, use that. Gents would love that. I see Tom wearing one of these, yeah, actually, he with would. a bit of cord. And he'd do that. that's cool. He'd yeah. say that's cool. He likes visual stones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the jewellery editor wrote, it ab wrote about uh, your Carl Sedney. It comes in different colours. Um, and they say, with a history that can be traced back to ancient Greece, uh, the gemstone oh. Carl Sedney is back on our fashion radar. Um, but what's fantastic about our Carl Sedney here at Jewellery Maker and ultimately Gemporian, oh. as I said, I watched Adina for, a, uh, for a briefly last night in between putting children to bed um, um, with her Cal Sedney showcase that entirely sold out is we bring it affordably when yeah, elsewhere it can be yeah. as astronomically expensive it is a work of art it's massively massively in demand at the moment um, and yet we're at 17 pounds and 99 pence I agree with what you're saying Mark I think these are the individual stones yeah, if you completely. want them to be yeah. oh wait a minute that's not our closing Even the price. name apple green Cal Sedney just makes you smile doesn't it lovely isn't it and people just, uh, will actually pronounce it differently as well i say calcedony some people Chalcedony, call it Chal Chal Chalcedony, yeah. uh, Chalcedony yeah. Yeah. There's, uh, <laughs> i've always said calcedony um 17.99 would be amazing we're going to show you another price that you're not paying <laughs> no. oh, wow. nine pounds and 99 pence only wow. for big individual solitaires 95 carats but we did say another price that we are not closing at oh. not closing at we're going even lower there's a lot of you there it's so visually beautiful what are, they, what are the top two like oh they're lovely I mean, too oh look at these each each side is a different picture as well isn't it they're yeah they're gorgeous. stunning yeah. absolute oh look at this Hang on. Look at that. Look at those uh, patterns. Yeah. And the fact, even on the curves on the top and the bottom of the yeah. stones, um, you've got those wonderful, con you know, sort of uh, um, the story continues, mm. doesn't it? Nine ninety nine, but we are going any uh, even lower. How many have we got then, Roscoe? Started with sixty. Oh. I think this will go beautifully with a charite as well. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Mm, yeah, because yeah. again, they've both got patterns within them. Yeah. How about mixing it with something like this? That's nice as well. Rice? Are these rice? Yeah. Rice pearls, apricot yeah. rice pearls. Maybe dotted them in between. These yeah. are coming up within this hour oh, as that well. That works really well. That would work, wouldn't yeah. it? How about using it alongside something like your Burmese uh, jade? That works. Yeah. In fact, in fact, can we just put this as a kit? That would be a really lovely. That would be kit. lovely, actually. Yeah, yeah. How lovely is that as a kit? So you could do a mala, couldn't you, and then have these as your gurus yeah. and your markers. Seven pound ninety nine. That's that for in my head. That's at least a twenty pound strand. Yeah, without a doubt. Here at Jewelry Maker, outside these four walls, well, who knows? But that strand for me is at least twenty pounds on our screens. That's one thirty three each. Yeah, it's crazy. Honestly, that is crazy, yeah. isn't it? Um, so both of these strands are coming up within this hour, but don't you think they look lovely because they pull that's out the colours, kit. don't they? That is a beautiful kit. What time of you, what season would you would you put? I'd go for spring. Yeah, spring, summer. Mm. I think that'd be lovely yeah. spring, summer. Yeah. And I'd put something like, I'd definitely be thinking about, you know, your wire guardians, yes. using yeah. your wire guardians in any of the colours. Um, they're flying on pre-order, just so you know, so you can get hold of those. Um, you could use them with, of course, your shepherd hooks. Yeah. Um, use them with the silvers. They'd work lovely with the silver I'm as just well. Thinking. Oh, yes, Mark. What do you think? I definitely think. Yes. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine that kit? <laughs> How beautiful. Yeah. I've had a, um, a, t a telephone conference, Zoomy, Teamy thing. Have you? I don't know what they're called. 
What, Zoom. One of those, yeah, with or Georgia. Teams. And we've put together the specs for my kids for birthday week next year that's, already. See, yeah, yeah, that's how long it takes. It's going to be amazing. That's yeah. how long it takes to put together yeah. these kind of events, folks. Yeah. Yes, I saw that email yeah. actually, and um, um, I haven't yet got round to actually putting it down in email. My ideas, but <gasps> we're in November, yeah. and we're thinking that we're talking about May. Seven ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Lots and lots and lots of you there. That's Shall we do? Ooh, what? that's a negative. Negative. I don't have a selenite. Those uh, aquamarines you had yesterday were amazing. Oh, weren't they? Weren't they incredible? Thank you, Michael. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How do you carve a haigu out of selenite? I've never seen a selenite no, haigu. No, I've not. <laughs> Look at this. You still have those beautiful, see that, see oh, that yeah. lovely silver sheen across the surface of it? Selenite, again, notoriously difficult to actually mm, carve. Yes. And you can see, you can see the perfect cleavages, can't you, just there. And you know the history of selenite, we often throw words around like serenity, peace, harmony, tranquility. Um, it is a wonderfully serene gemstone and we've spoken about it. In Rome, there's actually a church where the windows are not actually made out of oh, glass, yeah. they're made out of selenite and it gives this lovely mm. kind of real aura i think to the um to the actual church itself here it is so if ever you go to rome go and see this i can't remember the name of the church off the top of my head um but that's selenite all oh. selenite those windows you see the blue yeah the beautiful blue and that's from the actual gemstone um it's so it's just fascinating this stone it's a um very popular um, um amongst um uh, metaphysical jewelry collectors or gemstone collectors I've never seen it in a, in a donut. No, not either. A donut, no. haigu, basically the same thing, effectively. Um, 13 carrots that you're getting within this. Just a lark's head knot. I think that'd be absolutely just amazing. Sort of yeah, lark's head either side and do a macrame bracelet. Nice, that'd be amazing, that would be gorgeous. Yeah, just to sit on the back yeah. of the wrist. Yeah. 20, I've, in, uh, look, I've brought you quite a few different sh uh, showcases of, sel of selenite in my years here at Jewelry Maker, but never have I had a donut. No. no. Never. It's always been rounds or those kind of shapes. Mm. So never have I brought you something which such a precision precision shape because it's incredibly difficult to actually carve. How many do we have of these? We have quantity apparently. Fifty available. I'd love them in earrings because you can imagine the movement. No, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Yes. And I think you could pick it out with something like your, your, your sterling silvers, really emphasize that magic that you have um, internally within this gemstone. I mean, it looks pristine clear there, like the windows of the, uh, of the church. And then you have this lovely yeah. silver presence. Oh my goodness me, nine pounds and 99 pence only. Um, again, a very powerful gemstone um, in the metaphysical side, I believe to cleanse, I believe, cleanse That's all right. your stones. Oh. Um, Oh my goodness, we're going even lower. There's 50, or rather there were. Hello, Christine, Catherine, Elizabeth, Lanarkshire, London, nice to see you as well. Um, I just, like said, not that. I think put it on some of your yeah. cord. Do one of your Solomon's bars. Don't, that's no, that's amazing. Gosh, I'm captivated by this. I know, it's, it is fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. The kind of piece that you could just like, have out. Mm, yes, absolutely. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a conversation starter, isn't it? Yeah, metaphysically, it's a... If that's if if that's what you believe in, like lots of powers associated to your different gemstones, that um, selenite is most certainly, most certainly, um, one of the most uh, um, desired. Let's put it that way. Thirteen seconds. We're wow. going even lower. There was fifty, but they are absolutely flying. Selenite is not a heavy stone either, because um, it's a form of gypsum, effectively. Um, it's a completely void of water content so it's a nice lightweight gemstone so you could easily wear this in the ear um it's a big size and yet seven pounds 99 pence but we're wow. still not done says roscoe ross is this new is this brand new it's been on air wow. once apparently i think they'd be lovely in the ear look let's yeah. see that the fact that you can really see you can see that translucency but then occasionally you have that lovely flash of silver you know, it has got lots of spiritual, it visually looks spiritual, doesn't it, as a gemstone? 
Susie absolutely would love this. Deb, Debs would absolutely love this as well. Um, like I say, both very much into their met metaphysical side of gemstones. Um, they, it, it <laughs> Adam loves it because he loves his donuts. You know, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Um, but I love it because it's selenite and it's just got this wonderful angelic appearance to it. $7.99, we're going even lower, jewelry makers. Make sure you are checking out your baskets, folks, to um, guarantee a success. I'm holding at the ear. It could easily be, um, could easily be a pendant. That would be lovely too, wouldn't That's it? Right, Ooh, really look at that. simple. Yeah, a bit, si a bit yeah, 60. A bit 60s, yeah. You could set a gemstone in the centre there. That'd be nice. We're at 7 99 Where are you going? Oh, I'll use your gallery wire. Set a oh, stone in the middle. Because yeah. that would protect it then as well. 6 99 It's a work oh. of art. I can't even get my head around how you actually carve something like this in selenite. Because there's a picture on this, on this PowerPoint, Roscoe. The selenite caves. And it looks otherworldly. It looks like it shouldn't be on our planet. And you imagine carving. Look at that. Oh, yes. Just unbelievable. Little orange dots, by the way, are people. Just amazing. Look at that. And that's how this amazing gemstone actually forms. It's huge. I love it on the finger. As you can see, that translucency as well. Um, six ninety nine. Well done, Chandy, Barbara. Hello to you, Joanna, Bernadette. Getting six. Well done, Lincolnshire, Marilyn, Denise. Hello to you, Elizabeth, Oxfordshire, Christine. You've got yours. Amazing, Lanarkshire. You've got yours. I only had fifty. These must be getting limited now. Um, Sheila, Genoa, Lynn, Eileen, Mary, Maria. Hello to you, Karen, Catherine, Lanarkshire, London. Lots of you still with it in your baskets. You know what to do. Um, yeah, in all of my showcases that I've brought you of Selenite. I think this is the first time I've ever seen it in a high goo donut. Um, I would put it um, horizontally, so flat, with yeah. a bead at the top, a yeah. bead underneath, with a tassel coming from the bottom. Ah, oh, fantastic! Little lantern. That'd look lovely, wouldn't it? In a long line necklace. Mm, yeah, know, that would be really beautiful. Nice. It's magical, isn't it? Because you look at it and think, OK, so it's a white translucent stone, but actually then you get these. It's got a slight lemony hue to it, hasn't yeah. it, from some angles? Yeah. I like that. It's like driving rain, as we've yeah. been talking about yes. it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, unbelievable. Well done, everybody. Yeah. I'll leave yeah. that with you. Fantastic. Um, hmm, what to do next? Don't forget your early birds, folks. They are flying on oh. uh, pre-order. As I've uh, teased you with it, I feel like we should do the, j uh, the jadeite tumbles now. Yeah. We all know jadeite is one of the top 10 rarest gemstones. We all know jadeite is one of the top 10 most expensive gemstones out of the 4,000 different minerals there are um, on our planet. Um, now you can get type B, type C, which basically means treated. They are less desirable, less valuable. This is type A, totally and utterly natural. Um, we also know that the Burmese mine closed in 2020. Mm. Um, so the price tag has gone zoop, massively, massively upward. Um, and you get a lovely sort of uh, um, palette of colours of your jadeite. You can get your uh, sort of delicate, almost soft sage greens like this. You can get your imperial greens, black, white, purples, lavenders rather, um, yellow jadeites. You can get all of those. Um, <clears throat> but here is a gemstone that if you uh, regard yourself as a collector, um, then yes, it's most definitely on your radar. Um, now, I remember launching this. I remember launching this strand, which speaks volumes, actually, I have to say. When I've, I bring you jadeite mm -hmm. on a regular basis, for me to single out a strand tells you something. Mm. That's right, isn't it, Ross? I'm glad we've called them tumbles and not nuggets. Not nuggets. They're yeah, not nuggets, no, are they? No. The fact I remember this strand and what we launched it at speaks that, volumes, doesn't it? That one just there, look. Yes. It's a beautiful green. Get it now. In 2020, the mine closed. We did benefit in, you know, in terms of the gem fairs not being open over COVID. We managed to purchase, you know, big quantities of these. However, that is coming to an end. I'd like to have been a fly on the wall with these deals going on. I know. It would have been very interesting. Well, it? if you think about it this way, you know, when, when the Hong Kong Gem Fair, which, by the way, the traders will do 90% of their mm, annual business yes, at, yeah. um, they didn't cancel it. They postponed it. So what that meant was that they, in the hope that it would obviously, it would run, um, but what that meant was you had all these gem traders in Hong Kong Harbour with their offerings like this, mm. 
Um, Hong Kong Harbour is expensive to moor at, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't got personal experience, but I understand. Um, and in the end, it was like, right, okay, we've got to cut our losses. Let's just try and sell it elsewhere. And we've got, obviously, contacts, relationships and uh, uh, with suppliers, and they gave us the whole offering yeah. um, at, a good, at a good price tag. So, um, you know, that was wonderful and obviously uh, initiated a really wonderful relationship over the forthcoming years. But, you know, if, uh, at some point they are going to say, look, I'm not selling it to you for these low prices yeah. anymore um, good luck everybody because we did an amazing deal on this beautiful they're large tumbles aren't they I remember as well I, I've brought you probably thousands of jadeite strands <laughs> over the years and I remember that we took this under 20 pounds wow. they're not small stones are they no, I pay 20 pounds for any for one of yeah, these absolutely. certainly that one certainly that one if you've never these and do a, not, do a full marl, oh, lovely in tumbles. Mm, I yeah, love I yeah, love yeah. marlers in tumbles because yeah. they're a little bit more casual, aren't they? I suppose. Um, Nineteen ninety nine. Make sure you check it out. How many do we have, Roscoe? Twenty nine. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Oxfordshire, well done for checking out nice and quickly. Samantha, well done. Jane, Carol, Mary, uh, Derbyshire's just got two. Well done to you, Beverly, Northampton. If you want those five, I would be quick. Uh, Carol and Valentina are amazing. Um, we are going to put a minute on your screens, jewelry makers. That's to close this auction because we quite simply cannot buy Burmese Taipei natural jade dye at twenty quid any moving forward we know that that's the reality we can't buy it for what's on your screens you are benefiting from that well you know what happened mm -hmm. and that i've just yeah. described um but we can't and our suppliers have been like it's good it's been great while it lasted thank you ever so yeah. much for your support through the pandemic however um i'm better off selling it into our local market so that's what they're doing 38 seconds jewelry makers 19.99 is an unbelievable deal of all the jadeite strands that i've had the privilege of bringing you over the years this one sticks in my mind um eileen valentina jane good luck carol good luck beverly good luck Look, Samantha might be coming in to get some more I think Samantha is that right I can see you've already checked out and I can see you've just added some to your bar so yes yes there we, go. there we go Samantha's up to order I don't blame you lovely I'll be doing exactly the same Eileen well done to you Marilyn you are there but this is getting very very limited now so make sure you're quick checking out your baskets beautiful with pearls tumbles I think look amazing with pearls because they're quite organic mm. aren't they yeah. um, and of course don't forget your lovely little wire guardians that you can shop ahead and pre-order on as well. Um, amazing. Have I got what, sorry? Rubies. Oh, this would be that? perfect with this, yeah. You read my mind then. Just, there's just spaces alternating them. Jade and ruby necklace. Couldn't be honestly. any more perfect. Could not be. Very Cartier, of course. If you think about the Barbara Hutton yeah. necklace, that's Jade with ruby. Commissioned all the, or wow. I should say the design was commissioned by uh, Cartier oh yes that's lovely isn't it you can just alternate those Mark don't just you think spaces <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah just use some rubies just, ca as just casually natural rubies as well <laughs> you know not not Fisher filled yeah. rubies natural rubies oh it's a gorgeous color palette isn't mm. it and of course you know if you uh with jadeite as well you know red is a very very uh auspicious color isn't it brings good fortune and yeah, yeah. wealth and abundance and all those things so uh, red silks red cords rubies things like that are often associated with your uh, jadeite we're going to do this in one price crash great also if you're not thinking about jadeite great for things like your tassels mark <coughs> you could do things like your kiss cross true that'd be amazing wouldn't it can we can, yeah. we can we just take a moment we've got natural ruby for 12.99 oh. <laughs> that's madness isn't it yeah it is mad I never believed that I would own ruby, never, because it was always the most expensive colour gemstone in the jewellers that I worked at. Never in my wildest dreams. They would not put the ruby offerings in the window, they were that expensive. Whereas here, we are bringing you 30 carats of ruby at 12.99. I mean, all of your rubies that you didn't put in the window because they were too expensive would have been filled. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 100% yeah. because we never we never even discussed the treatment process. No. You know, I wasn't taught about the treatments mm. um, of your gemstones, but 100% they'd have been treated. Absolutely. 12.99 for natural ruby. 
beautiful three millimeter rounds. Uh, I'll leave them with you because there's lots of you there. Mm. Amazing. Your rice um, pearls have sold out. Oh, they have. I spotted yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Um, yes. Ah, yes. Now I've got the bracelet here. I do have the bracelet. Um, so the other day we had to kind of we rush did. this, didn't we? Did. we? Yeah. Um, it's, Start with a necklace, and I'm going to ask lovely Michael for that's another bracelet, lovely. Awkward. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask for a bust as well if I can. Um, this is a heavyweight bracelet, and again, very Tiffany's. Do you and agree? we like the fact that they were solid bars. Which solid. Just so unusual. So they give you this kind yeah. of rigidity, um, which looks absolutely amazing. Ah, uh, no, no. Um, okay, we'll do it off the recording, that's fine. Um, so we'll start with the bracelet, uh, sorry, the necklace, we have got the matching bracelet. So this is 18 inches, um, and you've got like a twisted jump ring. Lovely. They're gorgeous, yeah, aren't yeah. they? I don't think we've Love ever done them. anything yeah. like this before. So beautiful. Um, they're definitely giving me a bit of Tiffany's and a little bit of Gucci vibes. Is everybody else seeing that? Like the stirrup? <laughs> Tiffany's, yeah. yeah. Oh, stirrups, it's yes. Like a little stirrup. Yeah. If I show you the bracelet on the back of my hand, and obviously what's on your screens, the graphics is actually the necklace. Um, but yeah, definite Gucci vibes, oh, I think, probably lovely. more than any. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. And you were saying that you might separate each of these. Well, I just love the bars. I think they're so unusual. Use them with some sort of wire macrame or something like that as little sections, little yeah, connectors. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. How beautiful that mm. is. Now, jewelry makers, make sure you're checking out nice and early. This is new. We we kind of we launched it, but we kind of didn't mm. launch it, if mm. you see where I'm coming yeah. from. It was very rushed. Um, very, very rushed. Um, Mark and I, it was on our last show, which was what? That's right. What day was Monday. that? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Um, Saturday. 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 Where yeah. has the week Saturday. gone? Um, we're at 19.99. It's solid 925 sterling silver, and there's a big investment of your sterling silver. Um, yeah, Gucci, one of their longest, you know, like you've got Cartier with the Panther, haven't you? Yes, you've got yes. Tiffany's with the Hearts, Chopard's with the Hearts, Van Cleef with the Clovers. Um, Gucci is very much about sort of bamboo or stirrup. Right. That's their sort of okay. most successful uh, collections. This has that kind of lovely stirrup, you know, quite equestrian-like vibes. Under twenty pounds, jewelry makers. What a lovely gift this would be. Maybe you'd put one of those uh, uh, mother of pearl mm. shells on I there. Think that's what I, do, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think that would work. Yeah. Um, what's on your screens right now is the necklace, and I have the bracelet sort of draped over the back of my hand right now. So you're twenty pounds for the necklace, Roscoe. Six grams of sterling silver. So I was looking at that price tag, imagine that was a bracelet for a second, even though I'd said it, that's the necklace. Wow. Now the bracelet, seven and a half inches, but you could very easily add to that if you wanted to with an extender chain. Let's bring you another, it is effectively the launch jewelry makers. We are, oh my goodness. Really? Oh my goodness. So I can get the whole suite for 30, 30 pounds. pounds yeah. So with the bracelet and the necklace is just a whisper under nine grams. You could join them together, couldn't you? Do it over the head. Yeah. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah. I'd definitely I'd put a little shot. And me, it's so Gucci yeah. in terms of its inspiration, which, and Gucci do their own sterling silver collection, don't they? Um, it wouldn't be a tenner though. No, <laughs> it no. definitely would not be a tenner. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out what a perfect Christmas gift that would be. It's simplistic, isn't it? But with detail. Mm. If I love the jump sense. rings as well. Yeah, because they're like... It's, it's all a feature, isn't it? There's no, yeah. there's no little feature trying to outdo its neighbour. They're all justified in one piece. And all they're complimentary. Yes, I mean, I know yeah. we have lots of silversmiths who watch, yeah. you know. Um, I know you could probably make that, but at 9 99 mm. is it even worth it? No. Can you even buy the silver for that? Um, and the clasp, etc. Make sure you're ready. Wow. Check it out your baskets. I'll leave that one with you. Time is racing by this morning. Um, okay, it is time for your early bird. These are an absolute must if you've never incorporated wire guardians into your jewellery making. Um, I think you need to change that because it does make a massive, massive difference, don't you think, Mark? Um, yeah. To wow. your finished result. Um, we're bringing you the yellow gold and also the rose gold and then the silver will be brought to you in the nine o'clock hour. Good luck. I wish I had more. I genuinely do. This is the kind of auction that we would want 500, 600, mm. 700, if not more. Yes. Uh, it's limited, unfortunately. So good luck. Don't leave them in your baskets. Check out as fast as you can.
So, these are called wire guardians or wire end tips. They're basically the same thing. Um, in terms of what they look like, and I'll show Mark's earring again in a second. If you can imagine like a pair of headphones um, or like a horseshoe, um, then, and this horseshoe, thank you. Oh, perfect, Mark, you're all, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> he makes my job so easy. He really does. Um, so they are like a little horseshoe, and if I just separate it ever so slightly. Mm, yeah. So this is the wire. Mark's very kindly actually put it onto a rose gold wire for you to actually see. The yellow gold here, let's push it up, that's your wire guardian. Now the wire guardian, as you can see, is like a horseshoe, but where this is actually sitting, there's a small gully so curves actually inwards so and that means up. it's genius isn't yeah, it yeah. that your thread or your wire will sit beautifully within that gully now the reason for that a aesthetically it looks much more finished and polished mm -hmm. um, but also it adds longevity to your jewelry because if you think that's raw silk which like a, a pearl necklace for example silk is a natural material and um, it can Free, effectively. Absolutely. Especially if you're having a jump ring or a clasp rubbing every rubbing time you put it on it. and off. And uh, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. So it prevent it adds yeah. longevity and it stops uh, prevents that silk, wildfire, nylon cord, whatever it is, um, or more precious metal mm. wire yeah. Yeah. from actually rubbing. Because if you think if this wasn't here, if I just scooch it down ever so slightly, um, and it was just literally more of a harsh shape. Um, then the jump ring, like Mark was just yeah, saying, just is wear, going to actually wear, wear, wear down ever yeah, so slightly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so these are the yellow gold. Um, these are the yellow gold. They come in the storage container. Plus, let me just say, check before I say it. Are they different sizes? It might be me. Here we go. I don't know. Um, How many pairs do you get? In total, 50. 50. Altogether. Wow. They're a pound each, so the little earphone bit is like a tube. So that's what you feed your threading material through, follow the gully, back through the other tube effectively. Yeah. Um, and it looks so professional. Mark has massively opened my eyes actually this morning because I didn't realize or didn't even think to use them in your earrings as well. Because obviously, because your because your shepherd's hook loop is going to rub yeah. on threads and cords. Why have I never like thought that of that before? before? I love that. I really like it. And, and it's do, far you neater can, than my, yeah. my wrap loops. And you can do big beads as well, you know, your 50, your 16, 20 mils, just pop that on the top, because it wouldn't normally be strong enough, but because you're using one of those guardians at the yeah. top, the shepherd's hook will be inside that little horseshoe rather yeah. than the thread. So it's not going to work so, its way so for out. Your, for your, again, for your seed beading projects, this is the perfect way of finishing. Do you know, seed yeah. beading in particular, it's yeah. a fantastic tool isn't it yeah. because you, you know yeah. last thing you want if you lose that jump ring or that clasp then you've got to re-thread it got, haven't you and that's you, don't, you don't want to spend nine ten hours doing no. a necklace or a bracelet with seed beads and then to fail at the last hurdle yeah you know, exactly so this is just, just perfect way of finishing now our regular jewelry makers absolutely know how popular these are it doesn't matter really what medium whether it's pearl knotting sea beading normal beading whichever it is um, they it, it really does make a difference to your jewelry and obviously this is where you would add your clasp or shepherd hook whichever you wish we were at a pound per um, wire guardian Wow. Um, but now we've taken it even lower. So we're what, 50p per wire garden. Can you see that there? And oh. we are not stopping there. That's amazing. So if you imagine, let me just get my tweezers, your clasp of choice will be attached here. Yep. So that's protecting the beading thread or, or wire in this yeah. case. Brilliant. We are going even lower. They are so integral. You know, definitely, definitely one of our essentials. Yes, you can make a piece of jewelry without them, but it won't last as long. No, no. It will not last as long. You know, your traditional um, pearl knotting, your traditional, most of the pieces of jewelry um, around our studio will have wire guardians on for sure. Um, again, it looks, it just looks the part, doesn't it? In 20 seconds, we are taking this even lower jewelry maker.
because we've got the gold plated then we'll bring you the rose the silver is in um is in the white oh just some casual akoya pearl akoya pearls yeah i, I knew it so here we go let me show you thank you michael thank you michael so if you look here by that spacer here there's uh, your wire thanks. guardian and you can see the silk running through the gully just there obviously means so it's metal on metal, not Me metal on silk. Yeah, which obviously the silk's not going to last long. Clever, invention. isn't it? £19.99 and pence jewellery makers. You're getting a 50, wow. a pack of 50. We used to sell them in packs of 10. And it makes such a difference to your jewellery making. Gives you that really professional finish. Now, I know the ones I'm holding are in silver right now. Um, basically, what we're bringing you is the gold. The silver are coming ahead, uh, coming up. That you can't shop ahead on those. Um, they're at 9 o'clock today. I wish I had more of these. We, uh, how many were there available? Oh, I've timed out. Um, how many were there available of these? 50. Uh, okay. Um, 50 available. Here's the box. Of, if you're wondering what the little black slip is, that's your anti tarnish. So um, make sure, keep hold of those because they actually uh, um, obviously add longevity to silver as well, Absolutely. don't they? Yeah. Um, and definitely, it's rare that we get all three colours. Yeah. So it's worthwhile making sure you get all three of your Wire Guardian colours as well um, in this morning's show. Lots wow. of you there, Stella, Pauline, Linda, Marilyn, Jeanette, Sean, Erica, um, hello Mary, hello to you Jennifer, uh, Helen, Caroline, Julie, Lynn, hello to you Maria, Valerie, Nancy, Susan and Brian. These will sell out, I can say that for absolute mm. certain. You know there's tons of people there, plus you get the little storage container as well. Rose gold are coming up. I would strongly recommend getting each colour whilst you have the opportunity. Um, they sold out in two minutes last time they were on air. Oh, no. <laughs> which When was that? September, did you say? Earlier than that. June. June. Sold out in June. We had how many? 50? Gone. 50? Gone. 50? Gone. This morning's going to be exactly the same. Exactly the same. We need to try <coughs> and order bigger quantities, to be truthful. It would love to, we'd love to uh, have this as an essential, like our head pins, featherweights, those yeah, kind of yeah. things. But yeah, they, we just can't keep hold of the stock. Well done, everybody. Super, super, super busy. I'm going to dive into the rose gold. I'll leave the gold, yellow gold there so you can shop ahead on these. And I'll hold this necklace. Same again, sold out back in mm. June. Haven't seen them since. Got 50 back in today. There's your wire guardians. You can see how they work. We are going to crash and then we're going to put a 60 second clock on your screen. That's to close everything in the hour. Um, the silver will be coming up straight after the break um, ahead of Mark's amazing kits, jewelry makers. So um, here's the rose gold, just so you can see. Really beautiful, lovely to compliment. For example, if I'm adding a rose gold class, I want a rose gold wire guardian. Absolutely. Yeah, you know? yeah that's right. Or you need, you need something that's going to match the colour of your You want to compliment well. it, Absolutely. don't you? It would be yeah. a bit of a shame to mix them up. One minute and we are closing out this uh, opportunity and every item that we have brought you so far this morning. There were 50 available. You get the storage container as well, which is fantastic. Yeah. We always need storage, don't we? Um, you've got your beautiful rose gold 925 sterling silver in your wire guardians. Um, yes, get your yellow gold if they haven't already sold out. The silver coming up immediately after the break. Check out your baskets on everything that we've brought you so far this morning. There's been lots and lots and lots of sellouts. Mark's amazing kits coming up. They are a must, your wire guardians. These trusty little, little horseshoe-like shapes. Easily to overlook if you don't really know what they do. But actually, once you start working with them, you realise how integral they are to your jewellery design, but also jewellery wear. Um, OK, so we are about to dive out this hour. Check out your baskets, everybody. Body, um, and then they'll disappear otherwise your silver wire guardians coming up after a very short break don't go anywhere <laughs> never miss a show by watching on the go with the jewelry maker app head over to your app store now and search jewelry maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet you can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? Or want to watch one back? 
then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Are you ready? There's going to be a frenzy on the phone lines. It's going to be crazy on the web. Can't be a frenzy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Particularly on a Thursday morning. Ooh, got a little shelf under here. Did everyone just notice the shelf? Well, because my legs get caught under it. I know. So there we go. Yeah. There, it's amazing. <laughs> no, you can't be a frenzy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, the only issue I have to say, jewelry makers, a hundred, put simply, oh. is not enough. No. It's not enough, is it? Because people will probably buy more than one, and I don't blame you for that. I would do exactly the same. I would 100% be stocking up on these. We haven't had them since June. That's amazing, isn't it? It should be an essential, as you said, shouldn't it? Did we only have them in base metal to begin with? Yeah, like your French wire. Like I think French you, I wire. think you're right. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. So it's and quite then a recent thing that we've had the sterling, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's. But it's, I, I mm. prefer them in the sterling mm. silver yeah, because if you're putting a wire guardian into your piece of jewellery, you're probably going to want would, it to be like So something like pearl knotting, you've probably spent a few hours on the piece. You want yeah. to finish it off properly, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah. And this, uh, for me, without, I suppose there's nothing wrong with having an exposed silk and traditionally mm. that's probably what they all look like. It does make, it did, when we first introduced wire guardians, um, you know, I look after some of my mum's jewellery now. Mm. She's in a home, so I look after some of her jewellery. It's all safely stored away. But I remember thinking, 
thinking, I wonder if mum's necklace has actually got wire guardians on. Right. Um, hers has got French wire. Oh, okay. French wire, which of course, again, it, uh, there's nothing Over wrong with it, but it's, yeah. it's not as great. It's mm. not great. So it very much, for me, is an upgrade of your mm. French wire. Um, now, the Wire Guardian, um, you've seen how busy it was with the yellow gold and the rose gold. The silver is the most popular colour, and I'll say it again. You know, if you are adding a silver clasp, then you're probably going to want the silver Wire Guardian to complement because, I don't know, for me, it would just look at, be a bit of a shame to actually, and this is the look, the look you're going yes, for, maybe, yes. mixed metals, but to actually have them contrasting. I'm ever so sorry. I will apologise in advance. There are only 100. It's not enough, is it, Ross? Can we, we need to relay back to the team actually, why are guardians need to be an essential and that we need to order bigger quantities of them because um, it might also be supply. Uh, you know, I'm yeah, not, I, I, you know it's not necessarily a, a case of we've made that decision to only order a hundred. I should imagine that's not the case. Um, but ideally we would need to be ordering maybe like thousands, like you would do your featherweight head pins and your jump rings and class and things like that. But again, it's adding longevity to your jewelry. It makes a massive, massive difference. Um, if you see there, you can the, the silk, um, or just down here, that's easier. The silk is through the wire guardian, runs safely in the gully, so it's highly unlikely to actually sort of work its way out. That prevents, ultimately, the silver jump ring from the friction um, rubbing against uh, um, the actual silk, which eventually over time will break. It will break. It's a natural thread. It's a natural uh, component. So it gives you much more longevity and it looks better, mm. I think. No, absolutely. It just makes it that final professional yeah. finish. Professional. It? Yeah. Looks so much better than, uh, in my opinion, yeah. French yeah. wire. And being a purchase, if you bought a necklace that had these finishing touches, that you'd, you'd know that the person who made it has taken that extra special care. Yeah. Which just makes it even more special, I think. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Now we know they are, uh, mm. you know, in circulation. Yes, yeah. You want those included, don't you, yes, in your size? Yeah. And it's not just pearls. You know, you would use these with all of your beading. Mm. You'd use these with your, as you said, very, very, very much so with your, your uh, seed beading. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. you use what? Wildfire? Wildfire or Fireline, which that'll wear even quicker than your silk will. Yeah. over time so to have that little extra finish and you could you mm. could uh, i'm just thinking could you pass it through a few times you could wildfire? Fire wildfire you could yeah because it's very thin yeah, yeah that's good so idea. pass it through a few times so yes. you get that real yeah. safe uh, safety um again so you're getting 50 of them with, within this box so you do get the box as well um they are solid 925 sterling silver heads up there are a hundred. I'm so sorry about that, but there are literally a hundred of these available. Graphics are live. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Um, 50 of your wire guardians in the silver colour. It's probably going to sell out in a matter of minutes. I, I generally believe. Oh. Yeah, thought so. <laughs> thought so. Um, this product is so sought after. We were actually told same price as the yellow and rolled, uh, uh, yellow and got uh, yellow and rose. Sorry. Okay your screen <laughs> we're going to match that price but ross says i will take a little bit lower we don't do as we're told i have to tell no. you that it must be infuriating for our team we don't need to drop the price tag i can tell you the call screen's gone crazy isn't it half the stock's gone like that i think this could be a sellout within less than a minute uh, and and i'm gonna actually do you know this early bird is making me want to speak it's alice isn't it that deals yeah, with the silver is, yes. um yeah. alice Alice, we need wire guardians by the bucket loads, please. They need to be part of our essentials list. If they aren't already, but we definitely always, we can't wait, what's it, June, July, August, September, October, November, five, five months. Five months for the next. Five mm. months. Best part of half a year um, in between orders. 19.99, they've flown out. I'm not surprised. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Um, bear with our call center, three grams of solid sterling silver. We don't need to drop the price. Um, the powers that be have told us no, they are the same um, because they are so in demand and we might pay the same. I don't know, I don't, I'm not part of the buying team. However, we always do take it a little bit lower, don't we? Oh no. Well, don't get into trouble. Ross was told explicitly not to drop the price on the <laughs> silver. And you have point blank ignored that instruction. <laughs> that command. Command. Yeah. Was it a command, Ross? An instruction. An instruction. Right. 
and you've completely you yeah you would be rub rubbish in uh um like in the army or anything like that you mm. wouldn't follow any instructions would you <laughs> <laughs> You won't be any good. 1799, the phone lines have gone crazy, everybody. Yeah, lots of you there. And I do. Oh, my word. Well, I'm not surprised you've multi bought. I would be as well. It's been five months since mm. they were on air last. Oh, crap, and it's little things like this that when you first start jewelry making, Mark, you wouldn't necessarily no, know about, no, would you? I'd never knew about them. I'd never heard of French wire or anything. No. I just thought you, you just tied a knot and you finished. You kind of, well, when yeah. you first start, you don't even no. think about things like no, that, do you? No. And I used to watch the lovely little mm. little lady that used to, her job in the jewellers that I worked at back in my 20s was exclusively pearl knotting. And they used wow. to charge by the knot. Um, she was such a sweet lady. She was in her 80s when I worked there, and she'd worked there for, I think, in total for over 50 wow. years. And she, that's all she did was not pearls. And I used to sit and chat and chat and chat and chat. But I never remember the French wire that she used to put on. Wow. That must have been French wire. She was wire. busy. She was always, yeah, yeah. So lots of people always then. Always knotting. I mean, she yeah. wasn't the fastest, but she was in her 80s, bless her. Yeah. And everyone knew <laughs> that her name, Brenda, bless her. Brenda. Everyone knew Brenda was, was the lady wow. that, that knotted your pearls. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure wow. you do check out your baskets, your hair, Brenda. Oh, Time mm, flies, doesn't it? Yeah time Aww. flies she was all about the pearl knotting um and then she definitely didn't have wire guardians definitely because no. I, I think my first introduction of these was at jewelry maker genius little invention Love aren't they one amazing. of those inventions that yeah. you kind of think i wish i came on that yeah. <laughs> there's lots of those I like that like like your featherweight head pins oh, which yes. i've come up with that there's um, one thing that i wish i'd invented and that was a super duo super duo yeah i wish i'd invented that yeah never mind never mind there's lots mm. of things, isn't there? Mm. Yeah. Wish I. Oh. <laughs> Adam, I wish I'd invented the poop <laughs> scoop. <laughs> but what are those? The claw things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. you know, it's got its place. Mm. It's got its need. Well done, everybody. Well done. Look at the quantity. We're down to the final 17 of these. Um, make sure you check out. They're gonna. You're gonna miss out if you don't check out your baskets. We had a hundred. A hundred. That's it. It's not enough. Let me show you the call screens. You know, just in case you don't believe how busy it is. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. I tell no lies. No. Look at all these names. And they go down. All the and they down. go down yeah. and down and down. If you're on this side of the screen, <gasps> oh. you haven't confirmed. Look at the quantity, eight. There's more than eight of you with it in your basket. Sometimes if you've checked out and you still see your name here, it's a little bit of a delay, but if, as long as you've had that, thank you for your order, it's all good. Mm. But yeah, make sure you check out because six is not going to fit into the number of names that I've got on that right hand side col uh, column. Well done everybody. And I don't want to wait five months. Um, oh dear, I don't want to wait for this. Well, look at this contraption. It's just oh, asking no. for me to drop this <laughs> iPad, isn't it? Um, oh my goodness. Um, down to the final three. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are. I've got some really, really, really beautiful. No, seriously though. <laughs> this iPad holder, whilst it might look the part, not exactly the safest. Oh yeah. You know. It's just asking uh, for me to yeah. drop it, isn't it? Can just be. Wait, what do you mean I've got it on the wrong way? Well, now I can't see the iPad. <laughs> that way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> no, because look. It's upside down. What are you talking about? <laughs> How do we work this? Oh, sorry. You can tell I'm not an engineer, can't you? <laughs> That's what it was like before. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> I'll stick to what I do, yeah? Um, amazing. Right then. <sighs> oh. Coming up, jewellery makers, for the first time in a very, very, very uh. long time. We will tell you, jewellery makers, given the current circumstances, we are not buying Sharite again. Um, moving forward, this is old mine Sharite. Um, so this was 
purchased obviously long before the current situation um, in Russia. It's, uh, it's a shame because it's an absolutely beautiful gemstone, it's, isn't it? It is stunning. I've always loved this gemstone. Yeah. It reminds me that you've got a tin of purple paint and you've dropped some single cream and then you've just given it a little stir. A bit of silver. Yeah, because yeah, it forms under yeah. a frozen lake. That's incredible, isn't it's it? It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Beautiful, all totally natural. So this is coming up, jewellery makers. Um, the final... Gosh, that's sad, isn't it? The final mm. showcase of Shah Right. We do have rounds, but only a couple of rounds within that, um, if that's your choice. And we've got some lovely sh other shapes as well. So definitely get it whilst you can. You've also got that amazing, um, some of the finest quality jade, uh, jade sorry, to bring you today. That's coming up, oh, wow. plus so many more beautiful uh, kits in the 12 o'clock hour in your masterclass. Mm. Very excited about your odd count. I know. Odd Count Piote. And then this hour, it's all about Chalcedony. Which I love. And me. I love. I've always loved it. I've always loved it. It's because yeah. you like coated gemstones, Mark. Mm. I think Chalcedony, I'm not saying these are coated, but they've got they've got that appearance, haven't they? Because mm. there's a semi-translucency right. to them. Yeah. No, they're absolutely <gasps> beautiful. Oh, Mark. Each and every single one of these kits I'm absolutely loving. And you get a big spool. You do. Big so spool. You get a spool of... Um, of, of um, Esclon cord, you get two of the ombres, got drops, which I've never seen drops before, no. and then rondelles and, and chunky rondelles. No, they're beautiful. Absolutely. Really Can we nice. start with this one? Mm. No, no, in fact, no, you no, choose. No, 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 that's fine. Only because no, I, I love, love this necklace. Yeah. I, this necklace is absolutely beautiful. And you've separated the colours, haven't you, on this one? Yes, yeah, so I've gone for, I've made a bracelet and earring set, and then I've gone for a pink set. I always do that. I can't, I can't mix them up. Now, oh. there's only 50 oh, no. of each of the kits. Oh. Um, okay, so you do need to be right. quite quick. And okay. Cal Sedony is very much in the limelight at the moment. Lots of the big designers, like I said, Adina on Gemporia yesterday had a showcase of Cal Sedony. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And I, it was lovely because you've got that translucency, that semi translucency of the Cal Sedony. And what Gemporia had done is they teamed it with bright colours like this. So it was really. Uh -huh uplifting and positive mm. jewellery um so let's start with this cord because mark is this what i think it is mm -hmm. is this yours mm -hmm. i thought so i thought this was your cord because mm -hmm. you design and champion the ombre didn't yes. you yes yeah so the blue and the pink i think these are the only two left of the ones that i did and right. then um we have we're, we're in pre-production i don't know the difference between production and pre-production but we're in pre-production of my next range Ooh. i don't think that'll be until after christmas but they're amazing are you going to give us a teaser um, Amazonite and Smoky Quartz. Lovely. Colours? Amazonite nice. and Smoky Quartz, yeah. Nice. Which that is one of my. Amazing. So imagine Walls Vionetta. Yes. But on an ombre strand of silk, oh, of cord. A mint Vionetta. A minty one. Yeah. Oh, that's when. Yeah. That. You had one last night, a Vionetta? Oh, did, you? did you? I didn't know they still made them. A whole them. one? Or to yourself? No. Oh. Right. <laughs> we, had, we had guests. You had a guest. Do you Sorry. know? But at that, <laughs> I I, yeah. I I was born in the 70s, so grew up yeah, in the 80s. For me, you knew me. you had guests if you mumbled Vionetta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like, oh, yeah, we've got guests coming. That yeah. and a bottle of Lilt in our house. You oh, knew yeah, you yeah. had guests coming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, um, okay, let me show you this gorgeous strand mm. as well. I don't know what these kits are going to, but I can tell you. Oh, I love this. Uh, okay, I would pay what? more than what's on your screens for the strand. That's, That's £10 each, starting. You know that 50 quantity? Oh, ridiculous. It's not going to be enough, is it? Look at the colours there and that semi-translucency. Yeah. I love the hot pink. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is gorgeous. Yeah. It's like an Eva Longoria, I can imagine, wearing oh, that yeah. kind of hot pink. <laughs> yeah. I can. You know, and she's actually, I say mm. her because she is a big fan of this gemstone. I've seen a photograph wearing Cal Sedney. Mm. <laughs> Uh, she might be a fan of jewelry making, you never yeah. know. Um, 1999, plus you've got a spool of Mark's amazing ombre cord, um, of which is point f sorry, point 0.5 millimeter. Point five, um, it says, is that right? That's yes, the, that's yeah, right. Yes, point yes, 0.5 yeah. millimeter, we're missing yeah. an M on the graphic, so yeah. it's millimeter um, yeah. in terms of its thickness, so it'll go through your gemstones. Um, but also you're getting I think it's 10 meters. 10 meters on yeah. that spool. So gosh, yeah. loads then yeah. to actually create sure with. Might need to double check the length. We can double check. Mm. We're going even lower though. I mean, at 19.99 for the Strand of Calcedony, I think own. that's amazing, yeah. don't you? But we are uh, going even lower. 
with all that beautiful, I mean that in itself, it's not overlook how difficult it is mm. actually to create an ombre in a cord. Well, there's a bracelet there that I've, I've made with the ombre, so you can just see it in, in effect. Let's show dark, that. From dark to light. That's yeah. lovely, not a single yeah. gemstone. No, no, it's, that's, you can see how it changes, it's so, so effective. And it does that on all its own accord. Own. Yeah. And then the blues, and obviously. The blue coming up. Yeah. That's coming up. Yeah. Mark, these are gorgeous. I love ombre cord. I yeah. Mean, it's, it's so cool. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I mean, if that was yeah. in somewhere like Monica Venady, you'd be talking about £130 mm. at least. Mm. Yeah, at crazy. the very least we're going even lower and i guess you could make lots of those masses masses absolutely i think i think it's probably four foot length wow each bracelet okay we're going low yeah. good luck already yeah, collectors going? i think i know where we're gonna go do you mm. well i thought 1999 was an incre incredible deal that's not where i thought it was going Adam said seventeen ninety nine. You were thinking fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, I think you? it's six ninety five for the cord. Seems to ring a bell. So that means you're getting a strand of multicolored chalcedony for like six pounds. Six pounds for this strand. This kit will sell out. I want to buy this kit. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's the color palette. I really love hot pinks, beautiful blues. You've got some of the most popular colours um, of jewellery. Yeah, at this price tag, why not multi-buy? That pair of earrings just through there, can you see the pink and the dark blue? Yeah. I'd sell those for £15. I'm just, sure. Just those, just that pair of earrings. I love that dark, that dark, dark blue against the pink. Yeah, it's lovely, so isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Mark, these are gorgeous. Wow. £12.99 pence. These are looking like they will be an on screen sellout. Lovely jewellery makers. Good luck, everyone. Shirley, Joan, Fife, Helen, Judith, Belinda, Susan, Leslie, Carol, Samantha, Julie, new customer Kathleen, Francis, Maeve. Um, we're going to dive into the next kit so you can shop alongside one another effectively. So make sure um, you uh, check out your baskets on them. Which colour way next, Mark? Oh, demo first, and then we'll dive into the next of the kits. But our kits available on pre order. They oh, are, are they? Um, right. amazing. Can I just draw your attention to that? This, this gorgeous colorway. I love that <gasps> so much. How beautiful is that? I've only just spotted mm. the kit. That's stunning. Mm. Absolutely stunning. So do shop ahead. You've got your blues. You've got the kit with the drops as there as well. That's so pretty. Um, do shop ahead on these and I'll keep you updated on the quantity of each of these kits um, as and when we go. So what are you going to demo, Mark? So I'm going to show the earrings on the end, those little hoop. Hoops. The little loopy, Do you want me to pass them? Earrings. Yeah, I love this. Wow. They're cute, aren't they? Again, that's another, that's another 15 pound pair of earrings. And you're using two gemstones. Yeah. A little bit of your cord. Yeah, simple. Just, It's just lovely. Yeah, they're beautiful, Mark. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do macrame and using wire as the lazy. Okay. And using the, cor the, um, the actual cord as you're working. So first thing we're going to do is you need Pop the specs on. 0 0.6 millimeter wire. Okay, so I'm going to go for copper. Mm -hmm. And I, if I'm doing a, a single earring, I always work horizontally on my board because it, it does. You don't use up, so you don't waste so much wire. So I'm going to take a piece of my wire and just straighten it out. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just take our wire and we're going to pop it over the top. Okay, so just hook it over and then pull nice and tight into, there we go. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is just push it and then use, just use your flat nose pliers just to pull nice and tight. So I've got probably too much there, so I'm just going to cut, take that over. Okay, so that's your lazy strand in place. And then we're going to take some of our thread. Now you probably only need a couple of feet I said you've got meat. I think there's about 70 odd meters on the larger reels. And then we're just going to cut. And then the first thing to do, just to aid any fraying, just use your cigarette lighter and you just simply just touch the end like so. And just it just stops it from fraying. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do half square knot. So this will be your little helix twist. So if you're only making one earring, and what, you, what you're doing is you're doing four centimetres worth. So one, two, three, four squares on your board. So we're just going to do our half square knot, which will be your twist macrame. 
an effect. This is our this is this is a this is a trade secret here. I shouldn't be telling you this, but if you get the cord on the big reels like this, this is our own label Eslon. Okay, so if you see these big reels, it's exactly the same as our Eslon. So it holds together the knots really well, it holds onto wire really well. Um, you can splice, you can melt the ends. So all we're going to do is we're just going to continue with our half square knot. Obviously, if you want, you can do this with a bracelet as well. I think there's a bracelet on that stand, isn't there, at the end with the, the blue pale stones on. Yeah, that's lovely. Shall I bring it over? Mm, it's, it's so cute. Oh, you are, Michael. I can show you. Here it is. So that's the same technique that, that you're showing exactly now. Exactly the oh, same. But, but, just to, but I've just placed the pale stones from the strand. The pale, I love that. It's like a duck egg blue, isn't mm. it? It's gorgeous. And, um, and then just popped some macrame either side. So it finishes exactly the same way. So I will continue this until I've got the length we need. Shall you, we do the kit do, then? If you, if you do the kit, and then I'll, uh, I'll show you how we make the earring. OK. Uh, well, um, Give us a I'll moment. I'll just keep going. No, keep I'll going. Just keep we'll going. just watch you. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. So uh, again, this is this is the half the the half square knot, which gives you that twist. If you want to do square knots as well, you can do that. And uh, what I do, you, I treat this exactly the same way as if I was using cord on cord. So if you feel as though the the um, the twist wants to fold over itself, help it. So take the right cord under the wire and just flip the wires over. And, and can you notice that the twist has become a lot tighter mm. just from doing that simple little move? So we'll is it easier to use the wire as a lazy strand, do you think? Because it's. No, they're, no, no, they're the same. Just thought it was quite nice yeah. and rigid. It's, yeah, no, it, it does, it does help. So we're just going to continue. Is Ross back? He's back, so oh, shall we do. Amazing. I'll tell you yeah. what, we'll do the kit that you're working with. I okay. love it's this. It's stunning. It is so oh, beautiful. It is like autumn. Yeah. So if you look at the necklace to your left. Yeah. Um, that's what I've done. So again, the little sections are macrame with wire. And then I've, when I come to do the finishing off, you'll see how I've done the little sections. But it's just, it's so lovely. Really? Oh, uh, yes. Now you get a full spool of that lovely chocolate colored night. It's, it's described as bronze, but it's more chocolatey. It is, yeah. Isn't it? Like galaxy chocolate. Yeah. Um, and then you have this wonderful palette of chalcedony, uh, multicolored, mixing from um, sort of like fire opals to the dock oh, egg. It's amazing. It's, it's this definitely deep green. autumn, isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> lovely. Even the skies are that color in the morning, aren't yes. they? That sort of pale. Oh, uh, I think this it's might be one of my favorites. Color. It is so beautiful. I think we're all loving this one. Yeah. yeah. Have we only got 50 again? Oh, no. Shall we still take it under 20? Good luck. It's popular on pre-order, says Roscoe. Look at that. I mean, I mean, seriously, for the strand on its own, genuine calcedony, £14.99. For the strand. I think you're getting the, str oh, you're getting the nylon cord for free. Crazy, isn't it? For free. Or if you divide it by two, it's £7.50 mm. per component. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Because strands like this would have been gems of distinction. They'd have probably been, what do you think, Mark, 24? Oh, easily. Yeah, Easy. twenty-five pound each. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I just love the, the the subtlety of the colours. They just that that that's really unusual colour, isn't it? That pale blue. I would imagine that that's what Amazonite would look like if it was if it was translucent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and I wouldn't think to put these colours together, but yet they work no, so absolutely. perfectly, don't yeah. they? So I've, I've kept, as you can see, I've kept the orange and the green together because it was definitely autumn. Mm. And then I've taken out all of the aqua tones on that bracelet. And I've still got stones left, so yeah. you know it does go a long, long way. And then, of course, the earrings that and you're earrings. demonstrating. Oh yes, and the earrings as well. Yeah. Wow, you're going to be able to make um, make um, a huge amount um, from this one kit. Fourteen ninety nine. They're absolutely flying. All good. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just do three centimeters. So this technique that I'm about to show you, I did for the earrings, the bracelet, and the necklace. So it's it, it's a really good little technique to get under your belt. Okay, so we'll just do, I'll just do three centimetres. And again, you can, you can do what, whatever size you like. So I've got my length of um, the macrame. So we're going to take it off our board. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to dispose of our threads. So I'm just going to cut the two ends off, leaving a little tuft. And again, we're going to go back in with our cigarette lighter just to melt the edge and that, that seals all of those loose threads all together and then we're going to go round on this side going to again cut so 
was a little tuft. Cut off the edge. And then this is where at the point. So what you can do with, especially because it's now on wire, is if you want it to be longer, you can actually stretch it. If you want it to be shorter, you can concertine it. Can you see I'm twisting how tight that twist has become? And if you don't like it that tight, you just twist it out again. And you wouldn't be able to do that if it was on cord on cord. So it's, it's quite a funky little thing you can do. So once you're happy with the number of twists and the uniformity of your twists, we're going to now start. So we're going to go to one end. So for the necklace and the bracelet, it's exactly the same technique. I'm just going to go in about three millimeters from the end. We're just going to go in and we're going to do a wrapped loop. Okay, just fill in that gap. And don't be worried if once you've done your three loops that you still have space because again, you can just move the cord macrame section up and down the wire. So going to cut that off, make sure that's nice and, and flat. Okay, so that's one end and then we'll do the, exactly the same with the other. Okay, again, three millimeters from one end. And then we're going to do our second wrap loop. One, two, three, perfect. Okay, and then the first thing we need to do if, if you're making earrings is just make sure that our two ends are nice and flat and horizontal. So I, I hold on to one of the loops and just turn the other loop so they're both sitting nice and flat. So if you're making the necklace, what I've done is I've just placed a jump ring with again a little rosary linked section and you just you just make the, uh, the necklace as long as you want. Now I've done it over the head so you've got plenty of beads on the strand that you can you can separate. So you can see I've gone for two orange and a green in between because you get you get a lot more orange than the green. And then I've gone all the way around just linking together. So you, basically you, it's, it's a rosary link necklace. So to make the earrings, you'll need a jump ring and you'll need a shepherd's hook. Let's go for a larger jump ring. And then you can either use um, a permanent marker pen or a ring mandrel, anything that you, you've got to make a loop. So I've, I've got my ring mandrel. And all I'm going to do is just make the loop. And then while you've still got on your mandrel, just take the two little loops that you've got at the end and just flatten them onto the ring mandrel. Take the ring mandrel away. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just, this, as I said, with my earrings, I did four centimeters. I've only done three here because of time. We're just going to manipulate the two together so, and you want the two loops to be sitting directly on top of each other so then we're going to take a jump ring and we're going to take the jump ring through the two loops so one through the bottom loop and then one up through the top loop feed that through close the jump ring making sure it's sat nice and central and then I'm just going to go in with one of our shepherd's hooks. And place the shepherd's hook through the jump ring. And close it up. And then you have, that's, that's, your, that's your macrame loop. And then obviously with the earrings that I made, I, on the jump ring here, I then popped another little rosary link if I bring the earring across, there we go, you can see. So that was the earring with the loop with the jump ring. And all I did is I've made a little link incorporating a couple of seed beads with one of the green chalcedony, finish that off and then pop that onto the shepherd's hook. But that's the little, I love little that technique macrame with the loops. Wire. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? And you yeah. can manipulate it into letters and you can do all sorts ah, of things. You can do macrame writing. You can do macrame writing. That might be a new thing. Macrame writing. So do a maybe a 60 centimetre length of macrame and then mould it into your name, joined up writing and yeah, I would well, have thought of that. There's a project. That's, that's, that's something else to think there's about. There's a project, watch this yeah. space. Yeah. Um, Mark, they're absolutely yeah. gorgeous and I love these kits. We've still got a few more of the kits to bring you. Brilliant, um, yes, wow. Now, the one that's on your screens right now, in fact, I'll show you how, oh. Five. Oh, Five wow. left. Yeah, that's it's that one with stunning. the chocolate colour. The one you've been yeah, demonstrating the one I mean, it's with. Beautiful. I'm not surprised. I had all those left. Yeah. I mean, you could yeah. make probably I had all of those. necklace, couldn't yeah. you? 
Oh, easily. Yeah, had all of those left from my one strand. And I made one, two, three, yeah. four, five pieces. Yeah, quite and a few still pieces have loads left. One. Yep. Amazing. Amazing. Now, shall we bring the next kit? Um, because all of these work together. I mean, they do. For example, the robin egg blue that you were just describing yes. from yes. That, uh, that last strand would go lovely with this yeah. one. It's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous shape. So I, I didn't get time to use this kit, but I would use them all as tassel toppers. Yeah. I think they're you perfect. You use them horizontally. I do. Don't yes. You? Yep. Um, a lovely love that cord color. that will go um, go alongside yes. this perfectly, absolutely perfectly. So um, lovely blue is always one of our most popular yeah. colourways, isn't it? And if you got the first the kit we've just shown, do you remember it had the aqua tone yeah. stones? You could use the small aqua with the large aqua. It was amazing in oh, cufflinks. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Be really nice yeah, cufflinks. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Beautifully faceted um, on the horizontal. Mm. I like that as well. Yes. You know, I'd yeah. actually have them up at the top of the tassel cascading below yeah. earrings would be absolutely beautiful amazing you get the silver as well um would you describe it as silver silver cord yeah, yeah. silver silver yeah. in your s one as well is this kit as limited yeah 50 oh, of each so right. um and you've just seen the previous kit pretty much sell out if it hasn't already this will complement all of the kits that's what i'm i'm thinking especially at those kind of savings that you've seen with the other kits the blues will complement um uh, the greens, wow. the purples, the pinks. Nineteen ninety nine is your first price crash, not where we are stopping. Wow. Not today. We've had some pretty amazing deals, haven't we, this morning? It's been amazing. And chalcedony, it's been a long mm. time since we've actually had an abundance of chalcedony. Um, and it is so popular at the moment, fetching astronomical prices, and people are literally paying for chalcedony before it's even been extracted from the ground it's amazing isn't it yeah placing their orders ahead um good luck everybody look at this it's this very ethereal translucency what that's three quid for the strand i'm sure it's 6.95 for the cord why so that means that? why yeah why is that what I, that's what I can do? So I, if I can do it, I'll do it. Nine ninety nine. I don't look. Oh. I can't be the only one thinking that strands like this would have been well more than what's on your screen. Twenty four ninety five. I think, I think when, we so. launched, when we launched them. Yeah. And Carl said, and he was expensive, wasn't it? And it is expensive now. In fact, it's probably more expensive than it was 10 years ago. Well, I like the two colours that you've got on this strand complement the first two kits. Yeah. So you've, yeah, got, yeah. The, so you've got the aqua tones and you've got the dark blue from the mixed pink yeah, strand. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, they'd work so with the hot pink, they'd work yeah. with, the, with the duck blues, they'd work with the greens as well. And wow. it's a different shape. It's a nice, a nice shape to go alongside, I think, the rondelles yeah. also. So wait a second. I can get two kits for twenty four ninety nine. Is that right? Mm. Or less, depending on which one you chose. Or less, yeah. Depending on which one you chose. How incredible. We've also got the drop kit still to come. Which I um, think is the most is going to be the most popular. Yeah, because when do we beautiful. see through drops? Yeah. Them, I'd use them in tassels. Yeah. Or little earrings. Just simple like earrings like, really I've, like I've done. Yeah, yeah they're, they're cute, aren't they? they? And we have 50 wow. of this kit. Needless to say, they're absolutely flying. Um, tenor kits. I think we should do ten pound. I don't kits. think I've ever done a ten pound kit myself. No. I think that's my first. Back in the day when Jewelry Maker first started in this studio, mm. and I started here at Jewelry Maker, I used to work quite closely alongside Paula Bennett. And one of our weekly routines was all the kits that had been made over. The, you all remember this? Over the course of the week, we'd order over a sample, and we'd that's literally right. sit on in her office, going that one for Mark. That yeah, one for yeah. Laura, that one for Gemma, and we'd allocate the kits out. They weren't nine ninety nine. No, <laughs> never nine ninety nine. They were generally at rock bottom seventeen ninety nine. I think our kits, wow. and then you do like what we called the boutique kit oh, yeah. with Linda and Sheila. The really expensive. The really expensive ones. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, worth every penny. Don't get me wrong. Goodness right. me. Oh, sorry. Hang on. This, this is so beautiful. It's stunning. This strand is amazing. So beautiful. What is it I about the through drill drop? It's just the ease of use. It's just, I mean, just as you said, just pop a couple on, on um, head pins, mm -hmm. shepherd suit, you've got ready made earrings. I'd sell them for 10 or a pair. I'd sell those for 15 pounds because I popped a couple of amethyst. So I nice. went through my stash because you've got variations of blue, you've got variations of pink and purple, 
and then you've got neutrals all on one strand. Oh, I've just spotted this as well. Oh, yeah, so I made a little bag charm. A little bag charm. I, so this was the nicest one on my strand, so I, I wanted to keep it separate. So I've popped a little, um, again, just on a head pin with a little um, lobster claw clasp. There's a little... And yeah, there's a Mobius on there. Mark, yeah. these are beautiful. Yeah. That's just using one. I mean, that's a, that's a £10 if you're using you know, sterling yeah, silver. Yeah, because it's a genuine gemstone. Look yeah. at those crystal formations. Yeah. And then um, I took out all the blues and I made the necklace on the left hand side again that's oh, that's course. macrame all i've done is i've just incorporated some some metal jump rings and then i've graduated the colors now these it's are flying on gold, uh, it's it? gorgeous I'm yeah surprise. it's beautiful very popular on pre-orders mm. they'd be beautiful in a tassel as well i think just nice have winter them all necklace kind of, yeah i think have them all tessellating oh, beautifully together that. lovely colors within this kit so um it's this is a finale kit of this our jewelry makers beautiful. through drilled yeah basically all you need is a head pin through the uh, from top to bottom effectively or bottom to top yep. whichever way around um instead of it being sort of across the top of the drop weight which means you have to do like a briolette wrap. Do briolet wrap um, and, personally, yeah. I prefer a through drill drop. They look a little it's bit so much tidier. Neater. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. both thinking we were, exactly yeah, yeah. the same. <laughs> um, they do look a lot tidier in your making. Um, these are multi chalcedony colours um, in your wonderful drops that show the areas of translucency. You've got some quite monochrome, nice, nice hot banding pinks, as blues. well. You've got more banding on these. Yeah, yeah. and then of course, let's not forget mm. as well the ombre cord. Um, of which is 0.5 millimeters. So they're flying on pre order jewelry makers. Good luck, everybody. We'll do it in one price crash. We've got 50 again. Oh, no, what's he doing? Half the stock's gone. 14.99. That's ridiculous. And it's harder to drill a gemstone it through is. drills. Absolutely. And you need to make sure you go come up central as well. If you come off skew with. It's not going to hang You'll right. have a, won a, a, wonky, have a wonky, wonky drop. A wonky drop. Yeah. Nobody wants a wonky drop, do they? No. But yeah, I can imagine there's you know much more loss during mm. the drilling process yeah. um, wow. of a through drill drop than there would be a top drill drop. Completely. That's the difference, and these are all terminologies that you get quite accustomed to as a jewelry maker. So okay, it's the positioning of the actual mm. drill hole which becomes so crucial um, in your jewelry making. They are absolutely flying. Mark the phone lines and the website have completely lit up. That's My beautiful. only wish is that I had more. Mm. And the, the, and the blue wish. ombre is lovely as well. Yeah, with gorgeous. The, with the, um, I'm loving these. They're gorgeous. Absolutely they? loving these kits. This is a shape that we should have of every single gemstone that we do. Yeah. We, do we, we don't seem to get them very often, do we? The, no. the top drill drops. Through drill drops. Through, dr through, through, <laughs> even I'm saying the wrong. Through drilled drop. And I think it is because of the, of the wastage. And yeah. Is it, they just and, need to come off at an angle and they can't use the can't stone. Can't use it. No. Or it splits or in it half. Splits. Because not only are you yeah. fasting at quite a dramatic shape, mm. elongated shape, to yeah. put basically a 0.5 millimetre, which it's got at least got to be, through the yeah. centre of the stone. This is that necklace that you're looking at now. You can see the left hand side, we've got the dark. Yeah. And then as it goes around, it gets lighter. And oh, it gets. Wow. I love that ombre. It just adds a little extra something, doesn't it? Yeah, it's stunning. Mark, as always, yeah. your jewelry's absolutely stunning. Um, these are going to sell out imminently, natural fat jewelry wow. makers. So again, make sure you're checking out because 50 is never going to be enough. Um, not with Mark. <laughs> um, mm. Most certainly, all of these fabulous kits will uh, will all work perfectly together as well. Sold out. Amazing, amazing, well amazing. Done. Mark, loving those. Thank you. Um, okay, now where to next? Where to next? Oh. Now, recently, do you know what? Today is wonderful because <laughs> you've got some of the <laughs> finest jade that I'm bringing to air. You've got very interesting deal of the days, unusual deal yes, of the days. Yeah. But Mark with his amazing masterclass and kit. <laughs> um, you've got Sharite, the last ever parcel of Sharite. Mm. Old, old mine Sharite as well. And also we have a gemstone that is Angelite we've had for a while. And um, so um, our sister channel love Angelite as well. However, you can get Angelite in other colours other than the obvious blue. It was only discovered in 1987, so it's a really yes. it's a baby yeah. if you like in the gemstone world. Um, discovered in Peru, but yeah, it's this opaque blue gemstone like the sky sky blue um but there are other rare offerings of different colors and it's taken us what 13 years to to yeah, yeah. to launch these colors so we've introduced peacock which has been the biggest selling gemstone this year by yes. a long way yes 
Yes. Vivid Green, my personal favourite. <gasps> yeah. I absolutely love the Vivid Green. I do as well. And then, and then it's like a soft green as well, like yeah. a mint ice cream. It's gorgeous. Uh, these are totally mm. natural. You would be forgiven for thinking that these had been dyed. They're not. They are totally natural. Now I'm going to start. Oh. What? Check this out. They're amazing. I'm going to start with the Vivid Green. I don't. <sighs> am I allowed to say I've got a favourite? Of all the angel light, I love the blue. I yeah. do love the blue. No, I agree. But I think the greens are See, overtake. The, the pale green is my favourite. This is your favourite. Yeah, yeah that's mine. It. Yeah. I just think the green it works so beautifully because it, it's not quite as matte. Mm. Does that no, make sense? No, no, not quite as there's luster in these, whereas angel light in the blue colour can be quite. That's how I would describe it. Quite mm. matte, mm. I yes, suppose, no, in right. its appearance. Yes, yes. Um, now we're going to start with the vivid green. Have we got quantity then, Roscoe? 12 of what size of the 12 mil you know this is like giving me barbara oh, hutton vibes gorgeous when we first saw this we were like okay imagine that with like a mm. ruby this is the closest strand we have to imperial jadeite even more so than the actual jadeites is angel um, like a member of a family or is it a standalone Oh, I should know this. It's not an agate or a quartz or anything no, like that, is it? No, it's not. Um, no. no, I think it's on its own. Right. Looks like it should be within the Aventurine family, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, something like that. that. I should yeah. know this, Mark, but I don't yeah. actually get the chance no, I to. I think it's a standalone. Yeah. yeah, and it was only discovered in 1987. Wow. I know. Imagine that millions of years just being laid. I was 15. You, you were, were 15. even younger. I was nine. Nine. I was nine. Adam, just been born. Just been born. Just been yeah. born. There yeah. you go. Um, we only have 12 of these available. Oh, no. This is totally natural colour. I would knot it. I think I'd Absolutely. knot it and just wear it exactly as is. And I'd either go down the dark, dark purple, Zambian purple nice. thread or red, obviously. Yeah, either beautiful. Two, I, think. Yeah. I don't think this needs any additions. I think you could just no. knot it and wear it yeah. exactly as is. Now, there are 12 available. It's from the original location of Discovery, natural, vivid green angelite. Um, it's taken us here at... I, I, quite, I don't know if they've actually had the vivid green on our sister channel, but here at Jewelry Maker, 13 years mm. to be able to bring you this natural saturation. Um, we're going to do it in one price, one price crash, extremely, extremely limited. So if you've got your heart set, and it's my favourite colour, I absolutely love the vivid green. It's beautiful, isn't it? I think it works on every single skin tone. We'll do it in one price crash, good luck. What's Eight. the carrot weight, did Ross say? 370 wow. carrots. <laughs> That's extraordinary, isn't it? Seven left already, collectors getting involved. There's an innocence to angel there is, light, isn't there? There is, no, absolutely, yeah. Whether it's in the blue, the green, the peacock, whichever the colour. It's, it's not trying to be something it isn't. No. Which, which <gasps> are, oh my word. Twenty nine really? ninety nine. Wow. <laughs> There's only seven. These are the biggest that we have. Wow. Um, uh, th for me, the green uh, angelite brings you much more luster than what you would get in the blue. Um, it's a little bit more more glossy, I suppose. Um, Twenty nine ninety nine. There was only twelve available opportunities. It was only launched. It was this year, wasn't it? I believe so. Yeah. 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 August this year. So in that short period of time, um, you know, a lot of, you know, it's turned our heads, isn't it? it really has turned our heads. Uh, Marie, Valentina, Susan, Somerset, Jackie, Maeve, Elizabetha, you can do it if you check out. I've only got four of them left though. These are the 12 mils, not them, put them on a magnetic clasp. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I do have the 10 mil. I'm just gonna load up the back of the hand. Perfectly matched. <sighs> if you wanna go long line. Yeah. Go for a graduation. It'd be amazing, Marla, wouldn't it? Gosh, it would, wouldn't mm. it? This with your like nice thick woolly pulleys yeah. and a, or a roll neck jumper or something like that. Now, how many? Twelve again. Oh, no. So we're talking about the ten mil. These are the twelve mil that I've just brought you. I do have six and four as well. Um, yeah, all the sizes, but extremely, extremely limited. If you think it's taken us thirteen years to bring you vivid green. That doesn't, that doesn't uh, um, 
tell me that it's plentiful in its actual uh, um, in its quantity and availability it's stunningly beautiful though absolutely re remarkable so much like an imperial jadeite isn't it without the imperial jadeite price tag and of course that lovely luster that I personally think you only actually get with the green um, I'll take the 12 mil away off off the back of my hand so I'm not confusing anybody they might still be available I think they might have sold out actually but um, good luck already people get involved on the phone lines and the web it's 260 carats a full 38 centimeter strand in your vivid green would you mix it would you mix it with the well, without a doubt yes they work beautifully 24.99 <laughs> I love them. Oh yeah, that looks amazing, gorgeous, doesn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. And this is almost la yeah, like yeah. green yeah, Larimar. Yeah. What I would do is I would alternate them and between them as spaces I would use maybe three millimetre faceted black spinel. Nice. Ooh. That sounds mm, beautiful. Mm, yeah, very elegant. Yeah, lovely. These are coming up, everybody. You can see areas of translucency. Yeah, a little bit right. like green Larimar. That's how yes, I would describe right. that. Yes. Um, Twenty-four ninety-nine. There's only twelve. Sarah, Valentina, Susan, and Brian, Barbara, another Sarah, Barbara in, in West Midlands. If you want those four, you got to check them out. You got to check them out because there was only a limited quantity. Hello, Maeve. Well done, you. Um, I'll move on to oh. now. We're talking about your most popular sizes, aren't we? Six yeah. and four millimeters. And, and I understand it. I mean, I like big statement pieces, but four millimeters, they are much easier to wear, I suppose, yeah, aren't absolutely. they? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing. So I'd get, I'd get this and the four mil, yeah. and I'll do kiss cross with the four mil and use these as the little substations. Beautiful. Just be incredible. Even and, though I, and, gun, and I think I'd go down the gunmetal route. Nice. I yeah, that'd be gorgeous. So dramatic, wouldn't it? Even though they are smaller in size, they still maintain mm. that still lovely that saturation, punch, don't, they? don't they? I think Vivid is the perfect name yeah. for it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They mm. glow. <gasps> oh, brilliant. Nineteen ninety-nine. Now this, we do have a slightly, <laughs> thankfully, we actually have a slightly bigger quantity. And for that reason, we are going to take it that little bit lower. We have got lower. another strand to go as well. We have. We've got four mils still to go. Yeah, okay. But there's 40, Mark. We say it like, when we say quantity, I know. we yeah. haven't really. Is quantity for me is three or 400. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 40 is not quantity at all, especially no. when we're talking about the most popular no. size. Um, and a gemstone that we had to wait 13 years for. It's so beautiful. It glows. It co it complements everything. It looks really lovely with something like a kunzite, mm. like your cherry blossoms. Breed. You can take it down different avenues. You can go for the high glamour, you know, the quite traditional, if you like, a uh, um, sort of jade, jade eye inspirations. Or you could go for something quite, you know, I, I don't know, I'm thinking quite Mother's Day, like spring yeah, time. Mother of the Bride vibes. and soft pastels. And, pretty, yeah, it works really pretty. We're going lower purely because we had a slightly bigger quantity, marginally bigger quantity. You've got to remember as well, 40 is not enough. Not for us here at Jewelry Maker. Um, we can and have sold thousands in one auction. So 40 is limited, especially when it's a gemstone as beautiful as Vivid Green angelite fife west sussex sarah valentina nikki lena hello to you somerset yorkshire multi and lancashire susan and brian i haven't looked yet mark is it bad <laughs> yes. is it bad <laughs> yes i'm just worried because we've still got another strand to go as well hmm. <sighs> 14 pounds and 99 pence that's amazing it is amazing good luck 14.99 for vivid green totally natural this is not dyed not reconstituted, not fissure filled or diffused. It's all mother nature. Yeah. I love it. And it's such a stunning color saturation. A little bit chrysoprase actually. Mm, yes, yes. That's probably the most similar. You had that yesterday, didn't you? Chrysoprase. Is it, or it might have been Carol. Yeah, I think it might have been Carol, Carol on Tuesday. Jelly something. Oh, oh, you mean uh, Aquaprase? Oh, 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 that was Aquaprase, yes. wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Yeah. We had Aquaprase. Oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah. With I was mixed up. Yes, that's right. Yeah, which is a type of calcedony. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. So, yes. yeah, um, amazing. Fourteen ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Um, okay. I've noticed now, with this one, look, no one's got it in their baskets. Look, no, it's nobody's hanging no around on no that. Around. Well, you know, forty's not enough. Oh, this this is amazing. Unfortunately, there's oh. only thirty of this one. Um, we always say about four mils. It's. I oh, think yeah. it's probably the most popular size now. Yeah. These will sell out within sixty seconds, says yeah. Roscoe. Four mils the new six. It is. <laughs> Fifty's the new forty and all that. That's a bottle of Prosecco, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow, that's amazing. Oh my goodness me. 0800 6 Um To get hold of this, it's 30 available opportunities under £10. We should not be bringing Angelite under £10. No. Even in the more plentiful blue. Even in the more plentiful blue. I mean, they're all incredibly rare. A gemstone that, like I said, as soon as we heard about it, there was an, immense, an instant um, attraction to this gemstone. The meanings, the name, it's all very endearing, isn't it? Sorry, Ross, what was that? Oh, you didn't say anything. They're being blokes. They're being blokes, mm. are they? Are you talking yeah. about what you're doing this weekend? Is that it? Mm. Adam says he's going, oh, he's got to, if, <laughs> if 50's the new 40, that means now that Adam is in his 20s. Yeah, yeah. So now yeah. <laughs> he's going to act like a 20 year old on the weekend. I see. Are you? You won't. You won't, Adam. <laughs> he says my back can't stand it <laughs> oh do you know do you know yeah i used to think back to the shoes i used to go out in as well the how really? little clothing i used to go really? out in oh no not now <laughs> genuinely i've been into work in my slippers before isn't that true isn't that yeah. true i wore my slippers the other yeah, yeah. come back yeah. for that one comfort definitely comfort now right, right then they've pretty go. much sold out this is your favorite I love isn't this. it as you said it's it's the green laramar it really is <sighs> That's a perfect name for it. Look at look at this, Mark. Oops. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at these areas yeah. of translucency. They're like little hidden wonders of the world. Check out this one. They're beautiful. Look at that. How amazing is that? It's like it's a little like a cavern little, like a within the letterbox. It yeah. is. <laughs> look. Look at the back of it. If you if you go around the other side of that stone, look look. Isn't that amazing? That's the actual yeah. angelite, by the way. Giving you those transpa areas of trans, uh, trans total transparency. Isn't it cool? So yeah, very, very, very much. Look, I can show you some of it. You know, look at that. shows you how it's yeah. actually formed. Um, look at that. Nicole, it's almost like snowfall has happened yeah. within the gemstone. Um, so this is your favorite, Mark. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. And, it, and it's purely because it, it reminded me of Laramar. Well, it's, it's very gorgeous. much look look at that, that, look. that perfect description, yes. is it? But yeah. green Laramar. Green which, Laramar, yeah. And again, this is a one locational gemstone. It, it, uh, um, I've, I've never experienced it in green up until this year. I always thought that Angelite was that blue. I didn't mm. realise it came in mm. other colours. Apparently, you can get some sort of like yellowy tones as well. Oh, that sounds nice. Um, yeah. I, I've never seen it. I don't know if it's something that jewelry making get hold of. If it's beautiful, then I should imagine it's something we'll try. Um, okay, so we're starting with the 12 mils. Have I got quantity? 20. Okay, there's 390 carats. I love the idea of using this. Is the we call it well, quite simply actually green, mm, just green, just green. Right. It's a soft green though, isn't it? I don't know what I would call it. It's quite mint, menthol, yeah, or minty. Yeah, mint. Yes. Minty. Yeah. Sage, a bit. Mm. Spearmint green. Yeah. yeah. It is a bit spearmint. Yes. I think so. Spearmint or is peppermint more blue? I think so. Spearmint. That uh, spearmint green. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's not pistachio, is it? Pistachio. No. No. Yeah. Do you remember Pacers? Pacers? Yeah, they were chewy sweets, mint. They were green and white stripes. I don't remember You don't those. remember Pacers? Uh. Does it look a little bit like those? Yeah, yeah, Does it? Yeah. Well, yeah. we've only got 30. We closed oh, the no. Vivid Green at 29.99. It would perfectly match the Vivid Green. I would use, I'd incorporate the two together. Shall we go lower just because we can? Why we're moments we away from, well i thought we'd be more expensive for this time yeah i mean if because of its similarity to laramar mm, i agree yes yeah it's it's that okay okay oh is that why yeah it we believe it might be ever so slightly harder to get hold of the vivid green than this one they're mm. both very very rare of course but look at the quantity already collectors getting involved on this one. It worked lovely, I think, with your deal of the day. That's moments away. Um, it's all totally natural. Mm. So you have these wonderful little windows like into another world. Of, of in, it's like life. 
inside the gemstone. I just find it so fascinating. Sorry, my brain goes That's off on a gorgeous. tangent when I see things yeah. like this. Um, 11 remain. Everybody pays that final low price tag. £24.99. We do have this in the 10 mil. Wow. And we do have this. We don't have the 6 mil. We do have this in the 4 mil as well. Jewelry makes me look how pretty that is. In the 12, I don't know if Lauren's, is Lauren here? No, no. In the 12 o'clock. Oh, she is. I just saw the chair move. Did Lauren? you? Lauren? She's hiding. Oh, she's hi there she is. <laughs> Could you bring me the strand of Labradorite that we've got in one of the 12 o'clock kits? There you go. It's the, Ooh. With, you look at you. You've seen Labradorite. You've not seen it like this before. Yeah, lovely. It's gorgeous. Yeah, that sounds like it would yeah. be the perfect combination. Uh, down to single figures, Somerset, Lynette, Marie, Fife, Rita, West Sussex, Caroline, Belinda, Leslie, Valerie, Cheryl, Susan and Brian, hello to Bridgen, Lorraine, West Sussex, you're there as well. We've only got eight of them left. Then we'll dive into the 10 millimeters and obviously we've got the four millimeters as well. Um, mm. Now, last final three, on to the 10 mils. Oh my goodness me. Oh, I forgot you said it was coated. Now. Oh, we no, haven't got six yeah we've worse. got the four mils <gasps> mark that is the perfect combination isn't that gorgeous yes because it's like the soft cashmere gray yeah. of labradorite gorgeous, but then you have that yeah. like ab coating yeah. across the surface of them as well they're beautiful you this, can't really see can you on screen they do look stunning they're magical yeah. you can just about here oh, yeah absolutely magical in terms of their coating yeah, yeah every so often you get that flash yeah. Um, now let's do what? the 10 mil there's 20 of these available this labradorite is coming up within Mark's 12 o'clock kits yeah that goes beautifully yeah. and if it was too dark it wouldn't would no, it no no I don't think it would I, cause there's, we've, got, we've got an amethyst as well but I think it would, it would be too dark yeah I think that would just be lovely. You'd stick with your muted, yeah, yeah. softer, yeah. muted like colours I love this um, so 20 available already collectors getting involved mm. I've got a strand of all sizes of this at home have you mm still in their bags special untouched. box not in the special box I've, I've, I've got to get another special box because I've run out of room oh. oh under 20 pounds they're totally and utterly wow. natural if you adore Larimar mm. but maybe don't have the Larimar budget then this is a fantastic yeah. alternative because they definitely have very similar you know Larimar is that like uh, you know mm. sort of bird's eye view of the most beautiful tropical destination there's the crystal clear waters crashing yeah. above the waves or somewhere like well, Dominican, where it actually forms. Mm. Um, but imagine that in green. That's what you see within a strand like this. 270 carats of your green angelite. Again, there's no enhancement to this whatsoever. And you get these lovely little windows, almost of the, the world that is inside this gemstone's natural formations. Um, they're on the verge of selling out. Well done. I've also got the four mils still to bring you as well. Um, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, on to the four mils, amazing. Right, okay. So, four mils are the new six, we say. Yeah, I can see why, because you can build them up, you can you can loom them, you can uh, seed bead with them. Have you just spotted that? Where have you found that from? Next door. Have you just literally just plucked some Larimar out of somewhere? Look at this, look. It has got similarities, hasn't it? Let's do that. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I oh. pilfered it from next door from, from they clearly, Gem Collector. On Gem Collector, they clearly had some Laramar last night. Yeah. Let's just do that. This looks like it could be it's like gorgeous, a, isn't it? a photograph yeah. in a yes. in a glossy magazine. Have I, oh, it's stunning, isn't what it? What do you reckon? No, let's go this way. Laramar. <laughs> it's only it's not Laramar. It's Angelite. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, don't go into marketing, Al. <laughs> you went um, all Marks and Spencers then. I did. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's when you know it's Christmas, don't you? Yeah. Not just any chocolate. <laughs> this is Marks and Spencers chocolate. It costs the no. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop. Uh, Nine ninety nine under ten pounds only. Natural green angel light. Like those beautiful windows. Very much like Laramar. It's not exactly the same gemstone. This is Laramar mm, from the yeah. Dominican Republic, obviously. Um, but it has, in terms of visualities, that mm. very similar beauties about mm -hmm. it, and I think similar attractions as well. Um, okay, now to your four millimeters. 
We said what, what? we didn't have six mils. Okay. Oh, oh! Ross said I've just found some six mils. We haven't got the sample in the studio. Uh. It's basically what we have here from exactly the same parcel, but in six millimeters. Yeah. Oh, well done for finding some. How many have we got? 33. Oh. Okay, yeah, it needs, we need Brilliant. to then. Because yes. then you've got yeah. the full hand, yeah. haven't you? Absolutely. Oh, that's good. The full deck. Full deck, yeah. House. Is that what you say? Full house. Full house, there you go. We have got the six millimeters. It's from this exact same parcel. Um, the what? Full what? What we're going to do on this price tag is not the full shilling. Okay, fair enough. Haven't physically got it in the studio, but if you can imagine, just no, drape down yeah, here, yeah. you've got your yeah. six millimetres. Um, the, the full Monty, absolutely. In your wow. beautiful green, 14.99. There's 33 of these available. I'm not saying it's Larimar, even though these are beautifully draped over a, a sample of Larimar, but they definitely have got those similar visualities. Yeah. And in terms of rarity, it's probably right up there as well. You know, I'd imagine so. It's just, it's just from Peru, isn't it? It's nowhere yeah, else. Different location. Yeah. Um, has got quite similar characteristics to that of your Larimar. I'm not saying exactly the same gem type, yeah. obviously, because Larimar is a, is, uh, is a pectolite. Mm. Um, but you have these lovely areas of translucency, beautiful like cloud-like formations that naturally occur within that gemstones, and 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 you have you see the same in your um, in your green angel light. We had 33 of these again. Lots of you getting involved. Um, it's very peaceful. I it's think. lovely. It's just gorgeous. You just, you just want to give it a hug. Yeah. You just it's just lovely. It's they just are quite lovely. they are angelic. It's are, perfectly named, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's Angel Eye is angelic and quite, you know, lots of people, certainly with the mm. blue, it's got that heavenly connection as well. And I think still with the green yeah, as yeah. also. Well done, mm. everybody. Mm. Loads and loads of those of you getting involved. That's fantastic. We have still got so much to bring you in today's show. We've got your beautiful Sharite showcase coming up. Um, We've got your deal of the day and we've got the finest jade that I've seen in a very, very long time. We're going to do one more auction. We found it in the mix, so I don't, which tells me I haven't got it here, right? I don't right. have a recording. You're going to yeah. describe it, says Ross. And we're going to ask you at home, I can show you a web picture if we bring this to air even though I haven't got it here and I can't even... So we can't show a, f a photograph? Oh, we can show a photograph. Right, okay. What is it? Go on. Six mil. Faceted bicones. <laughs> in vivid green angel light. Oh. We, none of us have ever seen this before. Have you seen this? No, no. This is not just six millimeter vivid oh. green. I'd like to see it. I'd like you to play it. Yeah. I haven't got the sample. Absolutely, we need to bring this graphics to air. Let's do it. Please say there's quantity. And Ross is just saying, what's really pushed me to play this today is the price that they are. We don't, has this, is this brand new? None of us have seen it before. I didn't know we had bicones no. in Angelite. No, that's the last one, isn't it? Oh, so that's not the price. Oh, no. No. Wait. We're learning this with you, as you can yes. see. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're rather special. I've never seen Angel Light in a bicone, and it, it looks amazing. I would put this with the black jadeite bicone. Yeah, that would be gorgeous. Together. That would be lovely, wouldn't because, it? Because you know, we, mm. what, were we, what were we talking about? Vivid green. It's like it's like your imperial, it isn't is. it? Yeah. Without the imperial price tag, it's still a rare natural gemstone. And yet, okay, wait until you see this photograph. It's as you would imagine a bicone, but with your imperial green saturation. I'm not saying it's jadeite. I'm not saying. Um, in fact, it's a completely different gemstone. But I'd, I've never experienced it in. No. 
in, in that I'm cart. Sure I've not seen it, not in a bike. There's, there'll be no. reasons behind it. I'm not going to say it's this reason, that reason. I can, I can make an assumption, probably down to the crystal formation of the gemstone, um, to yeah. actually acquire those kind of dramatic shapes. More than likely, a bicone is quite a complex shape to cut, and also incredibly wasteful. Incredibly wasteful. So you said the price, Ross. How many do we have? Oh, oh wow. we have almost a hundred. We don't physically, this is that exciting. Ross has just found it in the mix and he said, even though we haven't got it in the, here in the studio, A, it's a bicone, <laughs> B, it's six millimeters and C, the price is unbelievable, he says. 19 pounds and 99 pence for your vivid green and we are not stopping there. Oh, Mark, you might be right, you know. We've got a hundred of them. Have you ever seen angelite in a bicone? Have you ever seen vivid green angelite in a bicone? No. I think they've only been in rounds. Didn't, uh, didn't we launch the vivid green or the peacock we launched, wasn't it? We launched the peacock green and it came in and it went out, yeah. sold out straight away. Um, we didn't have bicones, did we? Peacock, blue. Green. There aren't bicones ever, historically, oh. either. So it's only in the vivid green. It's only in the vivid green. So they might well be the only mm. angelite bicones that we have within our vault. We're just looking through the archives as we speak right now. We've got it all on, on computer, so Ross can search bicones, angelite, see what comes up. So you don't even have a single strand of the peacock of any... No. No. Only in rounds. Right. 10 seconds, we're taking it even lower, jewellery makers. Imagine those at the bottom of the tassels. Mm. That wonderful, almost Christ appraised green or your imperial green without that price tag, which would be substantial, of course. Um, here it is, we've got 100. The phone lines have lit up, as is the website. Well done, everybody. Carol, Venetia, Ayrshire, <laughs> well done to you, 16.99. They're totally and utterly natural. And, says Ross, we're not even stopping there. We have got quantity. Ooh. We can confirm, live, this is the only bicone strand of angelite oh. that we have ever done. And we are going lower. The, they, I knew there would be a reason behind that. It's probably the crystal formation, don't you think? And the fact also it's incredibly wasteful. You know, you think 55 carats, what would that have been if they were six millimeter rounds? 70, yeah, 80 yeah. carats? We love a bicone because obviously the lovely shapes and you know, they're quite, I don't know, 1920s, really lovely structures to them. But we have to sort of, we have to front that cost the loss of the gemstones effectively. So that's probably why we've never seen it in this cut before. It's a shame because it really works. In 13 seconds though, we're taking it even lower. We have 100, that's the only bicone angelite strand that we have in the entire business. And possibly ever, who knows? Have, I wonder, Ross, have we got any green or vivid green or usual green or peacock angelite on order? Not that you know of, no, I don't know either. 14.99, the only strand in 13 years of bringing Angelite, the only strand of bicones, wow. and it just so happens to be with the lovely vivid green colour. <laughs> Amazing, loving this, well done. I can't believe we're anywhere near this price tag. Can't believe we're anywhere near. Catherine, good luck. Lena, good luck. Buckinghamshire, good luck. Maker, good luck. Angus, good luck. Judith, Patricia, Claire, Marie. Um, loads of multi buyers getting involved as well. Amazing. Um, you've got yours. Pauline snapped up too. Jane, hello to you. Uh, Leela's getting two. Karen, well done. Carol's got two. Valentina, Brenda, Dorset, Ayrshire, Fife, Helen. I can't keep up with you now, jewelry makers. Um, there was 100 available. And uh, you know, we, we haven't got that physically in the studio. Studio. That's how spontaneous yeah. and reactive we are here at Jewelry Maker. We're That's just, you true, know, yes. caught up in the in the <laughs> in the lust for for angelite. Um, we're like, yeah, if there is bicones, then you can bet your bottom dollar that we're going to be including it in our show. Um, it's the only strand. It's the <laughs> only. <laughs> it's the only strand of bicones that we have ever brought to air um, in this beautiful gemstone. Fourteen ninety nine. Amazing. Congratulations. Now, coming up after the break. Your deal of the day, they are so unique. And yes, your graphics will actually say 
Um, they're a jump ring, but they're so much more than a jump ring. These could be, I like your idea, yeah, little squeeze, cuff squeeze earrings, them into the cuffs, yeah. pinch bales, connectors, yeah. they can be yeah. all of those things. And also you have got one of the finest locations of jade in the world. It's, they're extremely limited though, so you do need to make sure um, that you're quick um, securing yours. It, there's a, huge, a, a wonderful story behind this location. It certainly has all the traits that, regardless of where, whether it's Burmese, Guatemalan, whether it's Siberian, whether it's uh, Canadian, well, regardless of the location, all jade is looked at for its translucency and its color. Mm -hmm. Those are the two valuing factors. Well, I tell you what, this is ticking those boxes unlike any other offering that I've shown you previously. Um, so yes, an exciting hour. Mark's amazing masterclass. And of course, we've got the final showcase of Shah Wright coming up. Join Mark and I after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola, if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you Sorry. That. Just slurping my coffee. We just had a very delicious Welsh cake. Have you eaten it? I've had half of it. So I was gonna say, that's impressive. Yeah. Now, yeah, it's all good, isn't it? Nice little treats. Mm, yeah. Now, speaking of treats, this hour is certainly that. Your deal of the day. I'm really excited, and I think this week it has been very much like a, a, a mixture, and it's not been your Deal of the days usually are a gemstone, which is lovely, mm. really lovely, or maybe a storage bag or something yeah. like that. Mm. Um, but actually, you and I, Mark, have actually brought a few findings as our deal of the day have, over the yeah. past uh, yeah. past yeah. week or so. But these are a finding unlike any other finding that I've seen before. And it did actually prompt me messaging uh, my, my boss, Wayne, last night. I was like, Wayne, talk to me about the deal of the day. I'm a bit confused because I looked at them and thought, Yes, they're a, jump, they're a jump ring, but surely there's so much more than that. Mm. Um, I love your idea and the fact that you could use them as ear cuffs. Yeah, I think that'd be really nice. We could just join them together and make the most amazing bracelet. I oh! Think that'd, that'd look amazing, wouldn't it? it it's almost unintentionally done that. Yes. These are yeah. oval, firstly, which I know that in itself has big pluses um, as a jewellery maker because you can use them to position something if you like and you can you can actually weave stones inside the oval if you want <coughs> to as well you could do that that's another good thing. good call yeah. um they're also bales mm, they are. you can pinch treat bales, them as pinch, like pinch bales, bales yeah. so i know that your graphics and i wanted to have this discussion before ross brought the graphics live i know the graphics say that they're a jump ring but they're a jump ring they're a connector they're a bale they're an earring potentially mm, yeah, yeah. Or, or or all in one so, and we had a little sort of play with them this morning, didn't we? So they close in the same way that you would close a traditional round jump ring. Um, but, and when I was looking at the photograph and Wayne will back me up on this one, I was like, Wayne, what gemstones is that inside the, um, inside? He was like, oh, I'll have to, have to look tomorrow because it doesn't say on the specifications. It's down to the texturing. Mm. It's amazing, I thought it? these were cubic zirconia encrusted, but they're actually not. It's the texture of the metal. It's the isn't texture it? of the precious metal. Mm. So if I pick this up and show the, you all the way around, you'll understand why I was a little bit confused initially. So they are a jump ring. They're an oval jump ring. There's the texture of that. Do you, do you see why I thought they were set with gemstones? But then, when you close them. That texture's beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, bear with me. So just gently squeeze them together. Obviously use your pliers, not the tweezers like I'm doing. But when you squeeze them together, they align beautifully. They're gorgeous. I'm just thinking, could you solder the ends together to make a closed yeah. and then use it on the back of, of Charlie's demo yesterday? Could you use them as, as bezels That's to a nice set idea. your gemstones in even? Because it looks, a like, cause it looks like a calibrated centre, doesn't it? Yeah. And treat it as a bezel. That's a lovely idea. Mm. You could solder these. Yeah. So do you see, they're, yes, they're jump rings. They're also pinch bales. They're also connectors mm. and potentially earrings. Yeah. Now, we are going to start with the yellow gold. We do have them in the rose and in the silver. In terms of quantity, remind me, Roscoe. 100 of the yellow. 100 of the rose and we've got 250 of the silver yes these could be little kind of like soldable accents if yes, you wanted to yes. as well um there's a big investment of your sterling silver obviously you need that investment so they don't distort you want there to be a certain amount of flexibility so you can actually close them if you want to um but you don't want them to be flimsy does that make sense mm, look how beautiful they are 
I would use these actually as, and that's obviously completely closed now. Can you see the join? I would use these as a bail. Mm. I think that'd be a lovely idea. I think they're, I think they're beautiful. They're quite Celtic, aren't they? Quite yeah. Celtic looking. Yeah, really lovely quite patterning. Quite sort of Saxon. Looks like you'd find them buried like a hoard of gold. You could use some nose rings as well. Yes. Nose rings, that would that's work. That's a nice idea. It's very yes. popular, isn't it? Nose I don't know, rings. I can't remember what that little middly bit's called. No, I can't. But you could do the side bit as well. Yeah. You could do the side bit. Yeah. And certainly your ear cuff. So you've got what, the septum, did you say? Septum. Septum, and then the called. bit, what's yeah. this bit? Yeah. The nostril. The nostril bit. Yeah. The nostril That's bit. A nice idea. You could use it on, is it the helix of your ear? Yeah. I like that ear cuff mm. idea, but again, bales, connectors, jump rings, it's all of the above. As you can see by their graphics, they are quite sizable. Um, and when they come, if I turn it back this way, you can just about see the join just here. They're ever so slightly open, and you just slightly, if I turn that round, um, you just squeeze them yeah, very yeah. gently together. Um, so there's a hundred of your gold. You could just connect them all together and treat them as like idea. big statement links. Yeah. I think that'd be beautiful. A big chunky neckline or, or, or yeah. even like a feature within a necklace. 19 pounds, 99 pence, jewelry makers. That's making these already five pounds each. With that quite uh, um, Egyptian, I think, quite Egyptian-like oh, textures yeah. across the surface of them. You could definitely, uh, definitely connect them all together. So yes, they're jump rings, oval jump rings, but they're also, um, they're also connectors, they're also pinch bales. There's nothing stopping you sort of going out maybe one of your top drill gemstones with these. That's nice, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use it that way. Yeah. Um, you could use them actually as finished complete jewellery, as decorations for the ear, nose, wherever it might be. Um, amazing. Um, 10, <laughs> 10 by 8 millimetres in their size, and there's a big quantity of them. Would you mix all the colours? Would you kind of That's just, nice, you know, okay. yellow, rose, silver, yellow, rose, silver, um, and turn them to a big statement, heavy, um, heavy neckline or wristline piece? I've never seen anything like this. You know, this is like us being introduced to a wire guardian for the very first time. Do you see where I'm coming from? It's a, it, it's a brand new component, one that we've never no, no, no. experienced before. Genius. Three pounds what? each. <laughs> and we are not done. Oh no. Could this be, Mark, the next pinch bale? Could be, couldn't it? Yeah, do you remember we had those rice pearls that sold out in the first hour? Yeah. Just thinking how if you could wire wrap. Oh, use it like a use yeah, it like, like a, a halo. halo. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Shall we, Mark? Mm. Get these under ten pounds. Wow, for a brand new product. Brand new product. Have jewelry maker come up with a concept here. I think they should give the guest designers a pack each. See what they do. With, yeah. See what I each of you do with idea. it. Yeah. And uh, what would you do with yours? I think I would do the pinch bell route. Yeah. Would you and do you this? You saw how malleable it was this morning, when we Yeah. Were. I like the idea of maybe buying five or six packs and just joining them all together. Well, at this price, Mark, you yeah. you could. I mean, yeah. I don't have I don't have pliers with me right now, but let's just see if I can. Mm. Bear with. It might not be completely precise, but you'll get the general gist. And I would, I would close it a little bit more. I know, she's making jewellery, people. Don't panic. <laughs> Nobody panic. She's making jewellery. In 12 seconds, we are dropping that price tag. We have got quantity of these. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, no, that's beautiful. Look at that. Very chunky. Um... Yeah. They're gorgeous. Oh, that's brilliant. And of course you could do it with the same colours if you prefer. 9.99 gets you four of the yellow gold. We have got quantity. I've never seen anything like this before, 100. Um, but they are absolutely flying. I'm not surprised. It's, a, it's an opportunity mm. for like a pinch bell. It's an opportunity for a connector. It's an opportunity as a jump ring, obviously. Um, They're lovely. But yeah, I wonder if you could actually treat them as little ear I cuffs. Think, I think you could. Should I give it a whirl? If I had a mirror, I could. Mm. You, why not? Why not? Have a little go, see if you can squeeze it on. I've only got little ears, so. Can you separate them? I don't think, I need a mirror for it. 
Yeah, I need a mirror. Never mind. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just put it over the top of the earlobe because that's only narrow, gently, isn't it? And then just gently squeeze gently it. Gently squeeze it together, yeah. and that's yeah. something that you could probably wear. Yeah. You know, this part just over here. I think that would look lovely. Mm. Very in fashion. Yeah. Mm. Very, very on vogue. Um, we had a hundred of these. And, and text in. What do you think? What would you use them? Yes, they're an oval jump ring. They're a decorative oval jump ring. They're a large oval jump ring as well at ten by eight millimeters. But as soon as I saw them last night in my preparation, I was like. Hmm. They could also be a pinch bail. They could also be a connector. And Mark came up with the earring yeah. idea. Well, Amazing. Did you see that in the ear? I think it looked lovely. Really it? nice. Probably more comfortable mm. than your studs yeah. as well. Yeah. Right, let's dive into the rose gold now, jewellery makers. We're going to do it in one price crash, under £10. I mean, that's a big gram weight that you're getting across the um, four pieces. They are all of the same size and they all have that really beautiful, beautiful texturing. I thought they were um, either topaz. They do look like they've been gem set, don't yeah, they? Yeah, because that was my question when I mm. texted Wayne last night. I was like, well, if they're a jump ring, then surely if they're gem set, you don't want to bend them. Mm. Oh, of course. That was my yes, question. Yes. Um, and he was like, oh, let me look into it. Um, uh, <laughs> that's last heard. But then actually here in the studio, I was like, ah, okay, they're not gem set at all. They're not gem set at all. They are actually just textured. So my bad, my bad. It's really, it's genius though. Absolute genius. 22 seconds, we're taking this down to a single figure price tag. Lovely jewelry makers, they're stunning. We have a hundred of them. Are you going to treat them as a link or a, a, as a jump ring? Are you gonna use them? Send your text messages into the studio if you've got any revolutionary ideas. I was thinking of what other things you could do with them. Have we had any suggestions, mm. Roscoe? Here we go. 9.99 everybody first we've got messages coming through they're so clever aren't they i i don't know these might have been i mean effectively they are an oval jump ring solder gold plated silver there you go perfect so actually what turn them into a ring itself mm. solder them together that's something you said yeah, wasn't yeah. it um hi linda morning i love how l linked the three colors together makes a fab drop earring absolutely and also, I didn't do it very well, Linda, because I haven't got any pliers here. But <clears throat> um, if you had the tools, then obviously you would do it with complete precision. They look beautiful. Very Cartier. Very, very Cartier, where you've got the yellow for, what is it? Yellow for friendship, rose for love, white for fidelity. Um, yeah, gorgeous. They're jump rings, but they're so much more than that, aren't they? So much more. Yes, Mark. Because not everybody's got their ears pierced. No. Look at what Mark's just done. I've, I've, not, I've, not, I've not had a mirror or anything, so it's just, just squidged, squidged on the lobe. Amazing, Mark. You can either do that in the lobe or as, as um, Elle said, up on the... Is that the helix? I don't know. I feel like yeah. it is. That yeah, suits you, Mark. Mm. Really suits like you. a pirate. It suits you because it's subtle. Subtle. Subtly done like a pirate. Now, let's do the silver, shall we? Yeah. Always the most popular. That's fantastic. I think I might have to get some of these because I like the idea of wearing them yeah. at the top of the ear. Um, and you could, yeah, you could put a couple, couldn't you? Maybe actually give you the illusion of piercings without the actual piercing. Um, amazing. Let's dive into the silver. It's always, always the most popular of all your colours. Again, you've got that same beautiful patterning. So when it arrives, if I turn one towards you, it arrives with this opening. Um, already, by the way, over 50 of these have gone um, on pre-order. Um, amazing. Um, jump rings, yes, absolutely. Able to incorporate them within your chain mail, um, et cetera, but so much more. Hello, Patricia in Highland saying, hi all, great Ooh. show. I'm going to use mine as connectors between two fold over flower clasps. Lovely. That's a great idea. idea. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Because they're longer, aren't mm. they? The oval gives you that ability to sort of a round would stand high, wouldn't That's it? That's right, yes. So an oval That's is going to sit a little bit lower. That's a great idea, yeah. Patricia, and yeah. thank you for sharing that. Um, amazing. Also for pendants, you know, um, a, an oval is much better um, because it's not so it's not gonna, it's less likely to roll around when you've got that one longer side to it already loads of you getting involved keep those suggestions coming through i just think just close one on a chain just yeah have a, just have a, a, a treat it as a little pendant that's lovely i love the design 
But you can really see it on the silver, can't you? You could go on to oxidise it as well, couldn't yeah. you, if you prefer? They look like lots of evil eyes. Oh yeah, like the all-seeing eye. All seeing I eyes, see what you mean. Yeah. Now, let's open this up. There's a bigger quantity ah. of the silver. First price crash, 9.99. First. We are gonna go lower though. No. We've got a big quantity of them. I wonder, I think that's a great idea. Or here, you could actually loop them into the yeah. into your nostril. Mm -hmm. I think that would look quite nice as well. Um, they're finished jewellery. You could literally put them onto a card and call mm. them whichever yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. nose clips, ear cuff clips. Yeah. I know they're jump rings, but like I said, there's so much more than that. I almost feel like the description doesn't do them justice. They're, you know, they, they, they could be a plethora of things. We go in even lower purely because we haven't got the quantity and you're loving these as much as we are. I think they're quite exciting, really exciting. Yes, a jump ring, because I suppose they're circular or rather oval, um, but you, you could glue them if you wanted to. You can certainly solder, as you've just mentioned there in the text message. They could be adjustable ear cuff earrings. You could connect them together as links within a necklace connectors for sure going even lower when you said we had quantity what did you say how many russ 250 wow. but look at the quantities that are getting snapped up five's got four so uh, sj's got four cheryl's got four nottinghamshire's got four um agnes got two linda's got two regine's got two susan and brian's just got two rita's got two uh buckinghamshire well done catriona's multi-bought the, uh, the the core screens have gone crazy seven pounds and 99 oh, pence right. only that's two pound per wow. we have to come up with a name for them don't we yeah. link let's call them a link what <laughs> there's one more price crash because of the quantity i don't know if this is something that, uh, that, wow. that that's been on offer before i've never seen anything like this before and it's not like, a, you know, in my preparation for this morning, it's not like I go, oh, I'll, go, I'll have a reference this jeweler or I'll reference that because I've never seen anything like it. Genuinely, I've never seen anything like it before. But it's genius, isn't it? Absolute genius. Down to the perfect alignment of how they actually meet together if you are going for that full uh, closure. Um, the fact that they are wide enough so, as March has showed, to be able to be, <clears throat> excuse me, clipped on the ear. The texturing of them, but my uh, um, confusion was down to well, hang on, if they're o if they're jump rings and they're gem set, then surely we don't want to be bending them because then you risk the um, you risk the chance of actually losing the stones. They aren't gem set; they're just beautifully detailed in their amazing texture. Yeah, that's what I do, Mark. That looks lovely. Does it? That's what I do. Everybody pays that final mm. low price tag, six ninety nine. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Quite nice. You could have three, couldn't you, in a row, or different sizes, different. Yeah. I would wear those, yeah. and you wouldn't. I bet that's really comfortable it as is, well. If you don't know it's there. I bet you don't know it's there. No. Yeah, amazing. I yeah. think I might have to get some of these. I like that idea. Just wear them at the top of the lobe. Yeah. Next time you see me, I'll have, I'll have these at the top here. Yeah, so cool nice. Cuff. Yeah, that's no, really comfortable. Yeah, and safe as well, you know, mm. because um, sometimes with, with, with piercings, obviously, accidents do happen, whereas this is effectively yeah, yeah. a clip-on, isn't it? Clip-on, yeah. Effectively. six ninety nine. the website, the app have gone nuts. I'm not surprised. Link them together like this if you want, but you do get four. Um, you do get four of them. Ma Maria, Joanne, Linda and Beverage has just got six. Joan, Manchester, Alison's got six. Nicolette's got five. Mirtha Tidville's got three, Carol's got four, Devon's got five, Georgia's got three. Wow. You get the idea. Probably about 90% of you yeah. have chosen to get more than one pack. Um, amazing. I'm intrigued now. So how did you do it? To, did you have to, did so you, you have to open it up a little bit? Like east to west? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then like and loop then, it and on. Then, and then find the, and then just give it a little squidge. Oh yeah. <laughs> Adam was full naming me today. I always feel like I'm in trouble when I get full named. I'm on a yellow card already. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Hang on, have I got it? Have I? I can't feel with my nails. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. And obviously close it up. And close it up, yeah. 
Hang on. That's it. Oh, yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah. Oh, it looks really nice in gold. Ah. <sighs> it's, yeah. it's my ears gone red yeah. now from me faffing around, but obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Look how amazing. That's lovely. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. I need to get some of these. Need to get some of these. Well done, everybody. Make sure you do check out. We had 250, but they've absolutely flown today. Uh, Cheryl, well done. Pauline, well done. Lauren, well done. Uh, Geraldine, look, I mean, look at the core screens for us. Yeah. And I'm excited to see how you incorporate them into your jewellery design. You know, are you going to... Um, are you going to use them as links? I guess you, there's no... You'll use them for all of the above, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. Look yeah. at all those people getting involved. Hey, I better take it off, haven't I? Mm. I'll have to get some of them as well. I like those, really like those. Um, well done. Now, coming up in about 20 minutes time, we have the final Aww. show of Sharite, which is a crying shame because visually it's one of the most striking gemstones, certainly one of the most distinguishable. Um, and the reason for that is obviously uh, the current situation in this location of the world. We're not buying any offerings from, um, from this location, fact. Um, so what we have is old mine um prior to any of those uh, uh that situation um so i'm just be, we're just being completely honest this is the last last showcase that will actually bring you in your um in uh, in Sharite. um everything that we have like i said was purchased pre 2020 um uh, that's coming up at 11 o'clock you've also got lake bacal nephrite this oh is God utterly exquisite i i don't hesitate saying this and i don't really care about country of origin we know about kotan we know about uh burma we know about canadian we know about chinese whichever it might be it's all about the quality of the stone that's what's most important the same applies with ruby sapphires sapphires emeralds and diamonds it's the loca it, it's not the location it's the quality mm. of the stone that's the finest nephrite i've ever seen this is the only strand that we have in rounds the translucency is absolutely unprecedented i've never seen it it's coming up in a couple of auctions i will talk to you about the location of course and again talk to you about how we won't get any more of this again it's a similar story to basically your shah right we the location we're not getting any more from mm. that location um which is a crying shame because look at the quality of it so this is coming up in a couple of auctions time but we do also have it in um in different cuts <gasps> as well shall we do mark you and i launched these we did so much silver in these they're amazing they did so well on the they show. did we can't have many left bead caps oh, and there was a period caps. of time when we had no bead caps no i love these i will stand them all up because then you really see how many, much you're getting the they price are silver was amazing i can't remember I th yeah, yeah, I remember your mm, jewellery though. Because yeah. didn't you use some of these markers, um, like tassel tops? Yes, that's right. Thought so. I squeezed them around um, pearl drops. Do you remember? I do, yeah. Because yeah. you've got like snowdrop. And I flattened the open ones. And that's I right. The connectors. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. So these are last of stock opportunities, though, folks. There's not oh, many of them left. Beautiful. So you get two of each. I'll just try and get them all arranged. Twelve all together. Yeah. And you fanned the ones I'm holding now, you fanned them out, didn't you? Yep, and the, the ones that have got three, so this one here, yep. I curled them back. Do you remember with the pliers yes. to make little snowdrops? And, and there's that one yeah. there. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at those. They yeah. are solid sterling silver and we are at five pound per design. You can nestle your gems, a bead cap again, you can flatten oh, them as Mark was saying. Yeah. Um, they can turn into connectors. They can be that focal point, like a frame within your design. Um, tops of tassels, use mm. them because they have a little drill at the they top do. as well. They're perfect for tassels. <sighs> they're gorgeous, aren't they? So pretty. And there was a good, I don't know, year or so when we didn't mm. have a single bead cap. We always used to do them in, in, pl in plated metal, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, they were never precious. No, yeah, I remember. Um, we're at £59.99. Pounds pounds. These are last of stock. Um, they go from 12 by 4, 12 by 5, um, 8 millimetres. We are going to match that launch price. What's the matter? 8.4 grams. Yeah. 
That's crazy. That That's was two it, pound yeah. per per wow. silver. Genuine nine two five sterling silver. B cap. That's amazing. It's so beautiful, wow. isn't it? Yep. You know, just one of these, I'd put maybe a couple of your little briolettes, pop it onto a bale. How oh, lovely is yeah. that as a chain? No. Super no, simple. Beautiful. You could use things like your Kumihimo braids from these as well, which Mark, you did the other day, didn't I you? I did. You can use, absolutely, you can use them as bell caps, especially those ones just in yeah. the middle there, little tulips. There. You can kind of nestle all caps. your cords yeah. in there as well. It's final opportunities though, jewellery makers. This is working out at two pounds per sterling silver um, cap. I don't want to say cap because again there's so much more potential with these as well nicolette nottinghamshire richard and Anelia, brenda bernadette joanne michelle eleanor in nottinghamshire hello to you five claire chloe stephanie mary morag new customers getting involved um, and this is making me think like isn't it wonderful we're in the deal of the day hour which is the busiest hour for us mm. here at jewelry maker um and it's specifically bought for and it's making me think of a customer who dropped us a message live in the studio and was saying L, you know, uh, we need a 50-50 balance yes, of yeah. gemstones and findings. Mm. Mike, we're, we're ticking that box, aren't we, today? Yeah. To bring you the deal of the day hour in your sterling silver findings. Luxury components just like this. Um, congratulations. Um, I have also got, I'll leave the final few of those with you. Um, we have also got some lovely threader earrings. Nephrite is coming up in one auction site. Oh, I love these. We had them in the gold the other day, didn't we? I'll show them in the ear. You're selfless. I know, you know. <laughs> I, get to, I get to try on all this lovely jewelry. Pretty nice, isn't it? I love these threaders. I think they're so cool. Even my seven-year-old said I've got the best job. Really? The other day, yeah. Mm. She's like, you've got the best job, mummy. You see all that lovely jewelry. Oh, look at these. Um, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're like little little oh, flower yes. buds. Yes. Um, here, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do say yeah, but I've got to put. No, I don't. Of course, I don't. Um, look at these. Oh my goodness! From oh, there, they look like they're they diamonds. Do, yes. A bit Lorraine Schwartz, I feel. They're fantastic, aren't they? And of course, being talented jewelry makers, you could very easily add to these. You could put maybe. Because there's little links in between. What do you reckon, Mark? You do some mm, uh, additional yeah, yeah. bubble styles. Bubbles, yeah. um, but I look at this, Mark, and I think that, you know, they, they're they quite floral. Yeah. Name quite doesn't floral. do them justice, does no, it? No, it doesn't. No. Twisted threader earrings. Um, the beauty of a threader earring, a, a, they are quite safe in a sense that they don't actually have a butterfly at the back. Um, they are unlikely to sort of pull forward. I don't want to say guaranteed not to because there is always that risk and the potential. However, um, because you've got gravity and you've got that, if I move this out of the way, that length of chain at the back, uh, plus the U-bend in the shepherd hook yeah. itself, it gives that really nice security. Um, these are beautiful. We had them in the sil uh, sorry, the gold-plated silver the other day. They absolutely flew out. You could use them um, as, wow. oh, I like them from distance. Yeah, right? they really stand out, don't they? They're lovely, aren't they? It's a big amount yeah, of sterling yeah, silver. Yeah. Almost two grams of precious metal and little flower buds. Beautiful little flower buds. First price crash, oh, not where we're no, closing. Yeah. What? Huh? Not where we're closing. Not closing. No. I can hold the other one here so you can see up close. I think I'd do some like little seed pills, put some little seed pills in there. And if you find that they're too long, you can just take off a couple of some at the ends, couldn't you? And use them for other pieces of jewellery if you want to shorten them. Yeah, you could use them as little individual connectors. Individual connectors, you could definitely do that. Nine ninety nine, but we're going even lower. Have we got quantity, Roscoe? A hundred available, but they're getting snapped up. Yeah, I mean, I would put some little faceted gemstones in around your little flower buds. Very pretty, very, very, very pretty. 
Good luck, everybody. They are sterling silver. We're not talking base metal here. Um, precious 925, sterling silver. Loving them, absolutely loving them. The threader earring plus the opera length wow. and all that investment. Seven ninety nine. That's not even costume jewelry. You know, no, we no, said no. the other earlier on this morning, Mark, that I priced up like a key ring, a plastic key ring. The only reason I sort of priced it up because it was personalised, basically. Um, I was like, oh, it's quite funny. It was one of those joke ones. I was like, I'm not paying twenty quid for a key ring. Whereas wow. these are 925 sterling silver. Mark, you raise a really good point. You could very easily customise these if Absolutely. you wanted if them were, to be shorter. Too long, if they wanted too long, or you wanted to take the bot maybe the bottom one off. Yeah. And then add a pearl, for yeah. example, have a bigger drop. Nice. Or, You've yeah. got jump rings in between each of these connections, mm. so you yeah. could uh, um, wrap loop directly yeah, onto absolutely. there as well. Yeah. We had a hundred, the quantities flying out, not surprised at that amazing price tag, seven pounds and 99 pence only, well done. There's a little queue on the phone lines, but it's minimal, it's minimal. And our call center are pretty incredible at uh, getting to you super speedy. So um, we had them in the yellow gold, they absolutely flew out. I don't know if we've got them in the rose. Um, silver is always the most popular color though, isn't it? Always, yeah, attach extra gemstones just because they look like, well, yeah. Well, they are a complete pair of earrings, but with be the talents that you have, the creativity yeah. that you have, I know you could turn them into um, a one-of-a-kind piece. Uh, if you took the bottom set off and popped on a fireball pearl. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. And then seed pearls here. Yeah. Seed pearls They're leading lovely. down to really they nice, so aren't they? Cute. Unusual. Yeah. Very unusual. Make sure you check it out, everybody. Miss Janet, well done. Geraldine, Alison, hello to you, Wiltshire, Rita, Isle of Man. Hello to you, Carol, Richard and Elia. Jacqueline, hello to you, Virginia. You've got yours. Richard in Nottinghamshire, five. Loads of multi-buyers on these, twos and threes and fours. I'm not surprised. We had 100. Uh, how are we doing in terms of quantity, uh, Roscoe? Because the call screens have gone crazy. 23, wow. there you go, sorry. 23 of them left. I'm going to bring you one more piece of sterling silver before we dive into, um, like yeah, these. these are amazing, aren't they? Yeah, we kept these. talking about our Charlie, didn't we? Did. We did, yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh. Off I done. Yeah, we kept talking about our Charlie um, with these. I'll get back to that, leave it there. Um, because they are like the style that he would incorporate into, um, into his jewellery designs. So with your Akoyas, your South Seas and your Tahitian pearls, um, really clever, Aww. really clever, really secure. A bullet clasp, like a box clasp, are probably the strongest clasp that you can incorporate into your jewellery design. And I'll try and show you up close. Can I apologise for my nails? Like I said, I, I missed the appointment. They're such a mess at the moment. But I missed the appointment last week because of the floods. Um, let me show you. Can, can you see how it's almost got like a spring? You see? Oh, it's so lovely. Isn't so it? you press down. It looks like a coffee bean if I turn it towards. Yeah. There you go. So if I press down, it opens up. It's so a little, lovely. Got a little mouth there. Om, om, om. And then you have the bullet effectively here, which is what he bites down on, basically. There's a song called Little Shop of Horrors. Yes. And that plant's called it Seymour, is. Feed Me Seymour. It just reminds me of He doesn't look like Seymour. Yeah. yeah, he's got that kind of face. Yeah. Isn't he like um, yeah. a Venus flytrap? Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's he right. has got yeah. that sort of Seymour yeah. shape. Or um, G2. Oh, but they're basically like little coffee beans, yeah. aren't they? Basically like little coffee beans. 925 sterling silver. These are ultimate luxury class and incredibly secure because you've got the spring that natural tension bites down, like I said, on the actual bullet itself. Um, this is what you will see in your Charlie, ja uh, Charlie Baron pearls. This is what you will see on your Bond Street, Hatton Garden, high-end pearl strands. I say pearl strands, it's not exclusively pearl strands, but you know, your, your, your more luxurious yeah, necklaces yeah, yeah. will like, likely have either a box clasp or a bullet clasp. Where it's 79.99, you do get four of them as well. It's, they're so pretty, aren't they? Oh, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. 
And they, again, they're that kind of class yeah. that you wouldn't mind if it was visible. You wouldn't mind if it kind of worked its way to the front of the neckline because, you know, especially with something like your pearls or Baroque pearls, it's going to complement that design. £29.99 pence only. They are easy to put in as well. So if you do yeah. find your bolt rings or your lobster class or trigger class a little bit more fiddly, then this is much easier um, because you have effectively the... There we go. You have this uh, little the That's bullet amazing. here. So clever, isn't yeah. it? The engineering that goes into little clasps like this. So again. And if you've used your wire end tips, this is that would just be perfect together, won't they? Yeah, yeah, really work, wouldn't it? That's Aww. that level of luxury. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. It is time Ooh. now for the most exquisite jade, genuinely. And I'm, I and I was quite sad that I wasn't part of this opportunity when Dave first launched them. Um, they're absolutely unbelievable, the quality, you know. And I've, I know I've said countless times on here before that yes, country of origin is important but it's not the be all and end all ultimately mm. the value or, or the beauty of the gemstone the quality of the gemstone is what determines the overall value so we have history in places like your Kotan we know there's less than six years of mining Kotan we know about obviously Guatemalan we know about the Burmese mine do you notice each of these locations have all had immense success mm in terms of the popularity of that gemstone. This is what they believe, well, not believe, this is that ne next great success story. The price per kilo of this gemstone in the current market is absolutely staggering, and you will soon see exactly why. So, historically, like I said, the world of jade, um, wherever you look at, whether it's Kotan, the fact that, the, you know, Kotan, which is not too far away from this mining location, Kotan jade, they believe glowed in under moonlight um, when they used to wade into the Kotan River to source this gemstone. You've got the Burmese deposits, of course, which is celebrated, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands of years for Kotan, hundreds of years of su success um, for Burma. This is a location which is relatively new. It's in its infancy, if you like, to the jade world. And the jade world, you know, think of all your gemstones. We think here in the West that it's all about diamonds, don't we? You know, we're programmed that way almost by De Beers um, and the jewellery industry that's diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Diamonds are plentiful in comparison. You know, abundant, some might even say, in comparison. But really, globally, this is the most valuable gemstone um, in the world, bar none. We know ounce for ounce, jade is more valuable than gold. Um, and this location is being hailed as the new... Burma, the new Kotan Jade, which, by the way, are both, if not deplete, or on the verge of depletion. But what's so exciting about this location um, is, firstly, we know that this is a window of opportunity that will be very, very fleeting currently. That again, similarly to your Sharite, we are not sourcing any of it right now, given the current location of it. This is an acquisition that was uh, um, purchased or mind, I should say, pre any um, any conflict, effectively. So we'll have purchased it from one of our traders, um, pre that. But we're not bringing you any more of it, obviously, unless things obviously change. Um, but this is from, and I have to read it to the actual location itself. Lake P Bacal, am I pronouncing that Bacal? Um, Lake Bacal, and it is a natural nephrite. So we've. I, I, I've chewed your ear off about Burmese jade I, and Kotan jade numerous times, but I want to, you to talk, I want to talk to you about this location. Um, and it says, among the above varieties, the best white jade said to produce um, in the Haitian dis district. Now, this location actually numbered it. 
1995, a batch of extraordinary quality was produced, pure white tight structure. That's more, more applicable to the white strand that we're bringing here in a few moments time. But it also applied to the green. Um, these became known as 95 jade in the market. And as of 2020, the rough prices, prices have exceeded 200,000 US dollars per kilo. It's a variety of nephrite from this location, Lake Bacal, area of Russia, and is considered second only, like there we go, to 95 jade. So we've, we understand, I think, uh, over the past few years, we've learned about jade, and we've learned that it's not the four Cs, it's the translucency, and it's that color. We've brought you Canadian, Khotan, Burmese, Turkish, different locations around the world. I've never mm. seen color like this with translucency like this. And so much so I want to compare it, regardless of this, this is location, but check these out. These are magnificent sets of green, wow. spinach green jade, uh, emblematic of the four seasons beautiful aren't they Lovely. look how they use that light yeah. and dark within the actual gemstone for the price that they sold for in 2016 um what's that 1.5 million <gasps> for those four seasons but wow. it's the color and that translucency which uh, you know commanded that price tag these aren't jadeites by the way these are spinach green nephrites exactly what i have before me and the reason why I want to focus on these, and yes, they're carvings, yes, they're plaques, they're not, they're not rounds, but when you see that spinach green color, and then when I hold, bear with me, my phone, when I hold these before you, oh my word. and you see this translucency, Look at that. you understand the quality that I'm raving about. Can we dim the lights in here or not? Is that not possible? That's a gorgeous, isn't it? It is stunning, isn't it? Now, jewelry makers, I don't have a huge quantity of them. I'm just gonna read you a final quote. Kotan is famous for mutton fat material but the best spinach green has always come from the Pakai area. The only pocket they had in China was in uh, Yutan in the 90s. That material is so expensive now and Russia isn't being mined. So there we go, even if we could right. get it, yeah, yeah. it's not being no, mined. No. The Chinese um, would only ever import material that is finer than the deposits that they have access to already. That makes complete sense. That's why we don't touch Canadian mines. They consider the Canadian mines um, lesser, lesser grade than what they actually mm. have of nephrite. Because nephrite is mined in China, that's the thing. But they will actively source what is on your screens because of the grade. This material is the original imperial grade and there is no more in the market. In Hong Kong, spinach bacal jade is more expensive than lavender jade oh for the first time. So. We all know that Burmese, this color is imperial green, don't we? We know that is astronomically expensive when we're talking about this variety of jade. And historically, they were never differentiated between, were they? Jade and, and nephrite, it was jade, effectively. Um, this is the original. So nephrite is wow. older than jadeite. Um, so that's why they call it the original, um, the original jade. This is the original imperial. Now these are the only rounds and I genuinely stand by this statement. This is the finest quality jade that I've ever had the privilege of offering you. It has been on air once and there oh, are just no. 19 left within the business. It's no longer being mined. Even if we could or would access this, there's nothing coming from the ground. It was launched in September this year, alongside Dave and Carol, yeah, we watched it back, the video, the, the, VT, uh, the actual showcase, it was absolutely amazing, um, you know, and, and, the, and the education that Dave actually gives us all. He said, look, this is a location that is for the first time more expensive than lavender jadeite. 
the only location that they possibly hail finer quality nephrite is the 95 material. That's the wow. only, and that's so expensive. What was it, 200,000 US dollars per kilogram? Good luck, everybody. We have how many, Roscoe? 19 available. It's certified completely and utterly natural. Cotan is famous for mutton fat material, but the best spinach green has to come from this very area that is on your screens. Bacal, Lake Bacal, it's all natural. This is not uh, fisher filled. This is not dyed in any way, shape or form. You have the most exquisite translucently that you could possibly, possibly wish for um, in any variety of jade. Immediately, we have got, I'm going to say it, connoisseurs. You are connoisseurs. If you can say that you own this location, you know, huge color and this color, that perfect combination, that is comparable. Look what's on the back of my hand. It is comparable with that piece that I've, I know they're very different in terms of the shapes. And I know that that's a carving, but when we're looking at the translucency of the color, this is absolutely up there. It is no longer coming from the mine. Not that we would get it, no. given the current situation. This is old mine. And we'll have, Dave will have sourced this from one of his amazing connections all around the world. But this is the last time you'll ever see it from this location. Susan and Brian, Devon, Valerie, Hazel, Caroline, Denise, Dawn. You can do it. I have 19 and I have got multi buyers there. So well done. Well over half the stock's gone already. I actually don't know where you're taking this to, Russ. We're under 500 pounds. It's not, it's not only one of the best nephrites we've ever brought to air. Ross has just said in my ear, it's also one of the best prices for the quality. Notice how this is not, it's not opaque. It's glassy translucency, isn't it? It's stunning. And it is spinach green. Do you remember all those years ago, how our knowledge has grown, Ross? Do you remember how all those years ago, what, four? When, I don't know, how long, how long have we, you and I been working together now? Okay, so two years. Sorry, I mm. feels like longer, clearly. <laughs> um, two years. Do you remember that email that Dave sent us both? And he said, spinach green is equivalent to imperial green. Wow. That's what we have on our screens right there now. Natural, here it is, Ross is just looking for it right now. Do you remember, this is the first time that you and I had really ever spoken or realized, learnt, about spinach green jade and that was back in april last year so you can see from dave there you go to ross and myself um guys just seeing your stand for tomorrow's birthday deal um oh that was for the gemporia birthday wasn't it is that right oh is it thank you i can't quite read it there um, oh yes, 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 because we had a pre-birthday, 30th of April, that's right. Um, this is a new mine of Burmese uh, nephrite. Originally this was being sold as jade up because it's so translucent. Translucent. Essentially this is the original jade from a new mine. I've just looked uh, through them all. Uh, you've got spinach green colour and it's natural. Spinach green to, look how he puts it in bold. Spinach green to nephrite is what imperial green is to jadeite. And, that, and look how much, mm, look at what we're yeah. doing now, we're bringing strands of rounds which have that wonderful translucency as well as the colour. Over half the stock has gone. The next price crash, this is legacy jewellery, my goodness me. I do not mind saying this and because I, I oh, genuinely believe it hand on heart. That's the best strand mm. of spinach green nephrite I've ever seen in person it's we're at 199 pounds another one <laughs> does it go lower oh no can i just sow the seed because can you imagine putting those together how unbelievable would they be together we're going lower jewelry makers but you do need to have that urgency 
the rarity. This is Lake Bacal natural spinach green left right in an eight mil round. Uh, eight mil round. Does it come any more perfect? With the most beautiful translucency, the most amazing, amazing saturation. And you've got your 0% interest split payments. I don't know what producer Ross has taken this to, but I know it's already an absolute steal at 199. My only wish though was that there was more than 19. If you weren't able to tune in during that amazing showcase alongside Carol and Dave, Today's the day, your last opportunity. We are not getting any more of this. A, it's not being mine. B, we wouldn't purchase it anyway because of the location. Um, but in terms of valuation of your jade, doesn't make any difference. It does not make any difference. This is the only location of gemstone that the Chinese actually regard as highly as their own. One, two, nine. That's insane. If you'd have told me, Ross, that this was a 399 strand, I'd have believed you. Yeah. And that would be an amazing deal, wouldn't it? 399 would have been my expectation. Virginia in Hampshire, you've got yours. Uh, Dawn mm. in Sussex, Susan in Essex, Susan and Brian in East Sussex. Devon, you've got two. Valerie, well done to you. Hazel, well done. Caroline in Essex getting two. Denise in Derbyshire, amazing. Um, I've still got uh, Dawn there. Oh no, you've got yours. Uh, London, well done. I've got people on the phone lines. We've got five left. If you all check out, we've already sold out of this opportunity and that is the last remaining opportunities to get hold of your late Bacal, uh, Jade. It's utterly exquisite. I've, I've been privileged and lucky enough to see lots of different Jade in my, uh, particularly over the recent years, obviously, but never anything like this. It is genuinely breathtaking and you can get hold of it, capitalize on 0% interest as well, split payment, just 43 wow. pounds. Amazing, Suja, good luck. Let's, can we do the white? Now, where's this? Cotan? I thought so. Can you see in that PowerPoint, Dave? There's fifth, that's uh, Dave, <laughs> Ross. Um, it said earlier on, Cotan is renowned for the white. Mm. or rather that's the most sought after color this is interesting actually i read this as well um sorry no it's not that one i beg your pardon beg your pardon uh white jade rush in china's wild uh, it's okay it doesn't matter we'll go back to the original one that i was speaking about okay mm where it says about at Kotan, it's known for the actual white, whereas this location known for the spinach green. So um, the Kotan River is uh, historically, when we talk about the history of jade, um, it's Kotan. That's the longest mining location, thousands on thousands of years. You know, this image is really interesting, uh, interesting where um, the miners effectively used to wade into the Kotan River, usually under moonlight, because they believed that the gemstones oh. would actually reflect the jade. That's romantic. Um, very romantic, yes, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely to have that knowledge as well when you're actually mm. working and wearing this beautiful gemstone. But there's thousands of years of mining of this gemstone. Um, and Kotan really is, you know, of the most expensive pieces that ever been sold at auction. It's not Burmese. It's not even imperial. It's Kotan jade. That's the most expensive. Um, but again, flick forward. Because it talks about, you know, ounce for ounce, the finest jade has become more valuable than gold with the most prized nuggets of mutton fat jade, um, so named for its marbled white consistency. It's not the most beautiful descriptions, granted, but that's the terminology that there, um, has been used for thousands of years. This is mutton fat jade. This is also incredibly translucent mutton fat. So normally it has a discoloration. Um, fetching $3,000 an ounce, a tenfold increase from a decade ago. That's incredible. An ounce an ounce. an ounce look at the carrot weight that you're getting with this amazing strand um, now first price crash we've only got a limited quantity on these it's a longer strand but don't you think the two work Perfectly. don't you think yeah. you can see jade uh, uh, Kotan is not mined in the same way that Burmese jade is Burmese jade it's movements of tectonic plates and you get vast boulders whereas Kotan is boulders like this 
bolt like pebbles almost that you can actually hold within the actual <laughs> hand itself that's the difference and there's just six years left of mining six years get it now if you're a J collector you'll already have Kotan on your radar it's re it's steeped in history it's the most historic it's the most expensive in any auction house that 149 is just ridiculous I generally don't know what else to say about this other than that's absolutely ridiculous do you notice the translucency that you're getting here translucency and pure white color it fascinates me that a gemstone that has formed over millions of years can maintain yes, a pure color pure like this that, yes. you know if this were type b or type c fair enough it would have been bleached dyed polymer impregnated this has been none of those it's both strands here totally natural and you have got the finest examples from both locations not too far away from what well they probably are probably thousands yeah. of miles but when you look at a, a, a map mm. you can actually see the connection between the true stay where you are on those phone lines right the last of your lake bacal this is beautiful isn't it it's look so at that. gorgeous i'm just gonna single one out yeah what there's 50. wow oh look at that look and it will be reflected in the price how many on strand let's give them a count let me just get my piece of paper so i don't know ever like to lie it down mm. directly onto a desk here we go so let's see let's give them a count because they could be solitaires couldn't yeah, they absolutely. two four six eight ten twelve You've got 12 solitaires so if you made simple one stone macrame bracelets yeah 65 70 pound each absolutely especially if you start mm, educating yeah, as well and talk absolutely. about late bacal yeah. remember this is the only location that the china uh, that the chinese will import you know because generally they'll keep their own quality you know they don't regard many other locations with the uh, same prestige as what they do their own um in the world of nephrite this is um first price crash it's our last offering of your late bacal uh jade we only had two strands today. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's just just insane. Look at the translucency. There was fifty of these available. Oh my I know we're going even lower, jewelry makers, purely because we got fifty. I don't know anywhere else. And Dave said this the other day. Where else in the world goes? Oh yeah, we've got something some of the finest jade in the world. Look, we've you know look, look, speak to. Um, the, the Chinese people and they would actually say they would say uh, tell us educate us on the regard um, their high regard of this location we also know it's no longer being mined so even if we did want to purchase it we uh, we couldn't what company do you know says oh yeah we know it's incredibly valuable we know it's incredibly rare or irreplaceable in actual fact but we've got 50 so let's go even lower 50 is not a huge quantity not at all not with something as rare and precious as this that's so cool yeah you don't see jewelers no. yeah <laughs> hang on a minute hang on a minute are oh, you want to bar through a little bit do you one second i'm going to give you a minute warning there you go and in 60 seconds we're going to take this ultra rare the globally sought after gemstone we're going to take it under 50 purely because we got quantity you know so true it is so true oh i i that's another two in front of it at least mm. did dave do this it looks okay like that's all right thing, then i'm glad because i was a little bit worried i was like are we meant to be going to 34.99 are we missing digits on that price point this is an insane Gosh. deal remember in the world of nephrite spinach green is what imperial is to jadeite spinach to nephrite is what imperial is to jadeite it's the original jade personally um i gravitate towards nephrite more it's a lot more lustrous um it's a it's a more of a forest green color you often get finer translucency i think alongside um alongside your nephrite it's this is madness there was 50 available everybody make sure you are ready to check out because they're flying wow. suja cambridgeshire lancashire dawn leslie susan and brian karen alan fife caroline denise gerda jill janet merseyside gloucestershire well done everybody 
everybody. What an amazing Thursday it has been so far. And I've still got so much to bring you. We have Sharite, the final show of Sharite coming up after the break, which is a, re it's, I don't know, it's just yeah, a it's sad a occasion really, yeah. isn't it? So we are no longer, I'll explain some more if you've just tuned in, um, no longer buying this gemstone. It's nothing to do with how visually beautiful it is because it is absolutely stunning. Um, but recent events obviously mean that's not going to be the case coming up after the break. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford upon Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three course dinner, half a bottle of wine, and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back.
welcome back everybody. I can't believe it's half past 11 I know, already. already. I know, it's gone so fast. Mad. I'm not sure how we got in that conversation during the break. We were talking about faggots. And, and ham and, and ham and carnivores. Yeah. 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 Great. Um, yeah. I love a faggot. My mum used to get faggots and slice them into three oh, yeah. under the grill. Because they are pretty big, aren't they? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And there's, there's, mm. there's, a, there's a butcher's in the town that I grew up at. And I just said to Adam, I was like, when I go down, I'll, um, I'll get you all some faggots. Mm. Mm. That's Amazing. a treat, isn't yeah. it? What'd you cut? <laughs> Welsh cakes yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I'll bring you some faggots. Yeah. But they are good, aren't mm. they? Mm, can't beat them. In a, in a, in a slow cooker mm. with some onion gravy. Perfect. Mm. We're all very hungry now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, should we talk about your showcase? I've been <laughs> waiting for this. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I need to explain the situation. Obviously, Shara is not a gemstone through choice that we would obviously stop purchasing. It's not. Um, because it's beautiful. And it's so unique. And, and, and for our 13 years of broadcasting, pretty much the bulk of that, we've brought you this gemstone. Mm. Um, however, recent events mean that we are no longer purchasing this location from this location. If you ever see anywhere from uh, uh, Russia, basically it'll be old, old mine. Um, so basically that's it. Um, no foots or maybes. So that does also mean though that what we have within our vault is it. That's it. So this is the last time we will have Sharite on air. So Beautiful. there will be no new Sharite coming in. So what you have in the vault is it. So if there's any shapes in particular that you want us to bring to air, drop us a message and we will try and include them. So let's talk about Sharite because um, it's one locational. There's nothing like this anywhere else in the world. And for me, it's the purple Malachite. What I mean by that is, it's so distinctive and unforgettable. So once you see it, you mm. won't ever mistake it for another gemstone no. out there. Um, the IGS wrote about Sharite, Sharite value, price, and jewelry information. Um, and they say, uh, with light to medium dark purple colors and swirling patterns, Sharite is usually uh, quite distinctive. No other material is likely to be mistaken for it. This is exactly uh, what yes, I have just uh, said. Um, you, mm. it, it is like your Malachite, so distinctive, that outlandish eccentric, um, that once seen, you'll never forget. What is Sharite though? So, um, gosh, firstly, that looks like a Monet painting behind, yes. doesn't it? <laughs> um, what is Sharite? Well, like lapis lazuli, the gemstone we call Sharite is actually a rock. Um, however, it's almost purely composed um, of the mineral Sharite. To say that the mineral Sharite, Sharite is a silicate of complex composition is an understatement. For example, one mineralogical source describes it as a hydrated potassium, sodium, calcium, barium, uh, barium, uh, I can't say it, bar barium, uh, strontium, silicate, hydrofluoride, hy sorry, hydroxyfluoride. I Gosh. mean... <laughs> That's not romantic. Not at all. No. So yeah, Sharite no. is. But all of yeah. those other, no. not so much. <laughs> the dominant presence of Sharite mineral gives this gem material its distinctive range of purple colours, which can vary even with a single specimen. Its characteristic swirling pattern is due to a fibrous crystals arranged in complex interlocking patterns. The mix uh, of other minerals in Sharite rock can include prismatic orange crystals oh. uh, of, of tinaxite, pale greenish grey microline, um, and greenish black crystals of uh, agarine, I think I've pronounced that right, patterns, I can't pronounce these words, patterns of these colours as well as white may occur. As a result, this is a uniquely highly ornamental rock. I mean, look at that behind the writing yeah. as well. As you said, it's Monet, isn't it? It is, it's Monet, yeah. it's like, it's like, a, it's like brush strokes. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Now, where is Sharite found? Well, the only source of this striking gemstone remains to be the Shara River um, in uh, um, basically the, in Russia. Sharite forms from limestone due to the process oh. of uh, contact me metamorphism. 
since this is a relatively common geological phenomena, uh, why its distribution is so limited is unclear. Apparently, the particular limestone and intrusive rock in this area had unique chemical properties. And like I said, many people believe it might have to do with the cold conditions as well. Oh, um, right. So I mean, look how beautiful it is. Look at how beautiful Gosh. that location. You can imagine this wonderful, vivid, vivid unique purple being discovered in sort of these wonderful mountainous ranges uh, moving forward here it is you can see that's oh. far paler you can get it from dark right the way down to your paler colors and you'll see these kind of like seraphonite feathery yes. like colors that it's like occur. tissue paper doesn't it, it crumples does. up tissue paper and they said about the interlocking yeah. um, yes. a formation of this gemstone why it's so rare and why it's only found in this one location they don't actually uh, gemologists don't actually know the answer to oh. but visually it's absolutely stunning i mean look at that it's amazing isn't it work of art now we can show you a few pieces of your charite amazing natural charite necklace 295 pounds that's lovely is it knotted no i don't think so it's almost identical to the charite rounds that we're about to bring you today here we go mm, yeah yeah and we can show you the write-up on this piece of jewellery. Sharite is one of nature's most curious gems, which comes from a small area in Siberia near the River Shara and only discovered in 1978. Wow. Oh, it's the same age as me. Um, we, we first used it in the 1990s um, at a time when even gemologists barely knew what it was. Um, and it was still being called the lilac stone. Oh. Um, I usually describe it as looking like stirring lavender ink into milk. It ranges from uh -huh. deep purple to pale lavender, depending on the mix of minerals in the formation. Uh, there are chalcedony-like crystals in part of the mix, and this is probably in the middle of the colored range. When you see it, you can barely believe it is a product of mother nature but it is rarely used in jewelry simply because of supply the supply is so small and even uh, and every batch is unique we uh, but we have always had a fondness for it so we'll snap up particularly interesting examples wherever we see them hard to find these quality they call it a double a grade 12 millimeter beads all knotted on a 47 centi uh, 47 centimeter with easy to use sterling silver hook class could you make that easily easily how much was that? £295. <laughs> and wow. worth every single penny, yeah, I have completely. to say. Worth every single penny. I don't think that's an astronomical price for the rarity of the gemstone. Also on the same website, I can show you. Wow. A Sharite necklace. No. No. Hang on. Ignore the graphics, but look at the yeah. box. We can oh. show the price in a second. Oh my goodness me. And if, with it flat surface, I bet that's expensive. That's incredible. You have that as a work top. <sighs> That'd be right. You'd have to have a serious there. level of wealth, mm. I think, to get a Sharite work top. 37 and a half was, I was um, quoted for my kitchen for Labradorite. Thousand. Thirty-seven thousand. Yeah. For a labradorite kitchen counter. Work top. Yeah. Did you have it done? No. No. That's a lot, isn't it? Could have got his in his cars for that. That's true. You know. That's very true. But what is it? <gasps> wow. One thousand two hundred and forty-five pounds. But again, I've got to say, it's worth every penny. Yeah. This is an incredibly rare gemstone that is not found anywhere else in the world. And it's so unique and distinctive that even gemology it's got even gemologists scratching their heads. It's a combination mm. of minerals, some minerals I can't even pronounce. And you know, what cocktail of those minerals will equate to sort of the di different patterns, the different visuals, uh, uh, saturations that you'll get within. There is one place in the world that actually offers this amazing gemstone um, and we are not getting it from there anymore. Even when we, you know, it was accessible, it was never abundant. Now we have the entire Sharite offerings for you this morning. In total, how many lines, Ross? But we have got your rounds. Shall we start with the rounds? We have, okay, eight centimeters, but it's a full 38 centimeter strand. 
We have eight and we also have 10 in rounds and that is it. Look at this. That is it. Are oh. you ready? It is the finale of your Shah Right. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get it again. So what we have within our vault, that is it. This is all old mine, what we, you know, that's a term that you use within the industry, old mine charite. This is totally natural. There is no enhancement to this gemstone. It's fascinating. Compare it to the necklace mm, that we showed yeah. you elsewhere at 295. And in the write-up, they, yeah, 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 double A grade, 47 centimeters. So if they're double A grade, would we all agree? Yeah, it's part of the bus, thank you. They're beautiful, you've got the same sort of flecks of black, beautiful flashes of red. I wouldn't call this any oh, lesser quality, yeah. I think this is a double A grade too. They're absolutely flying. How many have we got, Roscoe? Started oh. with just under 50, it is our final Shah Right opportunity. Um, almost half of them have gone. I need, what, oh. what? Charite's also really expensive ordinarily because it's rare. That was £295 mm. for that necklace. All right, they're a bit different size ultimately, but look at the quantity. They've absolutely flown out the door. I'm not surprised. They've gone sold out. Well done. Well done, oh well done, well done. Word. Now, the last of all the rounds. There are 50. These are 10 millimeters. They are a shorter strand, but they are bigger stones. If you want to multi-buy, be oh quick. That's natural colour. They're all individual pendants again, aren't they? Without a doubt. Oh, you wouldn't yeah. want to put them close to anything else, would you? No. It's such a distinctive oh. gemstone, isn't it? And it's all natural. Nowhere else on this planet produces Shah right? this fascinating gemstone. Look at that. They've got like kind of silver feathers. That's what it looks like visually. Beautiful flecks of silver and cream and lavender all sort of stirred together i think that's a perfect description it's that wonderful cocktail of all these different elements that produce this wonderful gemstone that has all gemolo uh, gemologists around the world scratching their head why it only forms this one location there's no definitive answer they look like little planets don't they they do They're beautiful what is, um, I'm, I'm 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 genuinely sad about this mm. I've always loved Shara. Right? I've too. got one strand. <gasps> oh no. I own one strand at home. That's all I've got. Really? Mm. Well, even when, like I said, you know, pre uh, recent events, it was never abundant. No. Was no, it? We no. never had big showcases of it or anything like that. So moving forward, yeah, it's obviously going to come much. Uh, well, we've wow. just said never. We're not buying it. 1999 jewelry makers do get it whilst you can. Visually stunning. These wonderful. It's got a presence of. It's got a presence of seraphonite. I think mm. serpentine. Mm. Sorry, I'm thinking. Yes, yeah. No, ser seraphonite. No, seraphonite. Yeah. yeah where yeah. you have those kind of angelic wing-like mm. patterns within. It's got a presence of that, of course, in that natural purple. Well done. Sold out. Congratulations, everybody. That's it for your rounds. Don't have any mm. more rounds. I do. These are amazing. These are amazing. Oh. Okay, I've got pears. And then I've got top drilled ovals. Look at these. Look at the quality of that colour. Wow. Hello to you. Fiona, Sharite has to be the most beautiful stone I have seen. Just incredible to look at. It's it really funny. is, Fiona. And I yeah. understand when people say that because it's got these silvery swirls. And the fact that it's formed under a frozen lake, I find absolutely amazing. You can see that, can't you? I often say gemstones will offer the beauty of the location. Even down sort of above the lake, you can see how beautiful it is. But look at that color. It's otherworldly. It's amazing that it's formed this deep ultraviolet color naturally. It's not dyed. Only here on the Sharo River. A lot of you have requested oh. cabochons. We'll have a little look. We've got your messages. Ross is on that one, so do bear with us. Um, 
this is so popular this showcase and we did expect it we are going to bring as much charite as we possibly can it is the at uh, the end of the road for charite for us we can't bring it to air we're not buying any more um, for obvious reasons obviously but you know it's it's almost unfair isn't it <laughs> they're singing their voice to men aren't they yeah. um but <laughs> it's unfair because such a beautiful gemstone however you know here is a gem that actually in its offerings was always extremely extremely limited it's the purple malachite in many aspects you've got these wonderful wonderful patterns and swirls each one absolutely unique 19.99 but i can tell you even when it was much more accessible um it was not 19.99 on our screens was it mark no. No, it certainly wasn't. And we didn't do showcases? No, no, no. Be the odd strand of round, I remember. Yeah. That'd probably be about it. How many How many have we got, Russ? Wow. Well, well. Just 60 available opportunities. Hello, Gerda. Belinda's got two. Jenny, hello to you. Sarah Ann. Dawn's got two. Catriona's got three. Marie and Elaine and Valerie, hello to you, Orkney. Um, well done. I've got people queuing on the phone lines. Please do, uh, bear with us. The end of the road for your beautiful Charite. No. Well, no, it is. This is an end of the road price. We can't replace this. We are going lower, though, says Ross. He's the boss. He tells me what to do. Rounds, sold out, done. He's the boss of me here though, isn't he? I do what you tell me. The fact you're going even lower. Well, you both of you are. <laughs> We're going even lower. You what, sorry? I dance to my own beat. Well, I wouldn't be taking this lower is all I'm saying. I would not no, take a gemstone no. that is completely irreplaceable and would not take it below 20 pounds from this one amazing, amazing location, the beautiful, beautiful Sharo River. Like I said, obviously with the recent events, we're not purchasing it, which is a real shame because it is such a stunning gemstone. Good luck, get it now though. That's why we put together everything that we possibly could in one showcase and we're doing amazing <laughs> giveaway deals like this. Sharite, even when it was, I, I can't even say that sentence, even when Sharite was available. It's never really been plentiful. It's a gemstone, it's one locational. When you think how few one locational gemstones mm. there are, you know, Mukite, okay. Uh, you've got Laramar. Laramar, the prices of Laramar. Yeah. Um, Amatrine, Anarchy Amatrine is another example. Not for such a long time. For such a long time. You know, uh, Amalite, there's another one. Mm. You think about the prices yeah. that these mm. one locational yeah, gemstones yeah. fetch. You know, Charite should be doing exactly the same. 14 99 well done. I think these are on the verge of selling out, aren't they? Yeah, well done, well done, well done. Next up, faceted ovals. So I'm assuming then, not to get too political, that the, the, that when this all turns peaceful again and sanctions are lifted, which is going to be a long time in the future, everyone's going to be rush, rushing in to grab it. So we might still be not be able to get it mm -mm. again anyway. So this this is probably going to be the last time. No, you think about the situation yeah. with Burmese uh, yeah. Burmese uh, ruby. Mm. Same happened. Same happened. After it? the sanctions yeah. were lifted, obviously every everywhere yeah. out in the world was Straight desperate in, to get hold gone. of Burmese ruby. And that it's pushed the price back yeah. up. That's a really good yeah, point, Mark. Yeah. Really good point. Um, I remember the first launch of Burmese Ruby here at Gemporia. And tell you what, <laughs> even by Gemporia standard, those were quite considered. Mm, mm. Um, here we are bringing you oh, top quality, top gem. They graded that ne that website that we just showed you. Had graded quality, AA graded quality, that I would absolutely say this stands you know, uh, head, uh, head and shoulders alongside it. Faceted ovals. I treat them as solitaires personally. Nineteen ninety-nine, everyone. That's beautiful. How many do we have of these available? Thirty-nine available. I always think with Sharite, Sharite and Petersite, I almost look like you know, like a um, what do you call it, like a satellite image of a storm. Mm. Yeah. I always feel that like yeah. they have those swirls. kind of swirls. swirls yeah. You know, like uh, if you saw a hurricane or something like that forming, mm. 
um, in a satellite image. It's got those wonderful, uh, really beautiful swirls in a, in a, in, in an wow. actual photograph, obviously. Uh, 1999, lots of you getting involved. I think they're on the verge of selling out now as well. If Thank there's a particular Lord. shape, we've, we've got your message about the cabochons. We're going to try and get hold of what we can um, of your Sharite and bring you as much as we possibly can. It is the last show of Sharite. Um, there's what I mean by that is there's no more Sharite being purchased. So what we have is what we have, and we thought it would be really exciting to put together this amazing showcase alongside um, this morning. Um, they are on the verge of selling out. The phone lines are, cr are busy, busy, busy. I love these. It's a shape. It's unusual, isn't it? Yeah. We. Why don't we do this yeah. shape in more gemstones? Why don't we? I don't know. Don't know. We need Maybe to it's, it's quite dangerous. Maybe so close to the top. I don't know. I feel like we need they to put gorgeous. this question to Wayno. What do you reckon? Wayno, why don't we do the top drilled ovals more? Because they're fabulous, aren't they? Big carrot oh. weight, says Ross. Every charite is like our individual fingerprints, completely and utterly unique. <gasps> Oh, this showcase is incredible, it really is. Totally natural, Sharite, with those wonderful swirls. Yeah, it's just, they're just so unusual, aren't they? That shape. There's Check only been a handful of times I've seen top drill ovals Well, like Mark, this. you've got quite an extensive gem collection, mm. I think it's fair to say. The fact that you've just, you've just admitted we're only having one strand. One strand, yeah. I don't think I've got any. That's only a bit, I'll be able to get one strand. There's flecks of red. And it's not oh, dyed, look it's at all that natural. One in the middle there, look. That's just Yeah, amazing. It is Monet, isn't it? The yeah, brushstrokes of Monet. Completely, utterly. Yeah. Do you think Monet was inspired by gemstones? Because I I quite often mention Must Monet. Be something he was inspired by. Yeah. He liked water, mm, yes. Yeah. Water lilies, yes, I agree. But the positioning of the brush, you know, how he actually you know, it's I, I do feel like it was almost dappled. To it, mm. to a degree, and that's what you see in gemstones like this. They're gorgeous. That faceting is so sympathetic to them as well. It I is. Just love it. It's real soft facets. You can see oh. almost the extremities of the location, yes, can't yeah. you? Now, how many do we have, Ross? Oh. Fifty available. This is one of my favourite shapes. I love it, and I, I'm going to ask the question: Why don't we do these in different gemstones? Mm. Uh, 24 pounds and 99 pence they'll almost give you that illusion like uh, you know like they're hovering or floating won't yeah. they because your drill hole is not through the center of them not top to bottom it's just in that top sort of 10 20 percent of the gemstone um so you could almost feed them i don't know how drill, how big the drill holes are oh surprising Quite actually big. yeah that's surprising so you could possibly put these onto some of your finer cords that is that surprising. Looks like a point eight, even a millimetre. Yeah, so you'll be able to get all your. Be able to, I was just imagining rosary linking, because it would sit completely different. Yeah, it? beautiful. Like a, like a lion's mane. You look gorgeous. Beautiful. Well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Now, the next opportunities did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gasped at these. I don't know if you've seen They're them, huge. Moscow. Now, there's over 100. So I've done those of the next strand oh my word when you that reaction was to this wasn't it it was i knew it yeah this is the biggest carrot weight outside of the rounds but they've all sold out you oh said it earlier word. on today you love a tumble mm. tumble stone these are faceted tumbles so that, that, do you know i love the fact that these have not been dictated by a calibration they're not like right okay this little charite's got to be an oval, a cabochon, it's got to be an um, emerald cut or whichever it might be. You know, the, the actual lapidaris has taken that charite and said, right, I will polish here, I'll facet here, and it's going to be kind of ro rhombus, elongated, a little bit quirky and individual, oh, because that true. is yeah. what is going to show the beautiful mm. patterning best. Yeah, yeah. So I really, as I gravitate towards these, because I know I'm going to get the best displays does that make sense mm -hmm, completely. yeah i never thought of it like that before oh they're and amazing. you so do look at these we have the biggest quantity of these what an example of charite we are not buying any more charite jewelry makers for obvious reasons this is old mine charite 
this and do you know how different for example if i show the two together look at that this one's very purple this one's got more of the silvers and whites yeah. and remember if we go back to that article at roscoe and it was all down to the formation and the mixture there we uh, here we go uh yeah at the bottom at the bottom it says patterns of these colors as well as white uh, may occur as a result of this uniquely highly ornamental stone but if you look above and don't please don't ask me to read all those prismatic orange crystals of tinkersite pale greenish gray micro <laughs> i can't <laughs> I know, microcrystalline, <laughs> uh, black crystals, um, what's that say, augite, you know, all the selection, and at the top paragraph, look at all of these, describe it as a hydrated potassium, sodium, calcium, barium, uh, strontium, God. silicate, hydrox, hydroxyfluorite. Mm. I mean, all of that, that's what it equates to the differences um, between the different examples, um, different examples, whether you, you know, and I love them both. I do love the silver though. I, I love the well. silver presence oh, within. We have a big quantity of these, says Ross. Over 100 available. Faceted for their own individual beauty. That's what I love. And when a gemstone says visual sharite, you want that. In one minute, we're already at 29.99. This is the second biggest carat weight. Sorry, the first biggest outside of your rounds. Shall we take <laughs> this under 20 pounds purely because we got 20? Look, also, can you put, can you, can we just explain? We don't need to drop these prices. We've got to remember, you know, Sharai is inc still incredibly sought after regardless. However, what's the point in uh, is us having it sat in the vault? If we're not buying any more does that make sense we might as well put together a showcase and bring Absolutely. them all at the most unbelievable yeah. price tag. if we get a good deal and we buy them we like yeah. pass it on that's, absolutely. that's our ethos isn't it yeah absolutely yeah. so we have a hundred mm. we'll have negotiated a great deal but factor into that the fact we're not getting any more anyway and we, so we're not going to do future uh future showcases that's why you're securing these prices under 20 pounds yeah. folks wonderful I think this would be a perfect accompaniment to your jadeites, strands yes. that you have in your stash, all colours. Can I be controversial? Mm -hmm. If we're talking about purple stones, mm -hmm. I prefer this to your bursa. <sighs> I do though, mm -hmm. I do. Mm. I, I love Shara. It's right? more interesting it's to more look interesting. at. more interesting. And it's got silks. It's got silks. Like silky yeah. chatoyancies. So I would pop a, a red jadeite in between those. Yeah, lovely. Absolutely or a carnelian, beautiful. something like that. That would be amazing. It's the fibrous mm, uh, yeah. appearances that you get within under £20. No, oh. no, 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 no. I stand. I sounded like that little little old guy off uh, Vicar of Dibley then, didn't I? No, 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 no. no, 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 no yeah, no, I sounded yes. like him. <laughs> Are you going lower? Oh. This is the biggest quantity, and you know what? We want to change. If you're watching and thinking, I haven't got any shower right. I haven't got any shower right. I wish I had shower right. I'll be getting involved mm. in the shower right showcase after this. Mark says, I, I, listen. I've got one strand. One strand, that's all one I've got. strand. And I think it's 10 millimeter rounds. Oh, I love the you going around. Can't, yeah, I can't remember how much I paid for it. 45 it years this gemstone mm. has been in offering. So it's a real baby, mm. in, you know, uh, in terms of the gemstone world. But nowhere else brings you those patterns, those formations. And the question mark, if you like, that is above many gemologists' heads, exactly how, why? Why is it only really like this um, along the Sharo River? Even when it is being unearthed, it's so limited in its quantity. 16 pounds and 99 pence only jewelry makers. We had um, 100 of these available, but they are absolutely flying. Oh, 0800 644 Hello to you. Jenny saying, I agree, Al. Bursa is nothing compared to Shah, right? Yep, I know. I feel bad saying that because I do like mm, Bursa Jade, yeah. but yeah, this is just on a different level. Hi, Gloria. Look lovely with yes, Bursa Jade colour. and Apple Colour. Yeah. That's true. That's mm. very true. Compliment them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, lovely. In fact, you need to do that, Gloria. I think that would be an amazing piece. <gasps> I love it. We've been spoiled today, haven't we? 
These are the <laughs> deepest purple. Yeah. The deepest. The one I gave you a sneaky peek. Oh, you broke off then. What did you say? 150. Oh my word. Oh, they will all sell out. Can we get, I don't know how close you can get here. But look, it's absolutely unbelievable, isn't it, Shah, right? Well, actually, Michael no, has just said blueberries actually. with yogurt. You yeah. know what, Michael? Yeah. That's what that is, that jeweler yeah. said. Yeah. It's like to, uh, stirring lavender into milk. But they're forgetting mm. the sil silky, mm. uh, you know, luster that you often get. What's that big stone on the shelf up there next to the jar? Amethyst. That's amethyst, is it? Oh. In a druzy, so you're getting the sparkles. Right. Are you ready, jewelry makers? These are, a, uh, do you know what? These are beyond, I call these triple A grade. It's the deepest of purples. And then in fact, yeah. you've got these lovely flashes. Well, under 20 bands, there's a clock on our screens. Purely because of the quantity. Look, I'm gonna say this again, and I'm absolutely certain that Ross will agree with me. The reason why, we don't need to drop the price of Sharai. A, we can't replace it. B, we wouldn't want to replace it, given the current situation. Um, we could sit on it, and, and as lots of gem traders do. But can I just explain, can I just explain? What is the point in us having 150 beautiful Sharites within our vault, mm. doing nothing, we without buying homes, more? Don't we? we want you mm. to be making jewellery. That's what we're about. We don't, you know, we could all stockpile gemstones and sell them back into the trade, but that's not what we're about. We've never been about that. So that's why you're getting these prices. Because this is a £50 strand to me. Mm. In my head, that's a £50 strand. <sighs> Oh, no. We will bring you as much of your Sharite as physically possible. There's 150 available, but you're going to need to be really quick on this. I know, I know, I know. 12.99. I struggle to say that out loud for Sharite, one of nature's most curious gemstones, which comes from a small area in Siberia near the River Shara, hence its name. First discovered um, in 1978. Absolutely beautiful. Rarely used in, ju in jewellery simply because of its supply. Its supply is so small and every batch is completely unique. Um, this jeweller was actually saying they have an amazing fondness for it. So we'll snap up particularly interesting examples whenever they see it. Um, but it's hard to get quality like this. 100%. We had 150 available opportunities. Hello, Gloria. Lovely. That's ludicrous. I totally agree. The only reason it's this price is the quantity. And again, I need to solidify that. If we're not buying any more, what's the point in us keeping hold of the Sharite that we have? There is no point. It's just taking up a location. You know, and we have quite a high turnover of uh, um, stock, which is good, fantastic as a business. We don't keep things in our vault for very long, which is fantastic, fantastic for you guys at home as well. So there's no point in us bring it, you know, sitting on 150 of these. That's why you're getting that price tag. Of the 150, there's 48 left. 48 left, and that quantity is flying, absolutely flying. Get your shower right now. We've been complete, as we always are, completely transparent and honest with you. This was old mine shower right, so what we mean pre the current situation, so, and we won't buy it right now. Um, so this is the end of the line, effectively. So what shower right we have, get it whilst you can. These are basically a clearing the vault shower right deal. There's 20 of them left. We'll leave that with you. Mark, in my, uh, to my left is, you, you took some deep breaths then, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What have you found? Look what Michael's just given to me, look. Have you seen anything so beautiful? Look at this. There's 200, Mark. Go on then. I'm not <coughs> saying that. Do you want me to? Excuse you, me. You say that. At the know. end of the show. At the end of the showcase. Yeah. Under the showcase. This is going to be your finale piece. 
We have 200 available. Sharai in. I don't even want to describe them as nuggets. Free forms. They are beautiful. Unbelievable. That's going under £10. You can pre-order on that one. There you go. Said it. Shop. Can we shop ahead? Yes, you can now. Oh, is that a good idea? Um, 200 of those are available, jewellery makers. It's going to be the conclusion of the oh. Sharai hour. Um, okay, let's bring you some classic traditional rondelles. This for me is crying out to be a lovely bracelet or maybe in between your, um, how about in between pearls? I think Charite would look oh, absolutely yes. amazing in pearls because that, you know, the pearl essence, the orient will actually complement the beautiful sort of chatoyancy that you often see within Charite. Again, totally and utterly natural, hugely distinctive gemstone. There is no other stone I think that can, uh, you know, that compares in its visual beauty um, than Sharite. We're doing it in one price crash. These are big ones. Can rondelles. I just pop over there and grab something from my bag? Of course you can. You know, I, I can't keep anything to myself. Of course you can. I feel like there's something happening in the future that Mark is thinking this would work well with. <laughs> Do I know you that well? Mm -hmm. 1999. Flecks of black, red, orange, beautiful, silvers and white, all down to the very unique um, ooh, composition of this amazing gemstone. Yes, yes, Mark, that would look absolutely amazing. When's this for? Saturday the 11th. Sorry. I've only, I only picked these up. Don't get one. Oh, you know that's not me. You don't I'm get two. I'm off Thursday. How are you? Sorry. Oh. Um, look. Three. Oh my goodness, Mark. These are perfect with Sharite. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect. Aren't they beautiful? Oh. Uh, 19.99. I do have another strand of rondelles. I'll try and keep these pearls just there because mm, they're a lovely backdrop, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. And I think most of us can say that they've got pearls. Maybe not this colour, so in which case mm, you need to be shopping on the 11th spine. of November. Yes. I've got one more strand of rondelles, much more the purple. So they were a bit darker. It's all down to personal choice, which sort of patterns and colouring as you prefer. Um, look at that. It's a long strand, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. Yeah, and they're lovely. Now we have a hundred available opportunities. Oh, I'm so glad you brought these in, Mark. They look lovely mm. together. Good luck, everybody. There's a hundred. Look at that intensity of colour. With Sharite, it is all about those wonderful fingerprints of Mother Nature, those unique patterns, the colour ranges that you will see. No two being exactly the same or you, uh, um, um, like for like. Twelve ninety nine is complete and utter madness for Sharite, a one locational gemstone so complex in its formation so you know still the very in, in this modern day mm. you know it, with the level of technology that we have now we still can't put our finger on the fact why but why no, no, no. why there Strange, why not anywhere it? else with the, the developments of modern technology 12 pounds and 99 pence only it's a long strand as well you're talking 23 centimetres wow, there. Um, it's last chance saloon for Sharite. We're not buying any more jewellery makers given obviously the um, current situation. But I tell you what, it's a real shame because the, the gemstone is incredibly, incredibly yeah. beautiful as many of you have actually texted and shared. Susan, well done. Deborah, well done to you. Merseyside, Judith, Jacqueline, Sean, Lisa, Margaret, hello to you, Morgan. Tyne and where I can't keep up with you. There's loads of multi buyers getting involved as well. And we will try and bring you as many cuts and shapes as we possibly can. Remember, you can shop no, ahead on the nuggets, the Sharite nuggets. They are going under 10. I'm going to bring you some pears. Ooh. Are you going to be shopping with Sharite today? I might do. I need some more if this, if this is it. This, this is, is the it. end of the road. These are pretty. Oh, there's 50 available. How fascinating. Look how sparkly that is. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't Gorgeous, they? Gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, alongside these yeah. pearls, Mark. Yeah, this is a pretty strand. Top drilled. You've got that lovely full pair. 40, oh. 14.99. Swap those, <laughs> swap those numbers around. 41.99. Mm. 
you know that, that that's that's more wow. realistic and that's here at jewelry maker we showed you pieces of jewelry that were like what 300 pounds mm. and that's not unusual they're yeah. not wrong by the way it's us that's completely wrong completely wrong visually stunning stunning gemstone look at the quality there you know they've said that's a double a graded i actually think this is better quality these drops because you've got much more of the silver chatoyancy the beautiful swirls but it's all down to your personal choice um 14.99 there's the difference wow valerie lincolnshire hello to you you know it's good from the same location yeah. obviously some of the stones on the recordings they remind me of blue john as well yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. now i think i found one of my favorites this is so elegant it's untrue mm, they're gorgeous aren't they The individual drop pendants aren't they yeah and they're quite bewitching do you see where i'm coming from you know like almost like hocus yes, pocus yes. colors can you see where i'm coming from they're beautiful oh i love these apps look you've got copper oh, yes. little flecks of copper colors within this one hello deborah i'm putting mine with oh. tiffany opal as i wow. think the contrast of the charite with the translucence of uh the opal oh, would look really beautiful yeah absolutely what a lovely idea that would look amazing absolutely amazing they're just fascinating aren't they and again we're back to the sort of the deeper uh um <coughs> purples you know like i can almost imagine some perfume brands actually using yes. you know like like uh, <laughs> dior or something like that using it for to uh, as the coloring of their branding for a, a, yeah. a scent or a Mark fragrance Jacobs, something like that yeah. yeah i can see that like charite being the inspiration and I, again, if you've just tuned in, I, I do generally think, I'm not saying gemologically it's the same, but aesthetically, Sharite is like the Malachite, isn't mm. it? The purple Malachite. Um, every single one completely unique. Now, how many do we have? What, uh, what did it, 14 99 was for this strand? Sorry, I was so caught up in this that I didn't even look at this. They flew, well done. We've got the tumbles. These are cool. These are cool. They're huge. Not everybody is going to want like a drop of they or So these could be, yeah, you're more contemporary, yeah, edgy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're cool. They're amazing. We're going back to that conversation, aren't we, of where a Sharite has been faceted for their own individual beauty rather than having to be a certain shape. If you love the pearls, by the way, they're coming up on Saturday the 11th. 14.99 jewelry makers to get hold of this. What? 95 carats. Is there quantity? 60 available, but each and every single strand that wow. we have brought you so far. Look at those. Was this a Wayne idea to do a, a um, showcase or? Didn't we Ross's? have the conversation, Ross? We had the conversation uh, upstairs, right. didn't we? Is that good. right or was it you? amazing yeah so um yeah I, I, and also probably the conclusion mm, you know yeah, it's probably no, wayne perfect. part of wayne's job i'm sure is to monitor what's in the vault and he would have probably have said okay there's sharite we've yeah. got some sharite not huge quantities of sharite but we're not going to be able to buy any more mm. so we might as well do it in one amazing yes. closeout yeah. showcase so yeah it is now or never we're not buying any more for obvious reasons um now it's time <laughs> Uh, I keep I give you those back because yes. they're amazing. Under ten pounds for Sharite. I'm so confident that that is never a sentence I've ever put together. Oh my word! Sharite is from one single location, and that single location. It's not like diamonds, which want. Uh, sorry, like like Tanzanite, for example, which whilst one location still was miles long even you know when we talk about larimar which is incredibly rare you're talking about one mile square mm. so know, very small yeah, yeah. this is significantly less significantly might be one of my favorite strands this one good luck everybody under 200 pounds 200 pounds 10 pounds 200 quantity 
200 quantity. Oh. The highest quantity that we've had, but the lowest price point that we have seen so far is, was it, was it 12 99 mm. That's crazy, isn't it? Mm. That is actually crazy. But you know we're not stopping there. Well done to those of you that were savvy enough, thought to shop ahead. I would be doing exactly the same. The intensity of those colors are unbelievable you've got the patterns and we're looking at the shallowest area here mark aren't we so when you do yeah. cut the strand if you were to flip them maybe do something like a bubble style yeah. then you'll see those beautiful chatoyant formations 12.99 but you know we're not stopping there Lo loads of you getting involved 60 seconds and it is going to happen we've got 200 this one locational amazing beautiful. gemstone oh from the extreme locations within siberia um rem when we say limited even when it was more uh, when it was more accessible tiny 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 amounts of supply that's why you really i'm never saying i'm not saying never but rarely see it in jewelry yeah. it's not a mainstream gemstone it will never be a mainstream gemstone not just because of like i said the uh, the p uh, political situations right now but because of its supply we can't make this a mainstream gemstone because Mother Nature doesn't allow that. Twelve ninety-nine. The clock's run out. No, it hasn't. It's still ticking. That's it's exquisite. I love this strand. It's gorgeous, isn't mm. it? Oh, and, and also, we know that nuggets are very expensive now. Yeah, they are. That's why we don't see them anymore. <laughs> Ordinarily, can I just say this should oh. be probably about two, three times that price, would, yeah, you, yeah. would you guess? It's a huge carat weight, 110 carats of certified natural charite with that quality. Yes, there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. I guess we should expect that. Please bear with our call center and if you can tap the app um, or shop with us on the website. Um, our, yeah, please bear with our call center. Mm -hmm. Download the app. That's easy to do and it's super quick. There's never any cues there. Or all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Having said that, make sure um, you stay waiting. It's minutes. What, a couple of minutes would you say, Roscoe? Probably about two minutes wait. Um, tap the app or the website, but if not, just you have a little bit of patience. They'll be with you, I promise. Um, we've got people getting twos, fives, fours, sixes. Deborah, hello to you. Deborah in Essex, Deborah in Denbyshire, Lincoln just has got three. Carolyn, Lorraine, Maker in Buckinghamshire, London, Margaret, Janice, Jennifer, Jacqueline, London, Leslie, Sophie getting five. Beverly, well done. Rita, Karen, Northumberland, Una, Amanda. I don't know if I've even seen Sean Wright in Nuggets. No, I, I've not. No. And I would take groups of five and I would knot them mm. and then I'd pop in a, a green jadeite, then five nuggets, it would green look jadeite. With jadeite. That, that pale apple green, I just think would look beautiful. This is gorgeous. You can make two stretches out of that. Pure and simple. Yeah. Nice little spacer bead. Yeah. That's all you need. What about one of those little yeah. shell charms that we had earlier oh, on? Oh, yeah. Little initials. That'd be quite nice because yeah. you've got the similar, like, mother of pearl mm. beauty within yeah. your shower, right? There are so many of you there. It is busy. Um, it is our final show of Charite. Like I said, we're, we're not buying any more of it. I have to keep repeating this. It's really important. Can we just go back whilst we're waiting for all the confirmations, Ross? Can we go back to the beginning where we talk about what Charite is for the benefit of those of you that have just tuned in? Uh, what is Charite? Well, um, it's actually a rock. Um, so, uh, however, it's almost purely composed of the mineral uh, mineral Charite to say that the mineral, mineral charite is a silicate of complex composition is an understatement. And you can see there, one mineralogical source describes it as uh, hydrated pot potassium, sodium, calcium, barium, uh, stront, yeah, I've never heard of that one, strontium silicate hydroxyfluoride. Um, a dominant present of charite mineral gives this gem its distinctive range of purple colours, which can vary even with a s single specimen. Look at the photograph behind. I mean, that's obviously sh magnified charite. Each and every single one of yours will look like this. Um, amazing. I do have this. We are coming to the end of the charite showcase because obviously you have your... Look. Oh, would you use the two together? Absolutely. I noticed yeah. you pointing at this one, Mark. It's lovely. It's beautiful. They're kind of drilled in the opposite direction, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. And again, just get them together, alternate them. 
Would we still call these? An, uh, yeah, no, they're a small tumble, aren't mm, they? Yes. But they go beautifully. Yeah. Should we do something? Oh, um, no. I get three of these and I would knock them individually with red. Shanghai red. Nice. Do your, do your you right mala. You have got splashes of red in yeah, there. Yeah, I think the red would be beautiful. How naughty are you feeling today? What's he going to do, do you think? He's taken it even lower. <sighs> Normally bigger the quantity, lower the price. This isn't a bigger quantity. There's 90 of these available. That's clear, look. You can, yeah. see, the, you can see the silks. It's all down to that unique cocktail. Yeah. Goodness me, seven pounds. Please know though, our expectations of Sharite, they are, it is not a single figure of gemstone, as in price tag. It's not an under 20 pound gemstone. No. It's, a, it's a considered gemstone because it is one location and it was only discovered in 1978. So it's, you know, I don't know if I could describe myself as a baby, but in a gemstone world, this is, and it was born the same year as me. Uh, seven pounds and 99 no. pence. They're <laughs> flying out the door, absolutely flying. We had 90 people multi-buying on these as well. Um, your masterclass is coming up, lovely jewelry makers. Not too long to wait for that, I promise. Um, right now, make the most of showcases like this. They've sold out. Well done, well done, well done. Oh my word. Wish list it, you can't always wish list it. Now we have two cabochons, oh. a big oval, and then we've got a round. Both are big in carat weight though. Oh! Look at this. Hang on. Wow. Oh, come on. See if I can pick it up with the tweezers. Because it's because it's a large stone, yeah. it's a lot harder to do. <laughs> look at this. Oh, oh, oh. oh my lord, look. It looks like a wood, doesn't it? Looks like a forest going into the distance. Yes, I can see that. A dense mm, foliage. Yeah. It's like Sleeping Beauty Forest. Yeah, it's got to be something like that, isn't mm, it? Like a traditional. Yeah. We're doing it in one price crash. Oh. What? We're under ten pounds. We've got two hundred available. There's two cabochons we can bring you. That's it. What are we doing? Ecky thump. Ecky thump. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, uh, that, this is the thing. That Charite really works in a, a cabochon because you've got that sort of large, flat surface. And every one will be unique. Obviously, the one in your stu uh, in your recording is different to the one that I have here. Their own individual uh, beautiful cocktails of these wonderful um, minerals that are present. Nine ninety nine would be utterly ridiculous as a price tag. Let's never get used to that. But for the final show of your show, right? We're not buying any more. So what we have, we have, and I do expect them all to sell out today. I can't believe we're taking it lower. Where do you think he's going to go? Then? I generally don't know. Where can you go from 9 99 Mark? <laughs> 7.99. We had gallery wire and bezel strip mm, on yesterday. How right. amazing yeah, would that yeah, be? Incredible, wouldn't it? Oh, a bit of Carol's inspiration. Mm. She'd be, I bet you she, she loves her shawl, right? Yeah. I hope you're watching today, Carol, because you need to, oh, this and your adjustable rings. How amazing. How absolutely, utterly amazing. Seven pounds and 99 pence only. Right, the last of your shawl, right, before we dive into a break is the little rounds that we have. Well, it's not so little. Who wants shawl, right? Don't say it. I oh, Don't say it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Who wants Sharite under five pounds? I'm only saying this because they told me to. Oh my word. Our final show. We're not buying any more. So what we have within the vault is what we have. <gasps> Look at that. That'd be perfect for rings, wouldn't it? Perfect. Style. Oh yeah, stunning. And earrings. Oh, Eric Towns are nice about it. Has actually, it? Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. Four and a half carats, these beautiful wow. formations. You know, you know, you know that photograph that says "What is Sharite?" Mm. Look behind. I don't know yeah. if Adam can do his thing. Hang on. 
just the patterns. Look at the patterns and then look at yours. Very clever, these technological people, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. There you go. You'd like that as a painting on your wall, wouldn't you? I would. Mm. Very much so. Yeah. Or wallpaper. Or wallpaper. I think it'd be amazing as wallpaper. Yeah. Look at how beautiful. Four pounds and 99 pence. This is our finale of your show, right? Um, like I said, if you've just tuned in and thought, what, what's going on? I haven't seen this gemstone in absolutely ages. It's because we haven't bought it in ages because of our, our obvious uh, uh, situations right now. Um, however, um, we just wanted to address that. Look, we could keep it in the vault. We could sit on it. We could wait for it. Um, hopefully for peace to resume. Yeah or we could actually get uh, allow you to all be working with this amazing gemstone it is old mine so um you can absolutely yeah. shop uh, um with peace of mind now do not go anywhere because mark's amazing masterclass is coming up you've got what five kits five there kits. all with six o's all with six o's all the most amazing gemstones they're beautiful now you can shop ahead yeah. on those as well so take uh, check them out on the yeah. website and don't go anywhere because we'll be back after this <laughs> Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford upon Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three course dinner, half a bottle of wine, and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. It's so dangerous having Welsh cakes in the gallery. 
Are they eating them all then? There's loads in there. I did uh, buy 20. 20? <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, mm. Mark, ha we all know you're a massive fan of your coated gemstones. These are stunning. I champion them as much as I possibly can. I just love them. I absolutely love them. I think, why shouldn't you? I always think that something like tanzanite's been in the ground and you know mm -hmm. it's been heated over millions of years mm -hmm. and why not just make them look any even more beautiful and if we can do that then all be it well I mean, it's all right for mystic topaz isn't look it look at that look mother nature couldn't produce yep. that so why shouldn't we no. do it ourselves well, well, it, th isn't it? Yeah, it. You're, you're right there's certain yeah. things that we no, kind of them. have in our head that they're acceptable or not acceptable mystic topaz is yeah absolutely and that is pretty much exactly the same process yeah. it might be no, cpd completely. or something like that yeah. where they talk about oh compound something disposition yeah. oh, i don't know there's all these different techniques of coating um, but basically, visually, they create these really lovely, like, little bubbles. A little bubble. They are. They're like bubbles. washing up liquid bubbles. They are. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. And I, I totally support, you know, you championing these. But it's not just your colourless or paler gemstones that we can coat. No, absolutely not. I mean, look at that. That is the most beautiful. It's stunning. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Look no. at this. Oh, man. I don't know if our studio lighting are good. Oh, they are? No, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Oh, I love that so much. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Now, <sighs> should we start with this one? Shall we? Okay. How, please tell me this quantity. <sighs> 50 of each. <laughs> but you don't just get this, do you? No. This one comes with... Yeah. Amethyst. It is amethyst, right. But look how perfectly complimentary. In fact, m yeah. Roscoe, while you bring the graphics yeah. in, do you want to show us your amazing jewellery, Mark, and talk us through it? Because you're going to do a quite a unique demo this hour. Uh, I've never done it before. You can and do I, it. Not, not many designers have done it before. I'm going to do odd count peyote instead of even. This is even count mm. because I've used the same colour seed bead. Yeah. So it's really easy. Okay. But for the when we get to the blues, I'll show you the odd count, which is slightly. How does it trickier. differ visually? I mean, so, obviously you've got odd numbers, but visually, so, how does it? Look? So, for example, this this is all the same colour, so I'm able to do even counts. Now, yeah. if I wanted to do two colour, you know, a dark on the outside, mm. a thinner, a, a lighter on the two inners, I'd have to do two rows in the centre instead of one because yeah. it would be even. Right. Okay. So the fact we're going to go odd. So if I bring, if I bring this, yeah, if I bring that, can I, can you see now that I, um, this is odd that I'm going to demo? So we've got the pale colour then dark, then pale, oh. then dark, then pale. You, you get that symmetry. I get what you mean, you've you got a focus. Yeah, you still get symmetry with an even count, but you have to have two of the same colour in the centre, not yeah, one. Yeah, I see, I get it, I get it, I get but it. you have to do something slightly different with the move. Right, so, so this um, is what we're gonna be demonstrating during your masterclass. Yes. Now, yep. graphics are live on the first of your kits. You've got five kits. Um, to choose from and I'm just oh my goodness I've just looked at the I, no I love the names of these kits as well Razzleberry is this you no this is Katie Katie I was together. chatting to Katie yesterday she's lovely she is lovely yeah. Razzleberry yeah. and she's I said did say to her yesterday you know how um, great she's doing as well good you yeah. know because yeah, she's, uh, she's amazing credit where it's due yeah. look at that it is a bit razzle it is um, you've got your six O's and your lovely amethyst seed beads um, and Mayuki literally described them as silver, uh, purple lined amethyst and They're you've got amazing. that lovely AB coating on those as well. Yeah. Six O's are like proverbial hen's teeth. They are, yeah. Well, 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 we've had bundles of them recently, I think, and they've sold out within I'm not surprised. Seconds. Well, people will, you know, yeah. it's ticking both boxes. If you're yes. a gemstone lover, fantastic. You've got a lovely strand of genuine amethyst here, yeah. um, coated with that lovely iridescence. And then you also got your six O's. Okay, ready? 50 of each of these kits. It's been busy today. What? There's only 50. Is that not the price of the strand and then you're getting your seed beads for free? Without a doubt. Every kit is guaranteed under £20 today. Every single kit. And if you want to learn Odd Count Peyote, then don't go anywhere. I'm excited. 
19 pounds loads of you there devon's got two susan and brian janice valerie angela nicola sheila kate wendy and port talbot denise and merseyside amazing what we're going even lower and this by the way is across the board did you say so you can shop ahead on your is that moonstone i, I feel like it is there's white a white onyx. onyx labyrinth yeah pink yep. amethyst Aventurine, oh, blue Aventurine. So I love how they've teamed the perfect colours up. Right, yes. are you ready? We're going even lower. So shop ahead on the other kits as well. Everybody pays that final low. Oh, look at them. They're beautiful. Also a bit festive. Yeah, they're the goal. I love them. Absolutely love them. Oh, that's ridiculous. So that's £7.50 per component. £7. No, stop it. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Um, the CPs I, are seven ninety five. Are they? Yeah, so that's, so, so that's seven pound for that strand. That's ridiculous. It is crazy. Well, they're flying oh. out. Do shop ahead, and this is across the board. So, each of your kits. So you've got um, the soda light, blue soda light, which uh, sorry, aventurine. I beg your pardon, yeah. <laughs> um, which goes along the silver line blue that you can see here. You've got your white onyx just there, which goes along. So there, that's a lovely kit, quite they're bright. They're all silver lined, aren't they? The sea beads. Yeah, yeah amazing. Yeah. Then you've got the pink amethyst, all of these coated, and then you've got your silver line pink. And lastly, the, oh, there's that lab labyrinth that. that we showed you earlier on. All of these kits, 14 99 So you can shop ahead on those and I'll keep you updated on the quantity. But Mark, take it away. Oh, am I doing it now? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, right. Okay. As and when you, you give me the nod, we'll bring the next kit in. Okay. Yeah? Right. Okay. Let me scooch this out of the way for you. Yeah. Right, there we so go. If Michael can take that necklace away, that'll make a bit of room and then... I can bring the other pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to be using... The reason that I've gone for odd count today was A, I wanted the bees to go further because I wanted to make lots of pieces of jewellery. And when we get to this kit later, I'll show you all the pieces of jewellery. Um, but it's the perfect size, the 6 to show you a, a, an intricate technique like odd count because they're bigger so you learn on the big bigger sizes yeah and then work down to your eights and your elevens okay. to go do your more intricate pieces okay so i've gone for two colors i've gone for the, the pale blue from the aventurine and this, that's got to be one of my favorite colors that's ever lovely. It's, it's teal like a dark teal that yeah. you get with the labradorite okay so what if i show you if i show you that bracelet again this is using the two colors you can see the little beads so i'm making little beaded beads in effect Okay, so you can make one of these in five minutes. Mm -hmm. Make five or six of them, and then decide what pieces of jewelry you want to make. So I've got a size 10 needle. I'm using size 10 because I'm using six O's. Okay, yep. so you can use a bigger needle. So again, it's a perfect beginner's seed bead technique. Yeah, they're not too intimidating, no, are they? No, no, not at all, not at all. So I'm still going to pick up an 11 O. This is using a silver as a stopper bead. So you don't need to leave very much of a tail, just six inches, something like that. Okay. So, first thing we need to do is we need to decide on the number of bees we're going to use. And because it's odd count, the lowest you can start is five, five, seven, nine, eleven. So I'm going to go, yep. for, go for five. Okay. So I'm going to stick with the combination on my beaded beads. So I'm going to go for a light, a dark, a light, a dark, and a light. Okay. So they're my five six mm -hmm. O's. Slide those down. And then we're going to start as we would do even count peyote. So I always turn my work the other way so I can work away from me each time. Some people go this way and then this way and then that way, but I prefer just to turn my work over. So we're going to start as we would do with even count. So we're coming out of the light colour at the bottom. We're going to pick one up and then we're going to jump over that through the next. Pull that through them next to each other so you can see if I lay it down on my mat putting nice and tight that we've got the two sat next to each other so you, you, we've seen there's lots of times we yeah. even count haven't we okay so they're sat next to each other so I'm going to pick up the next one and then we're going to skip one through one Okay, pull nice and tight. So we've got the two castellations 
and then we've got our two darker beads. But if it was even count, we would jump the pale into the next. But as you can see, there's not a bead there. Okay, you can't jump. Okay, so this is the extra little move that we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a, a light and we're going to go over. And can you see we've got light, dark, light. We've got a group of three in a diagonal pattern. Can you see? Yeah. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go up and I'm going to say back down through. Just move that little stopper bead out of the way ever so slightly because we don't want to sew through that. Let me bring that back up on top, should have left that alone. So I'm going to take my needle, get out of the way, and I'm going to take my needle, so I'm basically I'm going to sew up through fresh air, there's nothing there, and I'm going to sew back down through the light, the dark, and the light. So then when you pull that needle, can you see now we've got we've got it lined up yes. at the top. So we've got we've now got our three pair of lines. But what I need to do now is I need to get back up to that top bead on the left. So I'm going to go across and then I'm going to sew into the dark and then into the light, which will then bring me back in the right position. OK, so I'm going to take my needle. What a good way of practicing this as well, yeah, using yeah. your dark and light. Absolutely. So I'm going to go through my light, through my dark and up through my light. So I'm going to pull that through nice and tight and now if I lay that down you can see we've got the start of our peyote that we would normally see if we were doing even count so I'm going to flip my work over I'm going to go up through that pale bead that's already there and now I'm ready to fill in the gaps with the dark because you can see there's little castellations mm. so I'm going to pick up a dark And then I'm going to pick up a dark, like so. Pull nice and tight, flip it over. So now I'm ready to do that pale section again. So this doesn't change because I've got a gap to sew my bead into. So I'm going to pick up a light through the dark. Pick and because they're six O's, they're building quite quickly, yep, aren't absolutely. they? absolutely. Through the dark. That's nice and tight. Now, can you see there's fresh air? There's nothing for me to sew yeah. over, okay? So I know that I'm now going to pick up a clear. And can you see we've got a light, a dark, and a light diagonally across? Can you see we've got yeah. the three beads? So I'm going to sew up through fresh air, down through the one, two, three. Pull that nice and tight. And there it is. And there it's popped into position. I want to get back up to this middle bead on the, the, the second one I've added. So I'm going to go th up through the light and then up through the dark, diagonally through the light at the top. And then I'm going to flip my work over and now I'm ready to do that gappy filling. So I'm going to sew up through and I'm going to fill in the two gaps with the dark so through the, through, and then through the dark. And for the each little beaded bead, you need four beads on each top and bottom. So we've just got a couple more rows to do. So this is easy to fill in the gap. So we're going to fill in the light, then the light. Okay, pull it nice and tight. So we're back at that again, we're back at that extra little movement. So I'm going to pick up three fresh air, back down through, diagonally through the three. Okay, so we've got four along the top, four along the bottom, but we've only got three of the dark, so we still, we still need to add a few more of the dark. So I'm going to go across to the left, up through the light, and then through the dark and the light, flip it over and then I'm going to fill in the last two of the dark. So I'm going to go up through the pale and I'm going to fill in one of the black, one of the dark, sorry, 
and then the second of the dark. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got my five rows, I've got my three pale, I've got my two dark, and each of those five rows has five bead, has four beads in. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to zip up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the beads over. Okay, so you see I'm exiting through the left, so I'm going to go across and up. I'm going to cross to the left and up. To the right and up. To the left and up. Through the right and up. Again, make sure you don't go through your stopper bead. And once you get at this point, just give it a bit of a squidge. Take out my stopper bead and I'm going to tie the two ends together. First with a single knot and that just brings all your beads together nice and tight. And then with a double knot, so one and two. Put it nice and tight and then what I'm going to do just to finish is I'm going to take my needle so you can see we've got both ends coming out of that bead on the left. So I'm just going to go across and down, across and up, across and down, and then across and up, like so. And then you can then go in and cut off your tails like so so there's your beaded bead and all you're doing there is just go in just give it a little squidge so that you've got your you see your fours you've got four on one side and then you've got four on the other and then once you've done that put all those to, to one side just make lots of them because yeah. as I said you can make once you get the hang of that little extra move you can make one in five minutes and then decide what you want to do then so this is that what you did with your yeah. necklace and bracelet yeah so that's the bracelet Okay, and I used um, some Esalon cord mm -hmm. to go all the way through. And then if I take this off, that's the necklace look. That's lovely, that necklace. Using the Labradorite. So you've incorporated two techniques, haven't yeah. you, from yeah. today's demo? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, yes. So we've got the macrame <laughs> that we made the little sections. And obviously this is on cord, but you can do it with wire yeah. if you want to. And then I still had, I made loads so then I made the um, the little pair of earrings as well. So that all three are from that one little technique. From that one technique and, and that one kit. And just make lots of beaded beads, yeah. Oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, Mark, thank you. Pleasure. That wasn't so scary. Ne first time I've ever done odd, odd count Is in it? all these years. Yeah. Wow. Well, I tell you, and, yeah. and again, I, I've heard the odd counts all of a sudden quite daunting, yeah. but actually you made that you look just, very you just simple. You have to do that extra little move. Once, yeah. once you get it, it yeah. you can, and I said you can do that with seven, nine, eleven, thirteen okay. rows, whatever. whatever. Um, Mark, yeah. I'm being told we have to bring one in particular kit to air. Which one? Oh, which one's that then? I knew it was. That's why I've got it there. Ooh. I knew. Do you know when you just know? Look at that. I just knew this would be the next popular. That's gorgeous. I've been eyeing this. I up. thought. I thought that was you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark, you know me so well. Yeah. Um, yeah, look at this. I knew, Ross, that this was going to be the Ooh. next popular kit. That's why yeah. I, I kind of swapped them round. You have the most beautiful translucent white tonics with that lovely little bridal they iridescent. Do look, you're right, you do, they do look like moonstone, rainbow moonstone, That's which we've not had were. on for years. Years. No. And then same you've got in your, um, your Mayuki, their crystal AB. Like little bubbles. Yeah, they're gorgeous. They are so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I think all of the five would work with each other as well. Yeah, absolutely. There's some lovely sound effects of bubbles going off in our ear, isn't there? <laughs> um, 14 pounds and 99 pence only. Can you do that? No. No, I can't either. No. <gasps> Um. <laughs> One thing I've always wanted to do all my life, and I've, I've got to the point now at this age of 51 that I'm never going to be able to do it. I've always wanted to do this and whistle. Oh, yeah, I can't do that either. <laughs> like that. Yeah, I've I can't always do that. wanted to do that. Michael, can you do yeah. a bubble loudly, please? Can't do that loud. <laughs> take a few attempts. Okay. Can't do it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. 
Wow. So good. So good. But Adam sound wetter. Oh, Adam's doing it as well. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. You've got to kind of make your cheek taut. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 14.99. Yeah, I can't do that no. whistle either. So what you could do is. Oh, they, you know what you can do though, Mark. You make amazing, amazing jewellery. So I feel like you know you have. Look at that. Can you pass uh, me that lovely bracelet? Because look how gorgeous that yeah, is. That's mixed colours. What I was going to do, if you bought this one and the two amethysts, you can ombre the colours and do Yeah, all sorts mix of, them all together. Look yes. how pretty. So this has got the pink amethyst and the moonstone. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, never, Ross, do that ever again. Yeah. <laughs> never do that again. Wow. He sounds like some kind of strange animal. I was thinking of an aviary with budgies and things in it. Sounds a bit well, like, that's what Ross sounds like a budgery girl. I mean, yeah. a, a not very well one. <laughs> <laughs> um, unbelievable. Oh. Okay, right, let's do... Should we do the pink amethyst? Okay. Shall we? Because that kit's lovely too. I love the yeah. six O's in this. Ah, oh, that's so pretty, Mark. Yeah. So, so, so pretty. So here is the necklace. Oh, Pink amethyst. This. Oh my word, I forgot I made so much. There's that. But do you know what I wondered whilst you were demonstrating? That's I was like, I wonder that. if there's ever a time when you just go, no, I'm only going to make a couple of pieces. Every time. <laughs> do you? Never, never and it do. never does, no. no. But it's strange, and probably the other guest designers will say the same thing, is it, it doesn't, it never looks so much when you're at home. But when you yeah. come to the studio and you lay it out on the desk, you think, oh, gosh, actually, there's actually, loads. there is loads. And then the poor people have to photograph them afterwards. Poor Adam. Sorry, Adam. I don't feel too uh, sorry for him. You know, so you've this, spent hours um, making the jewellery. So what I've done here, this is using the, the pink seed beads. And then I've, I've taken some other beads from my stash. And do you remember the simple spiral? Yeah, and yeah, this yeah. Is, this I is was thinking half, that technique. I know that yeah. technique. And this is the half spiral. So it's got the flat back. And then yeah. I've incorporated the little beads. Like little in conch between. shells. That's right. Look like yeah. little conch shells. I love making that. Oh, necklace. that's gorgeous. Now, within this kit, I don't know if you can see them. I've just realised I'm kind oh. of hiding them here. Um, you have pink amethyst with those lovely AB coating, and then you've got really sweet um, pink lined crystal sea beads that are six O's. They're lovely. It's just stunning. Mm -hmm. And they gorgeous. do, you're right, they all work together at $14.99, you know. <laughs> you can, can't you, at this kind of price tag? Yeah. yeah. Um, again, make sure uh, you are checking out your baskets. We had 50 of each of these kits. Um, you've got the Labradorite. You've still got the Aventurine to come yeah. as well. 14.99. Well done, everybody. Yeah, it's a real mixture. Your blues. They're lovely. The deeper purples. Mm. Flirty flamingo. I uh, yeah. Oh. I love the names oh. of these kits. You've got, <laughs> I clocked this last night, Mark. I was like, you've got Rich Razzleberry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Balmy Blue. Yeah. Love it. Whisper White. Oh. Flirty Flamingo. Yeah. Although Adam's yeah. names are pretty good as well. Yeah, yeah. And Blueberry Moon. Blueberry Moon. Blueberry Moon. Oh, Blueberry, that's nice. Blueberry Moon. Oh. Love it. Oops, sorry. Um, well done. And make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. <laughs> uh, you have your adventure You have your Labradorite on its way as well. There was only 50 of each of these kits, though. Should we do the other ones? Yes. Which one next, Mark? Oh, let's do... Well, I, because I use the sea beads, I forgot all about the gemstones. So let's do the blue. Let's, I, let's I do the blue. Yeah, I used the seed beads, but I didn't use the aventurine. It's a lovely strand, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Really pretty. Aventurine. Yeah. I would never have imagined coating aventurine. No, because it's got a natural adventure essence mm. anyway, mm. isn't yeah, it? So, yeah. but actually, aventurine, the, the aventurine. Yeah. Yeah. Again, really pretty. I can't believe the price tag. Can you see that there? Sorry. Um, can't believe the price tag of That's these. Beautiful. Look how gorgeous. So as you said, you're paying for your strand, aren't you? And yeah. you're getting the beads. The Get your strand. Yeah. Seed beads for free, which are like gold stuff, mm. gold dust or hen's teeth, whichever way we want mm. to look at it. Um, Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. So not only have you got the natural adventure essence that occurs within this gemstone, you've also got that lovely coating, which again, Mark, you massively uh, um, support, mm. don't you? Yeah, I, I champion coated as much as I can, and, I, and the viewers love coated as well. I just love yeah. them. They're just oh, look at that crow recording. Look, they are magical, aren't yeah. they? It's like little fairies yeah. of sort of. 
plants across the surface. And I don't think the gemstone no. particularly minds being made look even better. No, well, surely, if I anything, they I might they might actually benefit them. <laughs> yes, it might yes, actually, actually help them yes. in terms of durability. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. At fourteen ninety nine, well done, everybody. Again, busy, busy, busy. Um, fourteen ninety nine gets you the tube of your six O's, which do you say are about eight pounds. They are seven ninety five. Um, and yeah. you're also getting the yeah. uh, strand of uh, your Aventurine mm -hmm. here, which I can't remember the last time we had Aventurine. No. No. Um, each and every single one of these kits perfectly complement one another yeah, as well. They all, work, so. they all work alongside each other. So you that could don't. actually mix them up. Um, the last right. of the kits. This is going to go. Is this your favourite by any chance? It is. So this one's what? Blue Moon. Blueberry Moon. Blueberry Moon. Blueberry Moon. And for me, this is an awful thing to say. The Labradorite is absolutely gorgeous, but I think the sea beads. Are probably my all-time favourite. Yeah, without a what, doubt. What including size? I think so. Yeah, eh, they're I just can't reach they're it, just Michael, beautiful. Can you, can you push that in? I can't quite reach. Um, yeah, and they they're work so beautifully. Ah, yes. oh, they do work so beautifully together. I agree. Yeah. Mark, that's oh, stunning. Jesus. Love it. So these Love are the it. sea beads that you were demoing with. Yes, I reckon right. when yes. we look at pre-orders, this is going to be the busiest. The, the Labradorite is gorgeous. It's you have a hundred so carats of AB coated labradorite in your eight to nine millimeters, and you've got your AB coated. Sorry, you've got sorry your silver lined um, blue zircon yeah, six yeah, O's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's stunning. Just beautiful. You know, like historically, Aurora, uh, the Aurora Borealis had that connection, mm, didn't it, with yes, Labradorite? Yeah. It just works to yeah, use that completely. gemstone and include the AB, which means yeah. exactly that, Aurora yeah. Borealis. And when, you, and when you get the light just right, you can see the Labradorescence coming through yeah. underneath the coating. Yeah, it's not so hidden. No, not at all. It's added to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it no, is no. our finale strand. Finale auction. Wall oh. of Fame is coming up straight after this, jewellery makers. <laughs> the finale oh. auction, the finale kit. Good luck. You're yeah, adding to the beauty of your labradorescence. £14.99 pence only. Jewelry makers, we have 50 of each of these kits with this. Yeah, I agree, Mark. I mean, if if this was your only chance to get hold of the 6 O's yeah. in that colour and Rabbit. it was like £14.99, yeah. you'd, spend, well, you'd, you'd spend it, without wouldn't a doubt. you? Yeah. Would you, would you say 6 O's are less intimidating than other sea beads? I think, if you, I think if you're new to sea beading and you want to give it a go and you're put off by the smaller size, go for the large because all of the techniques that you use a smaller bead for, you can do with mm -hmm. a 6-0. It's a good way of learning how to do the designs, it really is. Yeah, and dexterity, I suppose, yeah. as well, so yeah, yeah. not tiny. Nope. Not tiny, nope. tiny. Nope. Um, good luck, though. Yeah. They're limited. We've got 50 of these left. They're absolutely flying out, Mark, as we expected them yeah. to be. Oh, yes. um, <laughs> as always, if you have any questions for Mark, drop us a message. Um, we've got five minutes to showcase your amazing oh. talents in the Wall of Fame jewellery makers. That's up next. <laughs> Starting us off this afternoon um, mm. is 965. Hello, Aww. Joan. Hello, Joan. Oh, that's lovely. You, oh, you've got a little tennis ball. I've just spotted the tennis ball. That's amazing. And oh. Joan says, hi, jewelry maker. Latest creation for this week's WAF. Had to try a Christmas bauble beading project that Alison demonstrated. Oh, yes. All went well until I tried to find the right size bauble. So I had to settle for a tennis ball. Brilliant um, idea. I'm sure Roger Federer would like it. Loved <laughs> making it and need to make lots more now. Brilliant Good luck idea. to everybody. That is, if you've got a tennis fan. Yeah, great idea. Why not use your, your, your tennis yeah. balls? Oh, it's ingenious. That's clever, isn't it? Oh, well done, John. Although if you've got any dogs, Oh, your yeah, baubles yeah, yeah. will not be no. safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number well 966 done. is from Sue. Um, hi, all. Here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I made two oh. 
uh, to banded agate pendants whilst on a recent sunny holiday, a suntan um, and two necklaces at the same time, what better? They were from the jewelry maker banded agate spree and the spacers from the jewelry maker spacer bundle that is so useful and goes on and on. The chains I bought by the meter whenever they come up on the show. Many thanks for all the bundle opportunities wow. um, on both uh, as they are such good value and give us so many ideas to try. A win would be great, but good luck to everybody um, who gives us a chance to see their beautiful creations. Good luck to you, Sue. Good luck amazing. to you, they're amazing. Number 967 <laughs> is from Karen. And Karen says, hi all. Wow. Fed up with looking at some of the plain stretches that hadn't sold on my stall. So I took the scissors to all of them, <gasps> mixed them up, remade them with bead caps and hematite beads for sparkle. These two sold immediately yeah. and for a higher price. That's the beauty of beading. Yep. Good luck to everyone this week's draw. And that's from Karen. What did I'd we say? Yeah. yeah, they are incredible, They're aren't gorgeous. they? We did say that about, did. about uh, yeah. bead caps though, didn't Absolutely. we? Absolutely, well done, Karen. And number 968 is from Angela. Oh, they're, oh wow. look at these. Good afternoon. I thought I'd share my recent makes with you. These necklaces all used to be connectors or part of a necklace and turned them into single pendants, or from JM, of course. Found some pretty coloured leaves in the garden as a backdrop to give that autumn nice. vibe. Good luck to everyone, but I could do with a win myself. Fingers oh, crossed. Well, amazing, then. Angela. Well done. Wow, amazing. Beautiful. You can still enter. Send us a photograph of your creations, jewelry makers, um, to the studio here at Jewelry Maker. Drop us a little message. The only stipulation is that they're jewelry maker products. Brilliant. Um, okay, we've got a minute. A minute. A Apparently, minute. best banter best between banter. now and then. Well, we're on on Tuesday. We are on Tuesday. With, I have got snake connectors Ooh. which are stunning and one of the kits has got a meter of green aventurine oh, that sounds and like the it. other ready for this a meter of carnelian oh i love carnelian know, can you imagine carnelian amazing. with that vivid green angel light that we had a few yeah. minutes ago oh. incredible incredible Stunning. Amazing. Yes. So I apologise about this weekend. Next no, weekend, that's rather. Right. No, Sorry, that's I, fine. I, I, I totally forgot to tell Mark. <laughs> um, so my little Tiggs, Tiggs is turning three. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. No. Where's that time wow, gone? It amazing. is crazy. Amazing. It's crazy. Um, so yes, I'm back hmm. with you now on what day are we today? Thursday, Monday, Monday. morning. Yes. So um, that will be wonderful. I've got the lovely Claire. It's been a while since I've seen yes, Claire. Yes, I've not seen Claire for a been while. Like ships passing yeah. in the night. And then me on Tuesday. And you on Tuesday. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. That's perfect. perfect. Perfection, right there. Amazing. Um, tomorrow, your deal of the day tomorrow with Carol oh. is. What? A type of shell. Oh. Ah, that's exciting. So make sure you tune in for that yeah. one. Almost like a donut-like shape in a pendant. Sounds amazing. Um, yeah, have a lovely afternoon, everybody. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you are doing. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mark, as always, amazing Pleasure. jewelry. Pleasure. That's been great fun. Can't wait to see been you nice. on and Tuesday. And that star right was beautiful, wasn't it? Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>